you like tights? You're about to get frostbitten. Get him! Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. All you geeks and gamers better stop jerking off to me, okay? I smell like burnt hair and Julie. That isn't stopping you. I talk to you like you're retarded because I think you're all retarded. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. Frostbitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frostbitten. Jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. Always <laughs> weird. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. I'm not qualified. <laughs> Go ahead. Make my day. Yeah. Call me Beaver Barbie. Bitch, you're that goddamn ugly. I jerked off to the dislike ratio. I'm not hot to you. No. No. What in the heck did I just walk into? <laughs> wow. People keep confusing me for free pubes and Justin Bieber. Someone in the chat called me Eminem mid-transition. Frostbitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frostbitten. Why are you like tights? Frostbitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. I'm standing up for all the women at G4. Emily. Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Pockets, Scissors, Tape Dispenser, and Filing Cabinet. <laughs> X-Ray, girl, she is a beautiful young oriental. X-Ray, girl, she gave me cock. Ask them the price of cock. X-Ray, girl, I did not ask them for you to stroke your chopstick to. <laughs> You don't like it? Go somewhere else. Peace. Mm. Right now. Freaking Chan. The goat. Go Perry! Go Perry! Yeah! I don't masturbate! Wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was amazing, Perry. Holy oh, crap. That was it, it, it was it amazing. unfortunately it wasn't as amazing as the show Chrissy gave us before we went live. Unfortunately, we're not recording. <laughs> Uh, I missed it too. Yeah, I, I, get, I came yeah. back. I fucking That's missed it. Scenes. Sometimes the best of Friday Night Tights is uh, before yeah. we hit record and go live. Uh, one of these days, I'll just have to record all this and uh, make a compilation of all the. That goes in the documentary. That does. It does. Yeah. yeah. We could just. Well, half an hour will be uh, Ryan saying the N word. So. Yeah. Hey. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's a uh, Patreon exclusive right there. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it behind a paywall. Gotta make a pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, welcome to Friday Night Tights. My name is Gary Beekler. I come to you from nerdrotic.com, and we've got a hell of a show for you today. A hell of a guest. I'm excited about this one. G4 keeps imploding. Netflix is collapsing. We've got Lord of the Rings to talk about. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I could not be happier. Jeremy, how are you? Besides being incredibly uh, average. 
I am doing great <laughs> because average. if you look up G4's numbers, uh, they've lost about six or seven thousand subscribers, and Geeks and Gamers has gained about eight thousand. So I want to personally ah. thank Frost and everyone at G4 TV for alienating your audience so we uh, can let them know that uh, we will accept them here. We don't care what their opinions are. Uh, they're okay. And by the way, this is a this is an official Friday Night Tight stance. You're welcome to objectify any of the women or men on the panel with your super chats. You can send as much money as you want. But, uh, you know, as is clearly working it right now. As, as, as is here. To My be, dick uh, can only get so hard as stop, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but yes, uh, it's been a hell of a good week. So happy to be here for the best day or night of the week, Friday night tights. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks, Jeremy. Uh, speaking of uh, objectification, hi, Az. Hold on, I'm just filling out a label on my one in six baggies uh, because I am collating uh, all of the accessories uh, together in little pouches like this so I can throw away hundreds of fucking boxes! <laughs> I am sleeping okay? with fucking <laughs> toys in my bed right now! He was talking to me. I have no room girl and Chrissy to move feel your in pain. my house. I can't move in my house. I move. There's a fucking box. There's a box of a toy. There's a fucking plastic box of a toy everywhere. Toys, comics, books. I'm like, I can't let go. I can't fucking move. My sofa downstairs in the front room. I've got two sofas. No, I haven't. I've got one seat of a sofa left. One sofa is just full of fucking Legos and fucking one in six vehicles. And the other one's full of Horizon Zero Dawn board fucking game fucking miniatures. Up to my eye bollocks. It's like an episode of Hoarders. Why do you it have is? a Horizon Zero Dawn anything? It has a woman in it. Like We're not supposed to support that. I, as. Yeah, hey, fuck are you I doing? need to shout at something, Jeremy. <laughs> look, look, as I've, I, I personally, as have been in bed with many miniatures, so I feel your pain. <laughs> Did we sleep together? Uh, <laughs> no, I. <laughs> sure. oh, wow, what a start we have! That was the inside voice time. <laughs> Fuck! I get them confused. Yeah, you don't say that part out loud. Time to time. <laughs> I tell you what. It's fucking Friday, baby. Yep. <laughs> it's Friday night times, baby, baby. <laughs> I love how Az totally just snapped through that hole. That was beautiful right there. That was. I mean, <laughs> in, was... Uh, meanwhile, there's a starving child in Ethiopia, but Az cannot sit oh, on his she'll couch. she'll fucking cope. I, I threw away half my dinner last night. No one fucking cares, Gary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. You Every sound like one of the. Right over. You sound like one of I the owners told of the you Warriors. Yesterday, Gary, I had some chicken, and then I immediately went to the toilet and just shat for years. That chicken's in the bin. No kid in Ethiopia is having that fucking chicken, you Gary. Saved, you saved this. It's best, over. The best thing about all the starving children all over the world, you know they're not worried about what their fucking pronouns are. That's just true. Uh, so. They got real problems. That's exactly. true. Exactly. Their pronouns are, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what's up, Quarter Black? In hell. Yo, what's up? What's going on? I'm happy to be here. It's Friday. Hell yeah. 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 Hair's looking good tonight. Yeah, I noticed Hair's that. Hair's looking good tonight. Thank you. No man bun. No Thank man you. bun. I mix it up, okay? Look, I can't, okay. I can't be cartoon character. I don't do the same thing every Dan day. Dan Bass was trying to, trying to support this whole man bun thing oh. when he Look, was on Mario Dan's Kart. Look, right. though. It's practical. Sometimes you gotta throw it up. You get you gotta let your neck. For the record, sometimes. for the record, he didn't do very well in Mario Kart when he had the man bun. Just saying. <laughs> Not surprised. Just saying. Hey, I didn't make any I didn't make any statements about ability in Mario Kart, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> so you were going to Samurai you no, last you, you, last week. What is this now? Viking? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean both of them are pretty Viking. It's silky yeah, smooth say. Viking. This is just yeah. You know, he's just trying to find a culture to appropriate. He's he's a quarter <laughs> black, so he doesn't really know what to do with himself. <laughs> he's a little confused. I'm so confused at all times that I don't know what to do. Pan ten Viking. Where am I? <laughs> What's up, Ryan? Uh, congratulations on one hundred thousand subscribers. Damn. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting jerked off too. Hell yeah! Yeah, uh, that's the best hundred K <laughs> present. Oh, uh, she, the oh, she bit down that. Oh, she's oh, oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Oh, All right. Uh, but, lunch. No, thank you. It's awesome. Hundred thousand. Oh, Never thought I would be here two and a half years ago when I met Gary and Jeremy at a bar. 
Uh, but Whoa, here we are. Boy, you fucking am. <laughs> yeah, I know. How much for the pad of you? I, I, I was just going to the bathroom. Uh, hey, I hey, didn't expect to, you know, start it, a YouTube channel. He did what it took. But, he did what it took, man. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> he looked through the hole and was like, hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for the support of everybody guys. in the chat. You guys are fucking phenomenal. I got a cool check mark now because I got shamed by Nick Ricada. So 100K <laughs> feels good. The only thing that can top it is being on a stream with Shad. So yeah. Yeah. back to back yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. As good as it gets. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's awesome, man. I'm so proud of Ryan for that. And again, people don't probably remember this. When he first came into the scene, Ryan was getting so much fucking hate. He 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 could have done a frosk uh, rant about the targeted harassment of him being a straight white male. Um, that's how much hate he was I would getting. Like to see that. Um, but what did he do? He didn't whine, he didn't cry, he just dealt with it. Now, hundred thousand. Man, it's amazing. Wow. Proud of you. Awesome. Boom. Proud of thank you. Brother. you. Good job, bro. Thank so you, thank proud you. of my boy. Appreciate you guys. Uh, we appreciate you too, even with all the N words. It's all right. Um, <laughs> Someone okay. say I you guys it. appreciate me more because of it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, wow, uh, Chrissy, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for uh, having me back. Um, thank you. I got all the comments and compliments. I've really just been like uh, jerking off to the comments uh, <laughs> from the frost last week. So. <laughs> It's good. I'll look at them when I'm feeling low. It was so fun, man. Like, uh, we had so many laughs, like just throwing that costume together and like spraying the freaking wig. And then it was like disintegrating into my eyes the whole time. The whole I, show. Yeah, it was, it was worth it, man. Like for 20 bucks, I certainly like got my money's worth out of that wig. So, <laughs> and you still look fitter than frost. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks guys. Yeah. Happy to be back. Excited to get into some new stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, my album is not out yet. I'll let you guys know when you can pre-order. It's being cut up into tracks. Uh, my buddy Aaron Berg has a record label that he's starting called Uncancelable Records. So he'll be taking care of everything and getting it on to um, vinyl and CDs and all that stuff. So it's being worked on. That's excellent. I could oh, yeah. be like a douchey yeah. hipster with Chrissy Mayer vinyl. Yes, congratulations. Yeah. January 6th, the album. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, hello, x-ray girl. Don't use up all those nine words. If you're, and if you're good, uh, oh, oh, well, okay. I'm going to give you an exemption. What happened today? I didn't crash my car. Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> How every accident. Asian woman starts a story when she gets home in a car. <laughs> I <spot> didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I did see who crashed their car and I'm not going to lie. They were Asian. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. So I made it. I'm glad you made it safe. I'm glad you made it safe. (laughs) And now you know him, you love him. He plays with long pointy things. Uh, He's Marvel's Katie's biggest fan, Shad from Shadversity. Ah, pleasure to be here. I'm prepared. I got a sword. Yeah. I got a Victor Corbin right here. Let's do here, right? Isn't isn't, isn't this like a battle royale arena? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell Uh, yeah. Hell Last man yeah. standing. Good to go to war, surrounded by my weapons. But very excited to be here, fellas. Very excited. Absolute pleasure. Can't wait to get started. Yeah. If we were going to know you're going to be that prepared, we would have had Ryan do his dress up as Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Uh, that was. The- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. That was Halloween. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Who, who would have thought that things would get so much worse for him after that? <laughs> like. That was oh. right, that was literally six days after he fucking killed someone, and it just got worse and worse <laughs> since then. It's so Oops. bad. Oh man, that's good stuff. Right yeah. There. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's also it's good to know that all the people on Twitter are far more concerned with Mel Gibson getting another role than right. they are with Alec Baldwin killing a woman. Uh, just just so everyone's got their priorities straight. Yeah, that's something to get up in arms of. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, yes, and that's the same Twitter that's currently uh, triggered by my statement saying that Steve Rogers is Captain America, which I'm having a lot of fun with <laughs> right now, which we'll talk about later. Well, you uh, do know facts oh, are dangerous, and you just – all you did is provided a fact, and they're very oh, dangerous on Twitter. Put that down. I'm triggered. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> that should be a blackhead right there. Wow, it looks like this, it looks like him. Yeah, I have a McDonald's toy of him, and it doesn't look like him at all. Come fucking say, Chrissy, these are expensive fucking toys. <laughs> Why 
would you put McDonald's coin Why and would you toys fucking together compare the other fucking Donald's Pizza Pussy? Something, something you got free with your them. Happy Meal it's compared to a hot toy. quality collector's <sighs> items. It is a high quality collectible. Mm. Yes. So, <laughs> what do you want to talk Ooh, about? Yeah, show me your toys, baby. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. well, here's, here's Monty show McFly. me your Monty McFly looks really good. Isn't it? You know, this Ooh, is like a really good his little vest. Does he shake? I was waiting for Ryan to say it. I was waiting. Go ahead, Shaq. We need to know the correct, the correct pronouns for your action. toys. Is it is it action figure? Is oh. it is it um, doll? I, I you clear. I, it's not a what, doll. What? what? Not, a, not a doll. <laughs> not a doll. Okay. I'm, what what? That what's the correct pronouns? Tell us that. It's a fucking doll. It does. It does look like a doll. Look at his it's not a doll. It kind of does actually. You're right. I might brush his hair. He kind of looks chubby. Doesn't he? I can fucking hear you, Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're not muted! Oh, sorry, I met Marty. I met Marty. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no one's he's, so no, he's got, he's got, look, he's got his shirt on, he's got his fucking uh, denim jacket, then he's got his life preserver. We used Puffy to call them body, body warmers when, when I was that in 1985. He's got his body Walkman warmers. in his pocket. Walkman body, in his yeah, pocket. what's a... It's freaking an British and they're saying... He's very preppy. Sayings. looks like so he jumped detailed. out of an L.L. Bean catalog. He's just about to travel through fucking time, Chrissy. <laughs> As, have you tested if his clothes fit on your Barbie dolls? Just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Couldn't even, he couldn't even hold it together. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> Well, yes, but I mean that's just not. It <laughs> doesn't prove anything. It's, it's a scale thing. They're all the same scale. Just, so yeah, <laughs> I just, I just need, you know, for 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 sit. Yeah, for fit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, cool. I would depending like depending on which face and body I've got for the Barbie doll. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would like to start uh, with a series of donations that we received yesterday. Good. That because uh... I don't collect doll. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday or last Friday? This, this last is Friday. Goblin, Did this I say layer. yesterday? I meant last Ooh. Friday, but it felt it feels like Look at yesterday. Boobs. And they're squishy. <laughs> Gary, they're squishy. nobody's listening to you when there's boobs. On yeah. The screen. This... Okay. They're squishy. <laughs> Are you gonna make Marty McFly finger her? Like, do you guys do you bang them together like I used to do with my toys? Oh, he he's done it. <laughs> You've live. seen the show, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Marty, he, he tried to finger her, but she thought he was using a vibrator. <laughs> That's a Parkinson's oh. disease joke. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, boy. We're, I'm get, uh, there come the emails. I'm here all day. Uh, tip your waitress. <laughs> it's steak on a Tuesday night. Um, Bradley Burnett sent us a series of donations, and they're, uh, they're great. And it, it really isn't about uh, the amount, although it's <clears throat> immense. Uh, it's, it's the, it's, well... Let me just read them for you. So it's 10 donations, and this is a brilliant series of donations. Uh, we'll start out with $50. And it goes on. Uh, belated congrats to Gary for eight years. Two years ago this week, I found the Nerdrotic channel while looking for scathing critiques of the fall of Skywalker. Kept looking down the rabbit hole and found so many other great channels and people. 50 additional dollars, and we'll just get to the total by the end. Uh, and today is my 49th birthday, so that was last Friday, so happy birthday, and we promise happy we birthday. won't sing till later. Uh, <laughs> may not be watching when I read this, might be out for dinner enjoying uh, a tomahawk steak. Regardless, I always get a little retrospective on my B-Day. Something happened to me yesterday in court that made me think. I lost a hearing, no big deal, win some, lose some. It was about the law. Uh, it was how I lost what pissed me off. The other younger lawyer said something, some mistruths, and cast me, uh, cast some, as sorry, cast some aspirations and, on my aspersions, aspersions <laughs> on my professionalism. There are some things you don't do, and that's one of them, especially to a lawyer. Hmm. Uh, Hail all, uh, is this, wait a minute. 
Think it got mixed in. Okay, here, so I pissed off. Where I, the super chat was. Yeah, well, one sorry, guy, Odin's not here. I had to fill in. Uh, one got every mixed time in this there. happens, I feel better about reading super chats. Every time <laughs> Gary does this, it makes me like because I butcher them so bad. But then I'm like, Gary's almost got four hundred thousand. I'm doing something right. So because yeah, I yeah. butcher them too. <laughs> So pissed off. Okay, so this is four. Well, one got in. One got inserted in between them because this isn't the prepared one. So I'm reading it off of uh, off of uh, Stream Labs. Uh, so uh, it's always so where they pissed cut them off. All I read. Yeah. Well, they pissed. They cut off words in the middle. So like, yeah, pissed, they do. Yeah. They do. It's pissed tough. is cut off. P I S, and then it goes S E D on the on. Yeah, I hate that. Uh, so pissed off. I realized. Uh, I realized I was pissed off because I care. I care about my reputation and professionalism as a lawyer. It's important to me. So what is the purpose of this little story? I think it relates <laughs> to what you do on YouTube and why we support you. And I have to scroll up now. Uh, yes, you're talking about movies, TV shows, comics, works of fiction, fictional characters. But it's more than that. These stories and characters weren't just entertainment and escapism. We grew up with all of these things. They all were a part of our lives. Uh, these stories and characters are like modern mythology, lessons about right and wrong, good and evil, friendship and family. I'm sure we all learn those things from family, school, church, or the like. But also from these stories, these characters uh, now all these things are wrong. All these things that have changed for an, have been changed for an agenda for the message. Do you look at Shakespeare and say Hamlet would have been so much better if Horatio were if he and Horatio were gay lovers or Othello and Lago fucked? That's clown. Hollywood world. does that. Yes, it does. Uh, Star Wars, Trek, Doctor Who, all of it is important to all of us. We all care about these characters and stories, and when they are demeaned and deconstructed, we get angry. We are all out there shouting, and we, uh, what we all, and thank God we have you guys too. Uh, I know we all made a resolution, uh, to make more seriously our fun this year, clearly kidding, <laughs> but for me, I think it's time I become a little more vocal on my opinions, maybe not with the channel, but among other people in my area, all politics is local. Uh, definitely time for me to get back to being creative, writing and art. As always, thank you all for your unbridled passion, unabashed honesty, and and humble and humility through it all. Keep up the fight because it's important. Hail Friday Night Tights, and hail the amazing chat, and hail yeah. to you. That's five hundred total, right? Five hundred dollars wow. total. Those Hello, are... Mr. Lawyer. I have a channel too. <laughs> <laughs> Link in description. But that's why we're here. It yeah. is I'm important to us. My panties at once. Uh, it, it is. Yes, important. it is. Though that is why we're here, and that's uh, look. All this stuff is important to different stuff. Is different. It is important to different people. But ultimately, like. You know, you had the Star Wars crowd that's just very upset. You have the Doctor Who crowd. You're about to have the Lord of the Rings crowd that's going to be very mm -hmm. upset about what's going to happen. And so many other properties. Maybe there's properties out there that don't have the the reach that, you know, your Star Wars and Star Trek and all of that has. But there's still other properties that are being affected, too. So, you know, everybody's tired of this. And we know Wheel that. Of time. You know, so, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Disper who rants about that all the time. Oh, and so, dude, he's a legend. Yeah, it's just we're tired of seeing that because activists are in charge of these properties, generally speaking. It's not fans. And when you see a fan project like something like a Cobra Kai, it's it's pretty easy to see that the passion's into that. But that's such an anomaly these days. These things don't happen. And people are tired of it. And that's why we are getting support. We're not getting support necessarily because we're talented. Me and Ryan definitely know that. But we do have a voice. And people need you know to know that they're not the only ones out there that feel this way. You know, I remember when I when I started criticizing The Last Jedi, I had no idea what the hell. I didn't know it was a big deal. I, I was kind of worried. I was like, I'm going to get annihilated probably for this. But look what happens. People, you know, saw it. And they're like, yeah, you know, I, there's there's not just me that thinks this way. And then you saw what happened with Game of Thrones. And I remember I made my Game of Thrones video, and I was like, good Lord, what's going to happen now? The episode three, and then Gary. I saw Gary live. It's like, oh my gosh. And, and you guys were criticizing it on your stream and it's 
that that same effect happens with fans out there when they hear us saying, hey, I don't like this. You guys are ruining this property. It means something to people. So we're going to continue to do it. We'll face all of the criticisms and the labels that comes against us. You're an ist, you're an ism. You hate this. You hate that. Whatever. Those words have no meaning anymore. But we appreciate all of you. Hail to the chat. Yeah. Well, Hail also to the true chat. Is that uh, you guys are having an effect. I mean, look at the growth that, you know, Geeks and Games is having, Nerdrotic, Ryan just hitting 100K. There is a lot of people out there that are wanting their voice represented. But it also, just those super chat chats are showing, it's also having an effect. People are realizing that, oh, things are going really crazy in the world. Our beloved property is being co-opted and stuff. And uh, it just, I, I, I just, you know, hats off to all your guys' work. I've been watching this for ages and uh, it, it's happening. I, I I don't know how long it'll take before the the growth, the influence that we're all uh, slowly getting is going to have an effect on the mainstream uh, properties <clears throat> that are being made. I think it will we'll eventually get there. I just don't know how long it'll take. Yeah, yeah, we're seeing it. Yep. We're seeing it now to this day. Uh, and I, I've watched all of Boba Fett, Boba Fett through EFAP, but I'm seeing people kind of work, trying to work out in their head, like, why are they doing this to Boba Fett? And I'm like, uh, guys, it's the same thing they did to Luke Skywalker. It's the same thing they did to Han. It's the same thing they did to Hawkeye. It's the same thing they did to Loki. I, I And, you know, each person gets, you know, wakes up at their own time. That's fine. But this and that was written by John Favreau, by the way. It's the same fucking people every time. They are there. Uh, a girl, that girl who tweeted up that they're basically, uh, they're, they're they're taking the power structures from George Lucas's Star Wars and they're readjusting them to to have more equity. That is a correct. Mm. That is a proper description of what they are doing. That's exactly what they're doing, and this all comes from intersectional feminism critical race theory and there's papers on it i have found lots of evidence out there that these are there's papers being passed around writers rooms and this is just clearly clearly what these people think right now yep. the activists have invaded because these big corporations bought trophies and they got these trophies they can put on the whatever fucking happens to the trophy they don't care they got the trophy jeff bezos i'm looking at the fucking picture right now with that big lord of the rings thing it's just a trophy to his this dude he doesn't care what they fucking do to it and it's going to be a total fucking disaster. You're going to say something, yep. Garrett? I don't... Yeah, the Disney does the same thing where they, they buy these properties and say, hey, we have got Star Wars now. We are now the place for Star Wars. Then they take it, deconstruct it, turn it into something that is not Star Wars anymore. And then when the people that love Star Wars for 40 years say, this seems a little weird. It doesn't feel like what I've loved this whole time. Then you get called a bigot and you get pushed aside. The whole thing, like in that super chat, it's... This is all for just letting you know that you're not alone. Like we, we've already said, the first time we found each other in a lot of cases, cases is because we went on the internet and said, does anybody else feel the same way I feel about this? Because <laughs> for some reason, all of the places that I went to before never said these things. They're all shill websites I found out now because they never said anything negative about these shows. And I was like, am I alone out here? And that's what this is all about, like this whole... I don't even know if it's a movement, but just group of, of people coming together, just going, you know, I don't agree with the other side and I, I want to say something about it. And they make <clears> us <throat> feel like we're in this echo chamber. They call our, our sphere an echo chamber. But we realize that there's another side. We talk about the other side and their opinion about things, but they don't yeah. about us. They don't accept that we have an opinion on things. Well, like, go back to the difference. When, yeah, go back to when we were growing up. Like, fans argue with each other. Fans fight. Fans yeah. debate. We've talked about that. Gary talked about how he's had to break up almost fist fights. You know, in the comic store. That's fandom yeah. and that's passion. We all do that. We all argue over significant things in the bigger scheme of things but in <coughs> our <coughs> context uh, yeah exactly like yeah. that's what we do we yes. fight we argue and how many times have we been in a debate with somebody over this comic book character could beat this comic book character's ass oh, oh, then you have some elitist asshole going why are you guys worried about fake characters like because we fucking care about it but when we were growing up we didn't have creatives like looking down on us trashing us for having mm -hmm. these insignificant opinions now we do because now never meet your heroes or never follow them on Twitter, however you want to yeah. look at that. But now you hear these people just talking down to fans, but it's like, you you are the, like, we're the reason you have a platform. If we're arguing over insignificant things, that means that we think your work is important. 
So yeah. why are you trashing us? Hmm. It doesn't matter if we give you the opinion or the feedback you want. The fact is, is we care enough to have passion about talking your about work. It. You're talking about it, yeah. So stop shitting on us. It's, it's crazy. And a lot of the times, the creators that are shitting on us are not even the original creators of the property yes. that we're talking about. So yeah, they don't right. really have any ownership of it. They're just a hired gun by whatever corporation that owns the property at that time. So it's not even like we're saying, like originally we would trash George because people didn't like the the prequels, but we never, I don't feel like we ever hated George. We never hated Star Wars. This new stuff is not Star Wars because it's not George. It's not approved by George. It's a company that bought the name and is just taking all of the names and making their own thing. And not only yeah, making their own thing, they're undoing what the original yeah. creator set out yes. to do. Sorry, go on. Yeah, no, you're, you're 100 percent correct. There's what people you, that didn't like the prequels because they didn't necessarily like what George Lucas did and how he went about it, especially. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a hard thing in general for people to know where the story ends, because then they have all of their ideas about what happened to lead up to that moment. So people had 20 years to imagine yeah. how all this came to be when they saw Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. It might not have been how they thought it would play out, but it was George Lucas and how he did it now. Like. We have yet another situation. It might be, you know, four or five years after The Last Jedi, but we have another situation of an actor sitting there telling the people that are making these movies, this isn't the character. My character wouldn't do this. He wouldn't act this way. He wouldn't do these things. And they're not listening to them. They and say, I hey, guarantee just do it anyway. to you, there's a lot of people out there that are, I don't know why people see, feel the need to defend Favreau and Filoni at every turn when it comes to these to these things on Disney Plus, I guarantee fucking to you if the same thing was out there and the name Ryan Johnson or JJ Abrams was attached to it, they'd be fucking mm. bitching about it because they're destroying a character yep. because they don't want him to be that character anymore. They're changing George Lucas's Star Wars. I understand the point. I don't know how many of you are actually watching Boba Fett, but what do you say to people who think, all right, well, previously we didn't see that much of Boba Fett. He got minimal amount of screen time before Book of Boba Fett. Like, what do you say to people who think like, well, maybe they're just developing the character? I mean, I, I sort of was feeling that way, but then I see an interview of uh, of the actor saying, oh, I was trying to pass off some of my lines to... Um, Fuck the Asian well, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra girl. Extra, extra girl. Like I, my character wouldn't would normally not talk this much. He likes to be more mysterious. Can yeah. I give more of my lines to X-ray girl? But the people are Boba using Fett that is, as an excuse. <laughs> yeah, we'd only yeah. seen a little bit yeah. of Boba Fett in the originals, but what we saw was very specific of him. Yes. He was yeah. he was somebody who even Darth Vader either had you know had some respect for. Uh, he was vicious because we, we you know, no disintegrations, which means, yep. you know, and the disintegration gun is like it's one shot and you, poof, you're gone. You're evaporated. So that's like a hideous, like, way to die. Uh, you know, Boba Fett wasn't afraid to stand up to Darth Vader. Uh, he's no good to me dead, you know, because he wants his money. He wants yes, his money. He doesn't money. care about him dying. Yeah. He cares about the money. Yeah. So, well, so how we, about this? He's, he's Boba Fett. <laughs> He's a bounty hunter. He's been a bounty hunter for a while. Why does all of a sudden he doesn't know how the underworld works? Oh, that I yeah, I like will, that, I've watched Boba Fett and I was just utterly baffled at how incompetent he is acting as a supposed crime lord. And as is that exactly right, we didn't see a lot of Boba Fett, but we definitely saw enough to get a really clear indication mm. of his character. And he was very cutthroat very competent and very observant. I mean, there's that great scene in Empire where he's walking down the hallway, Luke Skywalker is trying to shadow him, and he does a slight little turn mm -hmm. indicating that he heard something, but he doesn't play his hand, and he walks down pretending that he hasn't seen it, and then he gets the drop on freaking Luke Skywalker. Like, this yeah. guy, yeah. he was really tough, really competent. After he got and the drop on Han Solo. Oh, yeah, like, he was, The he Empire was is there because of him. But he was the one that when all the bounty hunters went, you know, scattering around the uh, the system to try and fight Han, this was the guy who was like, right, he, I've worked out my head. How come the, uh, the Star Destroyers not picked him up? How come they've not tracked him? He's still here. So where would you be able to hide? So he was the one that worked out that Han was hiding in the, in the bloody exhaust vent. Uh, you know, in the trash vent, whatever. Yeah. So he positioned slave one. Slave one. Slave one. Slave one. <laughs> slave one. What is it he called? Now? The slave dust one to, to, to be dust. there. So when Han uh, hit the thrusters and moved the Millennium Falcon away, he just 
boom, gotcha. He's a smart fucker. Yeah. Really but smart. He let, he let the black Wookiee go, right? That's woke. Black Chrysanthemum, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, didn't legitimately, have a, didn't have a gun. Is letting people go that tried to assassinate him. And I, to me, I, I, I was thinking in the very first episode, the first disrespect he needed to just slap down when don't let anyone get away with anything. And, uh, and, even that, when I was watching that, is like, oh, come, come on. Go. And to me, that was too far gone. And then someone tries to freaking kill him, and then he lets them go, and I'm watching this thing. Hey, leave what him are alive. you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, hey, no odd feelings, mate. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. What are you talking about? Hard, real hard feelings. Yeah. yeah. Well, they tried hard. to bring him back when, the they, when, they first, when they first brought him back into the Mandalorian. You remember that? We all remember that, you know, where, where he was beating everybody's ass and he was. Mist they know what Bo Boba Fett was. They don't yeah. care. It, that you know? was like but, such a so, bad. It was such a bad episode. But now in retrospect, that is way more Boba Fett than he's been better. acting his own series, yes. Jeremy. Yes. And it's, yeah, a, yeah, it's, 100%. it's proof that. You cannot trust that a, a director that you know is going to is good, that has done stuff that you like. Robert Rodriguez has made stuff before that you love, cannot make Star Wars. It's there's something about the Disney, Disney of it cannot make Star that Wars. Will not let them make a, a movie or a show. It, it doesn't well, feel this like a, Robert this, Rodriguez. This is a, this is, a, this it, is it a, feels like this Spy is, Kids. No, it, this is yeah, well, this is this is a problem with Disney. Spy kids. I, I, at this point. Honestly, I can't even hold Ryan Johnson responsible for The Last Jedi anymore. Ryan Johnson, right. when he worked under Vince Gilligan on Breaking Bad, Vince Gilligan had an idea, a vision, and a standard for what you were going to do. Execute my vision, and Ryan Johnson did a fantastic job of executing the vision in Breaking Bad. You know, so this is a Disney problem. This is a Disney problem. Yeah, Ryan Johnson sucks. I'm not saying that, but also he's shown that he's a competent director and can on do TV, a good job. It's a big it, difference. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, even Looper's not the worst movie ever. It's not the best movie ever, but it's yeah. it's fine, you know. But the point is, is this is a Disney problem. It, it's a Lucasfilm problem. Lucasfilm is ran by a person that knows nothing about what she's doing. She doesn't care about Star Wars. She's there for social justice. She's there for her agenda. This is not about Star Wars. This is a leadership problem. That's why you – we're at a point where hindsight has shown us that Rogue One is objectively the best Disney Star Wars movie, and it's not even close. And I don't even think Rogue One is good. I've never good. liked it. <laughs> it's not but even that's, good. But that's objectively the best one yeah. because it had a Darth Vader scene. That's it. That, that, <laughs> that they no, threw Jeremy, in at the last – That second. is Rogue One. That's yeah. Rogue One, that fucking hallway scene at the end, because it's the only fucking thing anyone ever references with Slave uh, with with Rogue One. I they rebel. don't reference any of you the just fucking say stuff. Slave it, now. The rebel. fucking miserable bint, uh, the the bit on the shores. You might get a little bit, but that fucking ah. Uh, you see the hallway scene with Darth Vader, and he got his fucking lightsaber, and he's like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> that's all they fucking yeah. do. Uh, everyone's like, I, I just always oh, wanted man. to see Darth Vader like that. What you want to see Darth Vader just meaning meanlessly Me yeah. fucking make somebody go from top to bottom of the hallway while he lets the dude get away that he could just force well, grab. That's what you well, wanted that, to see but, with Darth Vader all your fucking life. Yeah. Well, I've always said that that scene in isolation is cool, but that scene does like it, it in the in the next scene <laughs> in the New Hope. They're fighting like slow old men, and you're like, wait a minute. So if you watch that in yeah. in continent, if you watch that, you know, right after New Hope, you're like, wait, what? This dude was just a fucking ninja. Now he can barely <laughs> fucking move. And you know, and again, that just shows that they're not worried about the consistency of the story. Well, th that's the problem top to bottom with everybody working on Star Wars right now, and Dave Filoni is a huge problem when it comes to this he these people are more than willing to sacrifice anything continuity uh consistency of character story, like all this stuff to do what they want to do in the moment and it doesn't matter what's mm -hmm. coming the next episode it doesn't matter what came before all they want to do is put something on screen in that moment and but they to, think that the vast majority of people the normie audience won't care and they might actually, you know, have a good point. I think there's a lot of people that just shovel it in their mouths because it says Star Wars or Marvel on it. But eventually, well, what, what does that get? What does that get you? Returns. It gets them. It doesn't matter what, like you said, the next episode or the episode before. It gets them that reaction on Twitter that trends. Oh, Luke Skywalker! Oh my gosh! Now I got to go subscribe to Disney Plus or whatever it is. And then 
forget that I have working. it there and, and then not yet. continue to give people them money. Are catching, it's people slowly are, not working people are over catching time on, because yeah. it's not a good People story. are catching on that before they write a script, they go, okay, I'm going to write a little script. It's going to be three pages long for Boba Fett. Okay, mm, no masculinity. Can't have him killing anybody. That will be propping mm-hmm. up toxic masculinity. What else can't we can't, do? Can't, no uh, guns. Can't upstage a woman. No yeah. guns. Can't so call the Wookiee slave, too. No guns. <laughs> yeah. You can't use no the word POC slave. Power structures. Yeah, the Tusken Raiders might be confused for indigenous as people because I'm racist, so we can't have that either. Oh, How long was this motherfucker with the Tuscans? Just just for like clarity. Four years, sh- I think. The, yeah, think the show like gives no perspective no. on how long he's with him, but it has Sounds to be like four Tuscan and a half Raiders. years. I would have enjoyed a montage of like three or four Christmases with the Tuscan Raiders, you know, like just <laughs> yeah. so Life we days. know. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Birthday, like, yeah. Oh, birthday, like, oh, happy anniversary. I'll only accept that if they play montage from Team America World Police when they, when they, uh, Gary, I've, montage. I've actually shared yeah. an image. There is a, there is a noticeable <laughs> difference between Slave One and Fire Spray. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it went with a different design. I see. Fire okay. Spray. Or it could be like a, a fire um, extinguisher. I want to. I want to see Tuscans clapping cheeks. Honestly, uh, I think that wow. would really that would really take this show to the next level. Yeah, where's the I diversity? See... Where's two Tuscan Tuscan going together? You know? I want to see Boba Fett's acid scarred penis uh, <laughs> clapping cheeks with a Tuscan. There, well, that, yeah, I, that, I mean, because a fire spray is what you uh, get after a fun cheap weekend in Tijuana. So. Hey! so uh, I did want to see what was under fourteen the Tuscan people Raider. wrote like, that joke. <laughs> well, how about, how about, right they all just look like frost that's why they stay covered at all times <laughs> oh. what about a, a tuscan raider series called under the tuscan sun and it's just uh they, <laughs> that's like a live love laugh, <laughs> live, <laughs> love <laughs> laugh with the tuscan i i heard i was watching raging rhino stream and somebody somebody brought this up that, uh man like in mandalorian they had that stupid fucking scene where mando speaks tuscan and he looks so dumb, and everybody was laughing and memeing on it. And in this that. one, in Boba Fett, he spends four years with these people and never learns their damn language uh, because they realize how stupid that it looked. And so they just have him Maybe like doing stupid it. sign language they stuff. They just didn't want to say it. Was it I as mean, bad as, as when Solo started speaking Wookiee in Solo? I think actually the Tuscan stuff is worse than that because when he does it between the sign language and the speaking, he sounds and looks fucking retarded, like a literal I, retard. I it's like, like the sign language, <laughs> okay, like the the verbal is yeah. It doesn't <laughs> <look>. <laughs> Come on! What if one of the Tuscan Raiders just went? Are you being really racist right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go to the zoo and they visit like the seal, the seal pool, and then they're actually able to communicate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you say the seal thing. pool, do you mean the uh, <laughs> the guys on the sofa next to Frost? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Weird, weird. It's I weird. Like the weird. That he picked weird. out his own stick. That he, that he picked out his own branch. That was cool. And then I don't know. I like after four and a half years, one of the Tuscans just turned around and said, By the way, we speak perfect English. We speak the common tongue. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We speak, yeah, we speak the common tongue. <laughs> Bubba just walks into the wrong we tent one time and they're sipping tea. You're like, Oh. Uh, He's coming back. It's Shh. time to tell you. <laughs> four years we've been doing this. It's a fucking laugh every day. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the Tuscan, since they like have to prioritize getting water and stuff like that, do you think they're limited to the amount of times they can jerk off a day to preserve probably. their fluids? Well, they gotta unwrap they it, jerk right? Off and dust comes out, like sand yeah. and dust. Oh, I mean, that's how the Doom Sea was actually created. Just Tuscans <laughs> jerking it. Just, just, just jizz. Tuscan <laughs> jizz. <laughs> These are the questions you can answer when you have four episodes worth of flashbacks with Tuscans. <laughs> Tuscan right, used Disney? to be this beautiful, vivacious green land. And now he's just covered with Tuscan jizz. Do they X-ray have, girl scringing. X-ray girl Do they have Wi-Fi for, <laughs> for the what? Tuscan porn? What's wrong, They're X-ray girl? Tell us. they in that, like, black water thing. Like, Tell us. Oh, okay. words or less. Yeah. What's wrong, X-ray girl? I'm scared. Help. <laughs> Six more to go. Okay. Uh, she words. said that many times. She'd be reeked. Quarter Black Gary, oh. you're keeping track of her You'll words, like right? You'll like it eventually. Yeah, I'm right now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So on the note of all these weird things that um, uh, is happening in Boba Fett, because you're listing them off, Gary, I also, I don't know, it, 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 this is baffling. I'm like, I, 
I'm watching it, and this is the thing is just standing out again and again and again. Do they have, I don't know, a phobia or something against blasters in this, uh, like, series? It's like guns don't exist anymore, except if they're really bad, you know, capitalistic mm. insert kind of on a train thing. They Fire can have guns. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it really seems like they're pushing now, in this show specifically, firearm bad, um, because there are so many situations they should just be using bloody guns, yeah. and they look so stupid when they don't. <laughs> like, that assassination scene was one of the dumbest things I've ever freaking <sighs> seen. I mean, they had this kill zone where he's walking in the middle of the street with the buildings on either side, perfect place for snipers and everything, but no, let's freaking go down with these retarded shields and whatever the hell these <laughs> tanks <laughs> tan tan well, he's got a jetpack. Uh, that he doesn't oh, use. It's the oh, same. Hey, it's the same thing Dad, as a, a are you body. Australian? <laughs> Am I Australian? Uh oh. Am I Australian? Oh, yes. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> explains a lot. I know. He's a, <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's no. As is from New Zealand. As is from New Zealand. No, so as is from New Zealand. Uh, I, I heard that on the quartering <laughs> channel, and I, I confirmed. The quartering confirmed that. A quartering long time. Did you confirmed, notice yeah. that uh, those assassins looked a lot like the body positivity time cops from Loki too? They very similar. They have like yeah. sticks and shields. Um, yeah, no, there's an edict that has come down in Hollywood that they they want to degun everything. Uh, uh, probably because of Alec Baldwin. Thanks, I don't know. Maybe. Alec. More like yeah. defund. Yeah. Well, all yeah. this stuff was in production before that, but... Uh, like no, it, no, it, I, th I think that edict came down a long time ago, before before Alec Baldwin. I think uh, it all came from uh, BLM and stuff. All, it, it's all it's yeah. crazy to me how a lot of people are like continuing to defend the show while Boba Fett's constantly being upstaged by Ming-Na Wen. Like, constantly. And I, I, I love Ming-Na Wen. I love the fact that she's 58 years old and still looks fan-fucking-tastic. But she's, good she's better than him at everything. Literally mm -hmm. everything. I, I went a montage on montage of the last mm -hmm. episode where they went to go steal Slave One, which again, for five yeah. years, sat in the belly of Jabba's palace and nobody did anything about nobody it. Boba Fett literally it. spent two minutes fucking crashing the ship into things and being completely inept. And Ming-Na Wen killed everybody, did everything, uh... got the ship free. Then he decides to fly into the Sarlacc and almost die until Ming-Na Wen saves him. Like, how is how are how is nobody seeing this that was also critical of Disney Star Wars? Makes I logged no into to my me. my Disney Plus account that I totally pay for myself, and the banner is it says the Book of Boba Fett, and it's got them both against the wall, like looking like down the hall. But she's in the front, and he's yep. way in the back. It's the same like, as this the is Boba Fett, not her show. Put uh, her in the back. Yeah, mm. it, it's, uh, we, we just broke 11,000 11, viewers, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yes. Hell wow, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Hell yeah. You're not alone. Beautiful. Not alone. No, it's it's the same thing they did with the Ant Man or Wasp and Ant Man posters. The same thing they yep. did with the Hawkeye okay. posters. Same mm -hmm. thing they're doing with uh, Hawkeye, the Thor. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 yeah, it's 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 putting them front and center. Obviously, one division became Wonder. Oh yeah! Oh yeah. wait, we well, didn't hear about Doctor Strange. I don't know. Uh, uh, Jay Longbone like was posting Doctor Strange. I don't know if they're true or yeah. not. She was posting Doctor Strange uh, uh, spoilers all over Twitter, and they uh, some of it actually looked kind of cool, and then some of it sounded hilarious, uh, bad, horribly bad. But um, that being said, yeah, no, there's an obvious trend running through everything Disney Plus, and it has nothing to do with their subscriber count slowing down uh, at all. Uh, it, you know this this. Well, this they don't want anything to be masculine anymore. It's going to very, be very hard to create anything Star Wars or superhero without some masculinity. Uh, you can't. Well, well, uh, they, they, they really want the female characters to be masculine. Yes. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. What TV shows are coming? She Hulk, Iron Heart, Ms. Marvel, Agatha, Echo. Where's the fucking dudes? Yeah, no, but you guys are you guys are being very oh, disingenuous. Oh. These Friday night tights streams are always like. Pretty, oh. Why don't you talk about the three five five and how success? Never mind. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the biggest. Uh, oh, that was one yeah. of the biggest flops in, in recent Nobody memory. Your, your, oh. your female action. Well, they used film, to your female spies. So what happened uh, to you know like Gamora and Nebula? They were great female. They're characters. great. They were yeah. excellent characters, and they were hot. 
And they yes. were hot. Had yes. nothing to do with how much I liked them. But um, <laughs> at all. And Scarlett Johansson, black, you know, she was great, too. And it's 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 the change in philosophy. Right up until the movie. About, I talked about it in my last <laughs> video, and it all came in around. It was it was before the Orange Man came in. That was it was already started, but it just uh, it kicked into high gear in 2016. Uh, you know, because uh, yeah, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole too much. But it there was a connection. The, the The lines between Hollywood and Washington were blurring anyway, and there was always a connection, but they were just erased in 2015, 2000. Yeah. Eh, 14, 15, and that's when a lot of this stuff started ramping up. Then the Orange Man came in, made everybody crazy. And, you know, TV and film and comic books were good in 2014, 2013. When I, when I left the comic shop, I was like, man, you know, like things are – I left, unfortunately, when the things were going great. Comic books were actually selling. People were buying them and actually reading them and not because of 57 covers because the stories were – Good, arguably, with some people. But uh, everything changed. Everything changed. Now we're five years into this shit, and like now it's tough to find something good. I, I barely had a top five list, which was just five things I liked, five movies I liked last year. And uh, it's it's been Hollywood's worst era, and it's all because of streaming, too, and it's all because of woke content. There's other factors, too. We see Netflix completely collapsing. They lost uh, $50 billion? 50 billion in market capital yeah uh, that's hey. probably it's probably a little more I, I guess i haven't seen what the stock is looking to close at or i did close that today but it was rough man mm. i made a video about that last night before the market opened today because after hours it dropped it closed around 500 it dropped to 400 a 20 percent drop off after hours trading and it was all over, you know, last quarter's report that they just came shy of their estimates. It's not like they only got half of what they thought they were going to get. They only fell like, you know, 0.1 or 0.2 million short of their expected subscriber growth for quarter four. And then for quarter one, they estimated less than people thought they would estimate for growth. And that was enough mm. to bring them crashing back to reality to pre-pandemic levels for Netflix. You have like two years worth of growth for that stock wiped out in a day. Erased. Um, it's crazy. Yeah. And now we, we were talking about this a little bit earlier before the show. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a correction that needed to happen. And a global uh, TV. And, and Ryan, you were talking about, it might be a bit of an overreaction, uh, uh on some cases, cause there's still like Netflix is still getting tons of interaction, but I think it's the, the market and the populace, recognizing that, oh, that was probably as good as it was going to get, and the growth model will all... You know, Disney, Bob Chapek came out and said in that memo, they want 260 million subscribers uh, year after next. That's crazy. That is insane. Mm, uh, a lot of Verizon crazy. customers are getting it for free. I don't yeah. think it's going to happen. Microsoft's at... Or, sorry, Netflix is at... 224? Two, right, around 230-ish, yeah. right? 230 million for Netflix. They've been around 10 years, and they're having trouble growing now. And Bob Chapek wants to put out this horse shit and be at 260 million? That's crazy to me. No, I, I think that... Uh, Gary, you brought it up saving things. That that's what that is. It's saving One of the face. biggest problems with Netflix is that they are not doing the weekly releases. They're doing the binge model. And I think what they may be starting to learn is that as more and more streaming services come up, People went to streaming services so they could save money from cable. But now when you got HBO Max, you got Amazon Prime, you mm -hmm. got Hulu, you got Paramount Plus, you got Disney Plus, it's all adding up to more than cable was before. So what people are doing is they're churning. They're Spurmore. watching Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett, and then they're canceling <laughs> Disney Plus to watch yeah. Witcher mm -hmm. and something else yep. and then move on. If you do your weekly releases, if you have Witcher release over 10 episodes or 10 weeks, that keeps people hanging around. Uh, for Cobra yep. Kai, like same fucking. And if you thing. could overlap your your shows, you continue yeah. them across. Yeah. And but the thing is that they they release a show in one day, and it's nobody talks about it, and then they release another show three months later. That's exciting, and then people have already left. They don't care. No, I've, yeah, I've been saying this for five anybody. fucking years about Netflix, and right. and that's you know it, it proved my point, and many others. Uh, when when Disney came out and HBO Max and then Amazon changed and went to weekly 
as well. You have to, you, or you're going to just like, yeah, people are going to dip in for a weekend and, and bounce out. And, and yeah. also they're not making content. That's, that's worthy of it. Shad, I don't know if you've watched the Witcher. Do you watch the Witcher? Do you care about the Sorry, Witcher? I, I've watched the first two episodes of season two and I did watch season one as well. I haven't finished season two yet because uh, it's just time. And I think what's interesting is that, there is a lot of benefit to the weekly release thing because it gives people just time to try and process stuff. And uh, I've almost missed the boat now to really add a, my serious commentary on it because it was dumped all together and now there's basically everyone's moved on from it. Uh, I still want to watch the well, I think people would love to hear what you have to say, Shad. Oh, I, I have a lot to say. Oh, I would love I, to hear, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it. Yeah, I'm not giving up on it either. I, 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 there's so much. It's like something I want to like and it just can't because of uh, the showrunner. Yeah. And, and the showrunner is writing, not what she says on Twitter. I don't give a shit about that. But it, it has the same problems as uh, Disney, as HBO Max, as the fucking as yeah. the Peacemaker. It's it's funny that all of these companies competing against each other are writing similar themes within all of their, especially genre stories. It's isn't that weird? All the superhero stuff, all the stuff that's popular, is getting injected with basically the same fucking themes. So weird how that's fucking happening. Mm. But uh, but we're conspiracy theorists. Sorry. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I need to read this. Uh, F- Patrick Ells for one hundred dollars. For sad. So glad to see you finally on Friday Night Tights. I've been waiting for this crossover for so long. So have we. Thank you. Welcome, yes. Sad. It's about time. Oh. It is. Too, it's taking too long, but I'm here now. Too We're long. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Armed um, and dangerous. That this, uh, but with uh, with Netflix failing uh, right now, and it'll be, I'm sure it'll. Well, isn't the entire stock market failing right now? Isn't that isn't it kind of taking? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that triggered. Uh, I think that triggered a lot of stuff in the tech industry uh, yeah. yesterday. Crypto's or today. down. Yeah. I mean, I can just say, let's go, Brandon. That's all I can say yeah. about that. But yeah, um, but that's yeah. All I mean, I it it's really that. just comes down to it's a simple thing. You make good content, and people are going to watch it. It. it I, I don't yeah. think that I'm not a. I'm not a big like believer that the the weekly model is going to change anything. Like if you make good content, especially with Disney, you've bought all these fucking properties. You've got enough properties to last you all through. You're just giving shitty product. You give people good stuff and they'll they'll return to it. I mean, there's yeah. stuff that is on a weekly basis, but it does like Yellowstone something. I just started watching. That's a weekly show. You know, Lois and Clark's a weekly show. There's other things that are weekly shows. They're successful because they're good, not because they're yeah. weekly shows. No, but they stay around so, so longer if, you, if they're weekly. You're talking about yeah. them longer. It's like even Cobra eh, Kai, dude. Yellowstone Co- doesn't get talked about more than than a week than a, than an immediate release on, Go, okay. on Netflix. Okay, Game of Thrones. It get, but it gets no, Game Jeremy. Thro- you this, this, for, this, you only you only started. No, I know the ratings. I know the ratings are through the roof. I yeah. know the ratings but, are through the but roof. But what I'm saying, Jeremy, is you only started watching Yellowstone like i don't know almost at the end of season four right after yeah. people have been talking about it for mm-hmm. you just kept yeah. hearing about it and kept hearing about it kept hearing about but, it but that's because it's a good show that's but that's ultimately what I, it comes down to is a good show i, 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 that's I the know fact. it's a good but show I, I think that it's, that too, it's it both more, it's both of them I, it's both i think it gives it more potential to get out there when you are talking about it for that long game yeah. of thrones doesn't uh, happen yeah, game of thrones can, does not happen if it's all dropped at once game of thrones doesn't get to season eight it doesn't become a yeah. phenomenon. It doesn't happen. Uh, it has it because it's people talking about it, it each week and theorizing it, and it's yes. around for like three or four months. That helps build a huge audience. It's also good in the beginning. Of course, it has to be good. Yeah, uh, that has but to come I, first. Every like, time. I think, Cobra I think Kai, dropping I it at we're once. Gonna, we're not going to talk about Cobra Kai uh, again for uh, how long? A year. You know what I mean? Well, here's like, the thing: is if you drop everything at once, people are unable to talk about it with their friends. Because I don't know how many episodes into the season you are. I don't know if you watch two or three or you're finished. I can't talk with you about it. If you release it weekly, everybody's on the same page. Hey, you haven't watched well, this week. Well, I'm not going to talk to you about it. I'm going to keep you in the in the know. And then, but hey, we watch this episode. Let's talk about it. But we all guys, know what's yeah, going on. You guys are talking about the success of the individual series. I'm talking about the success right. of the platform. Disney owns enough property. If they put out good shit and they can release it, you know, all at once and sustain their <laughs> business model, if they would make good product, but they're not going to make good products. Netflix has the same thing. They own enough properties. They have enough rights. If they just make good shit consistently. It doesn't matter. Now, in terms of the success of the individual property, yes, I do believe that the 
the the you know weekly release is far better for the individual property. But we're talking about the su yeah. success of the platform. Disney just needs to make good shit and get the activist out of the creative process and bring people mm -hmm. that are qualified from a fan standpoint and not ready to push identity politics. That's all they need to do because they've spent enough money and they have enough property. Just make good shit. That's that, it. And yeah. they're unfortunately their focus has always been on that word property. Property, content, and not actually Especially Bob a, Iger. a story. Especially Bob Iger. Y yes. And their creatives are focused on the platform. So you have the property. This is what I own. It's not a creative endeavor. It's not a project. We're trying to create a great story. It's a property to these people. And then the creatives use it as a platform. None, neither of them use it like what it is, is a story that we are supposed to be entertaining to people. <clears throat> yeah. At the end of the day, the stock with the Netflix stock, uh, when you look at stock, it is an assumption from the investors about what a business will do. Um, and Netflix is still gaining subscribers. It's still projected to continue to gain subscribers, but it's not at the rate that people may have expected. Uh, so it's not like they're actually bleeding subs or anything like that, but that stock is coming back down because now people have reevaluated what Netflix will be able to do over the next little bit. It's the same reason why Disney can come out and say, well, we've lost fucking millions of dollars on the parks this year because we've had COVID, but Disney plus is going to be huge guys and their stock can go up. Because they get people believing in the future of what they're Echo. going to be able yeah. to do. Yeah. So. Well, Echo I found actually the future of Disney. Disney yeah, Plus Disney. next uh, Star Wars show. I found it here. Oh boy. There it is. Diane Lane was star. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, so more women to the franchise. Uh, What's depressing about, about this? In the sand. Uh, th this is based on a vein of truth. Like, as you were saying, they're making a whole series around Agatha? Yes. Yes, Agatha. I, I, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and, no way. And Echo, oh, the, Echo. the mute oh, paraplegic much. from Hawkeye. She's getting her own oh, series as well. I, like, <laughs> to me, that is as absurd as that Tuscan show. Like, I yes. wouldn't put it past yes, them it at is. this point. And we are in the reality where the memes are all like not far away, or just they are the reality. They are. Yes. We live We're in a place meet. where Babylon B has to fucking up its game to stop being right <laughs> yes. so often. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and well, we can't tell satire from reality anymore. It's too bad you all hate women so much. Yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> well, some some that's things never me. change. <laughs> I just remember back in the day they would only consider it as a whole spin-off series if the character was really good and everyone loved him. They're all invested, like when they made the Xena series spin-off out of Hercules or something like that. Mm -hmm. But like yeah. Agatha was just <laughs> it was just her all along. That's all it was. <laughs> it was Agatha oh, la, I la. feel like this is I, the, I mean, it. yes, it's the woman thing, but also they're trying to squeeze every piece of juice from this. They're just like, what else can we do to make money? What else can we make a show about? Yeah, it was, I think these, it would make shows about more popular characters if they were no, trying to make these money. These decisions though. were made make while, I mean, these decisions were made while things were going really good. So they just thought, we could do no wrong, man. Oh, people love the this Agatha character because it trended on Twitter for like a minute and yeah. this she was song so thing. annoying yeah. I can't yeah. believe well and, and see here's shot. the difference she, she did this she went yeah <laughs> Well, like if you look at what we're saying, look at what we're saying. Now you can you can disagree with with you know a lot of our takes or whatever, but our intent is that we're trying to say, hey, Disney and Netflix, if you want to make more money, in our opinion, this is what you should do. Versus, you know, the left wing crowd, what are they saying? They're saying we want more representation. We want more diversity. That has nothing to do with the success of the business model. They're trying to say that we want self inserts into your property to make us feel better about being losers in life. Whoa. We're saying as fans, we simply just want you to respect the source material and respect, respect the, the fans. Lore. Gary, respect you tell a this? story. This is this you is know? going alongside what Jerry's. Look at this. Daredevil cracked Nielsen's top 10 yep. most watched yeah. SVOD originals in the week of Christmas. What does a I, white male? I wonder why. What? Well, after a show, a show that's been canceled for three years, he is to say three oh, seasons. A so show, this is what, a six year old show, show, five year old show? A show Vincent D'Onofrio confirmed was canceled. 
because of Disney Plus. Because of Disney uh, Plus. Disney, and, yeah. and now your next Daredevil show is the Echo Show. So that's the Yay! answer to your question, Shad, is they're Sorry. taking, they're using nostalgia bait. So they take the popular characters to push mm-hmm. unpopular characters who weren't even popular in the comic books. So uh, it's it's insane. It, it's insane. It's insanity. It's it's fucking. It's crazy that you these decisions were made. You, didn't it? Yeah, it yeah, did. It. Uh, that, no, that these decisions were made when things were going fucking everywhere. awesome, and they're like, wow, they really like these girls. Let's just make. Let, let's just do what Kevin Feige wants. He simply wanted more female characters than male characters. Doesn't matter if it makes sense. Doesn't matter. Uh, what what the original character looked like. I mean, we're getting the same thing with uh, DC too. Yep, and you know they're throwing up a Batgirl that doesn't look anything like Batgirl. Oh, somebody! Oh, she's got red hair. Okay, so she dyed her hair red. Uh, great. Whoop, Still doesn't look did. anything oh, like that? Batgirl. And Supergirl. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't look like Supergirl. <laughs> Supergirl. All these, all these, yeah. all these franchices—they all have the same symptoms. It's like Justice over and over the off. same thing. Wait, again. Yeah, and <laughs> again. Oh, oh, Superman's gonna get taken over by his gay son. Aquaman's gonna get taken over by his gay son. <laughs> Batman's gonna get taken over by gay Robin. I'm not even joking either. These are all set up. Is it, well, is it, is it Tim, by bisexual is it, black woman? Is it Tim Drake that's gonna there's um, a new Robin. take over when for Death of Justice League? Maybe uh, or is it gonna I, be I Damien? Mean, I, I, I'm I'm speculating. I mean, it looks like Damien's probably gonna take over, but yeah, I thought that was Damien's just, outfit. Just I, Damien gay well. Hey, Gary, Damien. share my screen real quick. Um, Gary, share my screen real quick. This is awesome. Hear me? Uh, oh, there we go. Look at that. That oh, is cool, right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Wow. Oh, that nice. man was good. Hell Martino. yeah. Wow. He's the man, by the way. That, Martino that is awesome. sent Robert Meyer Burnett and I both. That's such those, a little TV. Those Playmobil uh, Enterprises <laughs> uh, each. They're 400 quid each. And he sent Damn. one to me, Robert, one to Robert Meyer Burnett. And then at wow. Christmas, he sent again to myself and Robert Meyer Burnett. The Playmobil James Bond DB5 and the Playmobil A Team Enforcer with A Team in it as well. That is awesome, right? He there, is man. the man, and he just created a little, uh, a little Star Trek with the Playmobil uh, Mini, uh, which we played on uh, fully articulated uh, a couple of a couple of weeks, like just over a week or a half ago. He's awesome, is Martino. He's the That's fucking cool. man. That's good stuff right there, man. Love it. Love to nice. see it. You love the to see Swiss, uh, by the way, Swiss. Uh, Swiss. Garrett, uh, could you, could you we, get that picture we, of Batgirl that the uh, yeah. Riven Dark just shared? Of Grace Is it Randolph? the one with her smiling? From no, above? it's the one of her like with the shit beat out of her. Uh, it's a close oh, look at her cow. I'm interested yeah. in seeing that one. Yeah. Let me uh, see this. Look at, look at Ooh, I'm Odin's getting turned Odin, on. Odin's got, got, got bisexual light. lighting. He's oh got my bisexual God. lighting. I'm green, everybody. <laughs> With envy for all these amazing shows <laughs> that apparently if, are very the, gay. From what I've heard, is, <laughs> very hold gay. on. If the lighting is the same all the way through, is that homosexual lighting? Oh, Boy. it is homo lighting. Yes, oh. it is homo lighting. <laughs> Some would say homogenous lighting. Yeah. Oh, I got the picture. If you want me to share it, yeah, yeah. I'm not seeing it. I don't see it. It's. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, go I'll, share, it. It. I'll share it here. Boom. There you go. Boom. Oh my wow. god. Ew. Could you close up the on it? The other one terrible was after, from there. The, the That's other after one was, she uh, talked back to Batman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the costume doesn't look any better Damn. at all. No, 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 it, yeah. it looks like she's she wearing a motorcycle jacket and the cowl has all these <laughs> lines in it. Uh, yeah, is the cowl yeah, well, like what are these stupid what is fucking going on? You can't is it see it. I don't know. I is it Kevlar? Fiber? Is I don't know. Yeah, like carbon Kevlar fiber is my fiber? my impression. Oh, why would she be? Wait, hold cowl, on. Why would she be wearing like uh, a JC Penney's leather jacket? That's what right, I that's said. Exactly. And then, like and I was going to say, it's and then have a carbon fiber fucking uh, cowl. I don't think it's Gary's retro, being, dude. Gary's not being fair. Like, I mean, for for that, that's what twenty five dollar jacket probably on sale. That looks pretty good for a twenty five dollar jacket. This is high, high quality shit right here, man. This is embarrassing, My dude. You God. can't get that anymore. JC Penney's, all those places, they're shutting uh, down all over the yeah, place. This is retro, man. Yeah, she's going retro on. Jeez. Yeah. Oh I, I, I love that 
uh, I, I love that the day after they revealed the suit, they had to leak that, oh, by the way, there's a second suit, guys. I'll, sh I'll, like, I'll, I'll save like, the image just, so I can blow it up a bit. Just right, so yeah. that everybody like knows that that's like not Grace the Randolph. final suit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because it was so fucking bad. You can wow. see the lines in the in the. Oh, oh. no. Yeah, super cool and gritty. Ripped for it's her carbon partner. fiber. <laughs> yes. Rip so no one fucking pleasure. <laughs> it's meant to help, you know, offset the punches, you know, like the ridges are there, <laughs> you know. You know, my mom should have had one of those. You know, it, it, <laughs> one of those helmet, uh, yeah, like a, a, a harder cowl w won't offset the punches if you're 110 pounds. Yes, uh, there you go, Gary. I you're can, still I going can, to the ground. You're still going I to the ground. In now. Pretty hard. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Oh no. There's a lot yeah, that right is definitely. The I don't mind the shape. Fiber. Yeah. I like the shape of it. The ears are yeah. good. But yeah, everybody loves the back. Look, 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 I love that she's getting her ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> look at that! Like, look at like, both for comedy and in reality, I like this. Oh, getting wow. ass kicked. It's like, a it's like <laughs> Hobby Lobby crafts here. I, <laughs> I, I this. Wow. That's like that this Halloween the spirit Jason. store. The bell. Look, I mean, yeah, I need some felt. The bell. Plastic yeah. rubber. Looks. It does look rubber. It looks yeah. like a rubber bell. Uh, but why? It probably is. Why, why are we getting a bit? So we just have a, a Batwoman. TV series. We just had a Superwoman TV series. Now we're going to get a Batgirl. Um, you know, what, what do we like? I don't understand. They Batman. always hold back on Batman, <laughs> right? They always want to hold back on Batman. <laughs> they seem to be waiting for something all the time. And yes, we're getting a, a three hour movie now of uh, another Batman in his beginning stages. This mm -hmm. time it's year two, not year one. So that's still the, the no whole, Robin. Hey, but it's going to be so a darker take. That. On the last darker take, so I'm looking forward to that. Darker, sure it's good. called a darker, -er -er darker, night. darker, -er -er -er. and I hope darker, it's good. -er -er -er. I hope it's good. Darkest I hope it's not night. the Catwoman movie. I hope it's not Tom King's Batman. This, uh, dude, dude, this is another well, one. Said like Bat and Cat in the trailer. This, Zodiac this Batgirl, Killer Tom King speak. This Batgirl movie is much like the Flash movie has been in development hell for forever. In fact, that was Joss Whedon. Joss like, Whedon. Joss right. Whedon Joss got Whedon, to yeah. do. That was the whole deal. If he came in and uh, finished Justice League, by that I mean reshot basically half the movie, uh, he would get to do a Batgirl movie. <laughs> No, is this uh, a movie and, or a show? And then every it, and then every woman that would have worked with him got very upset about that. It, it's a movie. Uh, it never happened. Yo. This okay. has been since like 2016. He's been promised this, so it's it's really I'm, weird. I'm sharing I'm sharing a picture of a much better uh, outfit, at least maybe not movie. Oh, Bat the outfit. So it's there we go. Works. <laughs> when it works, it works. <laughs> hey, John, <laughs> Bat, I'll show you a fucking better Birds of yeah, Prey. I, I don't think that, that Birds of Prey. Yeah, the the, two, that, the Birds of Prey 2002 was better than this. I mean, this yeah. is fine, what about what but... about this one then, Gary? Shout out to Alicia Silverstone. That looks like yeah, when those girls on good. TikTok put the the hair bands around their tits. You know what I'm talking about, That's Chrissy? Oh yeah, a good costume, right? That's there. the fucking That's awesome. costume for you from Batman Arkham: Ooh. The Game. Yeah, nice. I can see her cool. Fully armored. Look at how, how armored that is. How the cowl actually makes sense around the. Yeah. Neck now. Oh, yes. mm. but, yeah. but if it's armor, that's boob plate, and that's problematic. And uh, yeah, well, <laughs> hey. all right, Anita. All right, calm as, down, Anita. Is calm that an down. armored camel at, at, toe? Right, right, right. When I shared Alicia Silverstone, we hit twelve thousand. We hit yeah. twelve thousand. It's all it's second week in a row. We're at twelve k here on Friday yeah. night tights. I'm hell. Yeah. We could just and, keep and her, I, I, keep her. I do up. think shot effect. Like, I do think <laughs> that uh, what they're going to, and they even had to reveal it because the reaction was so bad to this bat suit. They're going to have another one at the end. She's probably going to get Michael Keaton's help, whatever the fuck's going on, and he's going to help her build a new suit. But the, the point is they revealed this one. They intentionally revealed this one. So this is what we had to judge it on. And it wasn't it an wasn't on-set leak like that is. That's an on-set leak. That one, they don't have the lighting. They probably want people to see. They don't have the angles, all that. The one they revealed is what they put out there. Leslie Grace and the directors put this out there on Instagram and on Twitter. And then when people started getting upset about that, the director came out and basically a big fuck you to fans. Did the meme with Batman yeah. slapping Robin with the fans saying it looks like cosplay and them slapping you and saying, wait till you see the movie. No, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. You put this out for us to see. It's not a leak. It's not anything like that. You put it out. We get to judge it. I'm sure there's going to be a better suit that looks better, but this is what you fucking put out there. Stand by it, you dumb cocksuckers. I have Stop a dumb insulting question. the fans. But, if, but this, this is 2002. This? 
There Look you go. Look at that costume. That's, that's good. Great. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great that's one. Great. That, that is, that is mm -hmm. the most that comic accurate costume. That looks great. That is the most I comic accurate. Hot. It's hot, nice. too. I want to fuck her so hard. Yeah, I, I mean, it's very special. Oh, 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 what's she called? Oh, yeah. Diane Mayer? <laughs> Dina, Dina Mayer? She's... <laughs> Do you guys think they're doing this on purpose to piss you off so you talk about it? Is that well, the, the thing is, Christy, right? That, that, that never uh, works. That costume that they showed off. It never works. If you are even a if fan they do of Batgirl, if you follow DC and you're a fan of Batgirl, you know that that costume is the Batgirl from Burnside costume, which yeah. was one yep. of the worst fucking runs of Batgirl ever as they moved her to Burnside and just SJW her up to the fucking nine. It was a new 52. Gave her a bunch of diverse new, new friends. Gave her a, b a bunch of diverse new enemies as well. Uh, but of course, some of them were so Ooh. diverse that they couldn't actually be bad. They're just misunderstood. Um, for, 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 for a second, I thought Batman you said was, diapers. That, them as well. They gave her diapers as well. Yeah. Uh, and it was so <laughs> fucking bad that when they did uh, Rebirth, uh, Sean Gordon Murphy did have uh, had Batgirl in his White Knight miniseries, which is a out of continuity mm -hmm. uh, Batman story. Which, by the way, is meant to be like an old, technically an older version of Batman the Animated Series. Yes, it's FYI, mm -hmm. and uh, they had Batgirl in that, and the costume in that was so well received that they fucking made that the new Batgirl costume and ditched the Burnside one as quickly as they fucking could. And the people at DC said that the reason why they made that Batgirl a Burnside costume was for fucking cosplayers to make. That's yes. like one of the things they did in New 52 was they specifically would try to design oh, shit no. so people could cosplay it. Di why? Design and no. who, who helped design a lot of those costumes? Jim Lee. Mm-hmm. Jim Lee. Oh. Uh, yeah, it, it, Mr. Paycheck, Jim, Mr. Fucking 50, Paycheck. Fifty two was yeah, it's the wrong thing to emulate. Ryan's right. Or, I mean, remember when you first saw that Spider Man costume, the Raimi Spider Man? Remember that one yeah. picture that he's standing on top of the building and like everybody went fucking nuts, and mm -hmm. we didn't get anything else for like a year. That's what you want. And uh, yeah. you know, Sonic, uh, the director for Sonic, we got to keep bringing this up. What was yep. his reaction? Oh, hey, sorry you feel that day. We'll fix it. We'll try yep. to fix it. We'll yes. do our best. Yep. That's all you need to do. Our mistake. Or not to remember, anything. remember, and he the, got trashed from Hollywood for doing that. Yeah. Now and remember, so you're, you're yeah. telling to the fans. <laughs> well, well, I'm, I'm sorry. What'd you say? The fans. It's remember dangerous. when yes. Ben Affleck was announced as Batman? The internet collectively hated it, even though straight white males never get hated on in the internet. And yeah, then they happened. showed him it. in the outfit, and holy fuck. Like the internet went crazy when they saw mm -hmm. Ben Affleck in that suit for the first time. That's what you want. You want that type of hype right there. But well, and then yeah, the movie ben came also out. Put in the effort, out. like he buffed up for the role, <laughs> and that also gained a lot of goodwill from me when he was working into it because it showed he was trying to take it seriously and he was yeah. committed to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, yeah. Uh, Gary, this is the um, this is the first image that was shown. Uh, by the way, I actually did a video telling people to give Ben a chance because I, cause he's a huge Batman fan and I reckon he put everything into it. But that was the first image that we got mm -hmm, of Ben yeah. Affleck in costume. Yeah. Yeah. And, in me, and in the re one of the reasons why a lot of the Batman like fans freaked out in a good way is because we thought, holy shit, we're getting the gray fucking Batman suit. Finally. Yep. Yeah. Mm. And that's, and that's what we got. I, my only thing is, and it's not a crazy, if they put the black pants on him as well as the black thing, I think that would have just looked epic. It would have been perfect. I still, instead yeah. of just like the undies. Yeah. 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 Uh, but still, this was like, people just, you no, know, no, that's the best, dark, best like, costume. Undies, well. uh, I'm not even a Ryan, big fan undies of, are of pants movies, but... to the Brits. Best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pants are <laughs> <bros. true. laughs> yeah. uh, But I, I think that, uh, like, it is true. Like, when, when you see the scene with Affleck fucking doing his thing and doing the pull-ups and pushing the sled and all that like working out it showed that he was committed his body was ready and then of course you know when you have those reshot scenes in joss whedon's justice league <laughs> you can like see the only thing the, the only thing that ben affleck was committed to is getting to the bottom of the bottle uh <laughs> it's very obvious so yeah yeah well that's Started what goes. from the I, bottle now he's here uh i i <laughs> I said this. What, the news came to my uh, my comic shop the day that happened uh, with uh, with Affleck. They talked to me and a, an employee, and I said the same thing. I, I said as I told the the news, I'm like, no, this is probably the one guy in Hollywood who reads comic books, 
who yes. knows comic books, who's read Batman. So you might want to give him a chance. Yeah, but yeah, so, uh, Ben Affleck is a was massive, massive. He had a bat cave. He had a bat cave in his house. I mean, yeah. I, I I was actually it's funny because I didn't like the movies at all, but I was hyped for him when he got announced. I, I thought he was going to be fantastic because I I love the dude as an actor and as a director. You know, Affleck is great big especially at that time he was hot as a director yeah and and i i I gotta say when that announcement happened that's some of the most hatred i've ever heard for any casting of any comic book you know character and Heath Ledger, and if Ledger that, level, and if he, you think? No, Ledger, Ledger was there, but but Affleck's yeah. such a bigger star than Ledger was at that point in time. So of course the Ledger, Ledger. hate, and he has the heat from Daredevil. But, yeah, but Ledger yeah, was only exactly. was like a, 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 a fucking rom com actor. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I say like the sheer scale of it, Affleck's was bigger because Ben Affleck's far more famous than you know most anybody mm-hmm. that's been cast in these roles. I mean, it's almost like if Tom it's, Cruise got cast as a superhero, you would hear the same type of outrage because he's just Iron so well known. Like, like Iron know? Man? So, yeah, like, like Iron Man. <laughs> like Iron Man. Well, um, and, and that just shows you, like, I feel like with nearly all the Marvel heroes, almost none of them were under that type of scrutiny with casting. With the exception of, like, when Hugh Jackman was cast as Wolverine, like, you saw a lot of a lot people of very hate. passionate about that. But you really have, you've got Batman, you've got Superman, you've got Spider-Man, you kind of got Wolverine at Marvel. But, like, fucking, like, when Chris Evans got cast as Captain America, I didn't see a ton of real backlash or anything because I feel like a lot of ways the MCU was kind of built out of not those top tier characters. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. So you didn't yep. see that. But every fucking time a Batman is cast, holy shit, it's the end of the world. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and and what the MCU did was make freaking Iron Man and Captain America top tier characters now. And then, they, yeah. of course, they get rid of them. But they still think they can do that. Uh, even though they're not the ones who started that, obviously it was Paramount and it was Marvel. Yeah. And uh, Disney thinks, well, uh, we'll just put a costume on them and they'll be just as popular as Robert Downey Jr. Everybody's yeah. going to love gonna Echo. It'll be a cosplay gonna costume. Wait, that's going to be a massive. <laughs> I know X Ray Girl is partial to amputees. Like so. Yeah. So. <laughs> she, does have a, she does have a taste. Is, is Mark going to walk watch Echo? You say walk, 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 walk. man. Gonna walk. Yeah, uh, you gosh. can hear you can hear um, Mark walking anywhere. He's like this. He's <laughs> 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 not sneaking up on anybody. Silent. Um, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm most likely not. We haven't watched any of the new Disney wow. stuff for a long time. Wow. <laughs> Wow. wow. <laughs> Even the diversity doesn't want to watch it. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Uh, take your 610 for $50. Hail <laughs> Shad and Oz from Author Australia. Since reading your book, I have been wanting to ask if any real life events or people inspired the book. Been enjoying Night's Watch and looking forward to Shadow of, the, of Conqueror. Show since you are involved. Oh, wow. There you mm-hmm. go. Yep, yep. Uh, all right. So, yeah, heaps of real world things inspired me. Uh, one of my, uh, you know, takes in fantasy in general, but also really anything, is you want to make something believable. Now, that's not necessarily say realistic because you're dealing with fantastical things, magic, and, and all that stuff. But you need to be consistent with its own internal rules, therefore believable. And the more believable you can make it, the more immersive you can make it. And part of believability is trying to make it feel realistic. And so we're dealing with a character like from my book, and he is a very difficult character to try and nail he's a former tyrannical emperor yeah i looked at uh, genghis khan i looked at napoleon i looked at yeah um uh, stalin and hitler and all those things and uh, what i find interesting my primary my protagonist is also an antagonist he has done some horrible horrible things like really really bad but Looking at the historical record, there's no one thing he's done that was worse than many of the horrible dictators we've had in the past, but he's just done more from every kind of person's playbook in, in one. But that's an interesting thing because, yeah, they're like in terms of the horrible things he did, we can look to history and there's even worse, more severe examples in history to a very large degree. So, yeah, absolutely. I was drawing from history in a big way with that. And um, 
in terms of the the short film still progressing i mean uh, i i am playing a role in it and i've been out to see the footage after the fact and I'm glad I didn't ruin it. I'm glad, so <laughs> at least at least I could say that. But no, I even did like a small little uh, rough cut of one of the, the sword fight that I got to choreograph, and uh, with the right angle, ah, oh, it's a lot of fun actually doing a, a film rough cut and stuff because you get to pick which angle because you do so many takes of the same set of movements and you get to pick which is the best one and which one will fit in there and uh, with the with the right you know tweaking oh, it was looking good i was very happy with it and so i'm excited with how that'll look when it comes out excellent oh yeah let us know uh yeah let me know when it does we'll promote the hell out yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. awesome guys yeah, so it's a are. short film not a not a full length one uh but holy crap like there are some moments in it the guy we um who is cast for the main character um dalen his name is uh, dawson elke champion I, I love him became really good friends with him on the through the shoot and everything like that but his acting ability is like just blew me away and i'm so excited for people to see him just own that role yeah it's very exciting brilliant excellent oh yeah uh, samuel wait. the infamous for 50 dollars is hail friday night tights for the panel what's your favorites oh wow what's your favorite vincent price movie mine's house on haunted hill just like Ooh. to throw down the occasional innocuous fun topic and once more have uh, for the cheap uh, for the cheap seats, hail. Uh, hail. hail. Ooh. I got to think about Vincent that. Vincent Price gotta, movie? That's like Edward Scissorhands. I was going to say Edward Scissorhands I know of. Uh, yeah, I'm at the IMDB. <laughs> <laughs> that, Did I know Vincent Price? Batman where he played. So, the, well, it, there's yeah. just so many. I'm saying like uh, the haunting. It's a, I always get it mixed up because of the Netflix series. Yeah. It's, it's the haunting of Hill House was the. House on, Netflix, Haunted Hill. House, House on Haunted, 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 Haunted Hill. Hill. The reason why yeah, I love that I always got those mixed up. There's this always. one scene the where so good. I, yeah, I, like there's one scene. There's like this acid, and the skeleton comes up, and ah, oh, got me every time. Yeah, that that movie, and that one kind of flew under the radar for me after the the, the series, the uh, the Netflix series came out because the names were so similar. But I'd like to go back and watch it because that movie freaked me out back in the day. Yeah, it's dude. been a long time since I watched it. I liked him best when when he did a guest spot on Columbo because I love Columbo. Columbo? Columbo's yeah. old school. <laughs> Columbo's the best, man. I still, I, I still watch. Just, uh, just a one more question for you. Yes, I want my thing. Just just one more thing. Uh, one more thing. Oh man, my boyfriend does the best retarded Columbo impression ever. <laughs> Let's hear your impression. Oh, yeah, so what is the impression of the impression? Uh, it's so good. Hey. <laughs> 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 it's better when we're all drunk. <laughs> Most things are. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I was gonna say he's been on the Carol Burnett show, uh, Madhouse. Uh, he was in. Um, uh, he was in the Ten Commandments. Was he, he was also narrated in, thriller. He was in the song yeah. of Bernadette, which is a uh, a Catholic centered story. So, I'm gonna throw that one out there. Great film. That's why nobody heard of it. Okay, yeah, this is going. <laughs> four o- won four Oscars. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Four Oscars. Four so did Parasite. I don't give a fuck about that. This is when the Oscars actually mattered. This was back in the 40s. There's okay. more movies that have won Oscars that I have never heard of than what I've watched because, uh, I, you know, I don't go back to the 40s. I'm old, but I ain't that old. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was the best era in film. Uh, you have to watch Gone with the Wind. It's true. I've heard that's racist now. Yeah. It is. And was it HBO Max that, like, is hold it, it or something Can't for a while? It. Because yeah. the yeah. depiction of black people. And then Uncle, be- Uncle Ben is in it. Everybody that's being yeah. canceled what? now. And then what they returned it? it, and I think they had to put uh, a, like one of those trigger warnings before it. It's yes, like, oh, did. shockingly, this movie that was made 50 years ago <laughs> might not 70. be exactly the same as the stuff that's we watch nowadays. set in what the era crazy. of Reconstruction. I mean, yeah. <laughs> crazy. No. <laughs> That came out before World War Two. Yeah, uh, Alfredo <laughs> Sosuedo for sixty dollars, sixty US dollars. Thank you very much, Chad. When are you going to finish reviewing Arcane? <sighs> when I have time, I like I will, I will. But um, uh, my issue, yeah, is time uh, at the moment. 
Because uh, when yeah. I want to do it, like, especially with Arcane, I get it. I sit down and I actually have my notes in front of me, and uh, and uh, it's a very intensive thing where I'm watching it very closely and all that stuff. Uh, but it'll be there. It'll be there. I need to watch it. Out. And that'll be on Night's Watch, by the way. And if you guys haven't seen Arcane, I, it was shockingly good. Like, in terms of the stuff that's being made nowadays, my mm. standards are very low. And so I'm not saying it's the best thing in the world, <laughs> but just the fact that it was really good. I was, where did wow. this come from? I, I, it was hard to believe something of that quality could be made. And like I said, it's not the best in the world, but it's just so much better than all the crap we have. Out hey, you're, we live in a world where I was just, I couldn't stop talking about the Tomorrow War. That's because it wasn't just a <laughs> pile of dog shit, you know? Like, that's that's the low standard we are at. Right Legitimately now. great <laughs> TV show, Primal. Go watch it. Primal is amazing. Amazing. Uh, Turtokovsky. It's, I've uh, almost like abandoned Western media and I've just been starting to watch more anime. One Punch Man. I saw Death Note Dr. for the Stone. first time in the last year and it's uh, one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Death Note, <laughs> you, you <laughs> Death Note is that action one, right? <laughs> Not watched Sorry, that what? one. I did. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> I went Wait, and, a, and, an and I've talked about this. So oh. I went after I watched the Death Note, the anime. I went and watched the trailer for the live action, and I was, Dude. I was like, God, I kind of want to make a rant video <laughs> right now. I know I'm like years too late on it. Jeremy. But good God, this is terrible. <laughs> I was, was told so this. bad. You might want to double check this, but we were told what on Real BBC as that the writers from that from that are writing Moon Knight, uh, the live action Death Note. So. <sighs> As just died. <laughs> he <Yeah. did. laughs> I saw it in his face. Uh, just... Cool cool video 101 for $50. Uh, Sussler. Sussler. Uh, saying, Repu Sussler. Uh, saying Republicans are Yahtzees is completely nonsensical. The Yahtzees weren't Republicans. They were socialists. The Italian yeah. dictator, the father of fascism, was also originally a socialist. But Yahtzeeism... And fascism came from socialism, which people have said repeatedly, but they don't care. That's that's not what they're about. Facts also don't the, matter. Also, the Republicans don't do anything. So just by default, yeah, they can't be fascists or, <laughs> or any of that. <laughs> they don't get anything done. Yeah, saying you're going to do something then never doing it doesn't mean you Correct. actually do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so G4, whereas the other that's side a good transition. A G4. Um, they, they're still at it, dude. Uh, the, Ryan just did a video like it's like Frost won't shut up. She's like to do it. Like, how did she make money off of getting Twitter followers? How, like, how, is, how does that work? <laughs> that's a lot. Like that. that that's bullshit. Like that. That's all. She's like, you're just giving me more interaction. That's a lie. No one's making money off Twitter unless you're Eric July or Jeremy or someone who's using Twitter and making videos, making fun of people to monetize them. That's not what she's doing. She's just yeah. lying about that. Yep. But she was bragging that she had gained eight thousand Twitter followers, uh, and even though G four has lost five to six thousand subscribers. That's not a problem. Social Blade. We could look at Social Blade. She's gained Twitter followers. I'm sure she has. Whoa, I'm sure there's a lot of weird 14-year-old transgenders with pronouns in their bios that followed her after this. So it's, congratulations. It's not about, it's not about her. If, if that's exactly. her attitude, it, that's not about you. It's about what you've done to the fucking channel, bitch. Yep. Yes. And by the way, yep. but you are a bitch. So that was used in the correct term. <laughs> was that heartfelt? Clear. Well, it's like, it's like using that. You, if you you're don't just get the, about yourself. Go on. Go on. Go on. You, you go. No. You go. Uh, well, I was going to say, it, it's not about, she said she's about like removing hate and toxicity from bullshit. online discussion. Yeah, okay. That was her stance. But then when people are hating on her, she says, ha ha, I'm using your anger to monetize you, which number one, she's not monetizing. But the point is, is the stance she's taking completely contradicts the entire rant that she made. She shouldn't be happy about people hating on her based on what she said. She should be going, please, let's not, let's, let's not do the hate. Let's not. No, she's like, yeah. ha ha, I'm going to make money off of the, she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. She she's just is coping the hate, right Jeremy. Now. She yes, is. Yeah, she, she, she is the fucking it. hate. That's the fucking hypocrisy of the whole thing. She's talking about being the, you know, oh, I'm a champion. Whenever I see uh, injustice, I have to get in. She's the fucking person that causes the issues. She's the one that went on the fucking sexism rant. She's the one that got fucking basically yeeted uh, from the lol community because they fucking hated her. And then what did she do? She then went and going, oh, look, look how fucking white esports is. It's just a blanket of white everywhere, causing shit wherever she fucking goes. This is a nasty piece of shit. It's not toxic gamers 
or people in the chat of G4 that are the problem. It's fucking bitches like her that are the fucking problem that go into a franchise that run their big mouths, think they're better than everyone else, think that their moral standards uh, uh, trump everyone else's. No, they are the fucking problem. Uh, and that's talk why we do him, have heels. stuff like this. Yeah, talk, talk to him, Hill. It's, 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 it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. And here on here on Twitch, uh, Twitter just is a, an absolute example of the narcissism yeah. of the person, because it, all she's talking about is, oh, my clicks have increased, my this have increased. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about the producers who might lose their job because of this? Have you thought about the writers that might lose their job? The lighting all those crew. People you want the, to turn the camera around. Yeah, all the people that you fucking yeah, signaled in your fucking ugly. speech <laughs> to champion that could lose their jobs now because you've basically cut short the lifespan of G4 because you've turned people off to watching it. And then you just want to pat yourself on the back. And all you're bothered about is where is my next job? Where will I go next? That's all you care about. Selfish, narcissistical horrible disgusting toxic people like her are the fucking problem yeah and it's been a problem at when she was with lec she would go on the league of legends reddit and fight with fans who said who criticized her for shit it's she has a history of this this happens often she's doing it on twitter now she's doing it on reddit now and with g4 it, it has the reason that people are watching g4 and x play right now has nothing to do with her it has everything to do with what g4 has done and has been over decades that's the reason people were interested in this so you know what anytime there is any change people are going to probably be a little bit hesitant that, that's just how it is when we if we brought a new person on to host the show there'd be some pushback right because yeah. oh that's different that's a little bit of a change and then over time you kind of earn your place and you show yes. why you're here and that kind of thing but she doesn't want to do that she is a professional victim that's what she has done everywhere and she can't understand that it's so much bigger than just her it's about g4 you know even though she might gain a couple twitter followers from a couple again a couple freaks uh, congratulations, freaks have Twitter accounts too. Uh, G4 is hurting right now. But like and, uh, to do that rant, she must have had to collaborate. Like clearly she was reading from a prompter. Mm -hmm. So somebody must have known, at least one or two other people must have known she's about to do this rant. Like it wasn't she went rogue with they the own you. paper I, they in know. her hand. I'm curious about, I'm curious, like there's no, I don't, I can't see anyone that was part of the writing and maybe I'm wrong about this, but I mean, it, part of what she said is she says that Hogwarts Legacy is the reason that Microsoft is going to destroy yeah. PlayStation because it's a goddamn exclusive. Well, it's I, not an exclusive. And number one, even if it was, that wouldn't matter. Like that was, but that wasn't a free form like X play predictions thing. That was them fucking shooting the shit. Like I think that's well, a that part where one, they yeah. go unscripted. Okay. Uh, okay. I, okay. Definitely her rant because she even says, if you watch the whole thing on YouTube, she's like, scroll down, scroll down, scroll past that. Okay, right there. Sexism in game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but okay, but you're right about that. But I'm saying she was making the excuse when people were going at her for her ridiculous take on the PlayStation's a dead man walking. Th that she said that 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 it was a script that she was reading from, and if Adam reads from that same script, no one hates on him. But I'm just like Adam Sessler, he can be the worst person, and he is, and, and he is, but he knows gaming. There's no way yeah. Adam Sessler is going to go. Yeah, the uh, the the PlayStation's he dead. He just got a bunch of shit about Metroid yeah. Prime or Metroid. What's the new one? Dread, right? Dread. Metroid Dread. Dread. He Dread. just got a bunch of shit about saying that game wasn't that great. So yeah. it happens to him just as much. It's yeah. because she doesn't care about anybody else. Wait, he he it's said all Dread's about not her. that great. He did. Yeah. Is he intimidated by issues. strong women characters? So, is that what it is? is? Shad, you're that's my something? game of the year. Uh, uh, that's my game of the year. So, Adam Sessler, can we stop the toxicity? Just because you don't like strong women characters in video games doesn't automatically make it bad. Metroid Dread is the game of the year. Adam Sessler, stop with your sexism. Just because you hate women. There are so many contradictions with so many things what she's saying. And I'm talking yes. on, on like layers, right? Because yeah. she has been copying criticism about stuff that was clearly unscripted off the cuff, which was her own voices, her own voice. But then in her rant, she tries to deflect that and say, no, no, this is just the script that I was given for. And she doesn't want to acknowledge that she's getting legitimate criticism that's directed at her. That's valid for things that she said 
for herself. And in terms of what Ryan was saying about her being a professional victim, there is a moment in her rant which I just, it floored me, where she, it was a face-off moment, I'm not sure if she acknowledged it, but it was unbelievable where and it's the whole script thing where she is saying that we're all reading from the same script and she acknowledges that one of the guys doesn't get hate for the bad things in the script but then she says there are two other hosts and she points them out by name that they get the equal amount of hate for the errors in the script but then she says the hate that's directed at her for the same reasons is because of sexism, yeah. where when it's directed at those other, so other guys, it's not. And that one, I couldn't believe. I was like, what? Because if the criticism is legitimately from the errors in what's being said in the script, that means it's from the errors. And then for because she legitimately wants to so and it's like when she says she's against hate and all that stuff that's utter bull crap because she's that like what she has shown here she has gone out of her way to purposely sow discord and division by trying to create sexism when there wasn't any to begin with right. because the same criticism was going towards those other hosts who was reading from the same script and she says this and she actually says this, she says two things can be true at the same time it's complete double yeah. think bull crap <laughs> when she says when it's directed at her it's sexist but when it's directed at us, it's not it's legitimately creating and this like to me it's just like more proof more proof in the world that these people want the world to be sexist so they can be victims they can virtue yeah. signal they can stand on their soapbox because they're not talented enough to gain credit and accolation based on their own merit they need to get the sympathy points and all that stuff they need the 15 other writers writing everything. Talk to him, Chad! Talk to him, Chad! This is why you're an into Sarkeesians. They say everything's yes. racist, everything's sexist, because they need yeah. to have everything to cover up yes. their fucking lack of talent. Exactly. Yep. And they, like, they want the world to be sexist so they can be the victim. And mm. it's like, that is one of the most loathsome things. And like, she's vilifying the people in chat. Uh, and like, all these criticisms that I was going to her from the script, she, like, just be like, she proves it wasn't sexism if the other guys are getting the same criticism. And the, the one host that doesn't, it seemed like he was already on G4 and he has a lot of goodwill. And mm -hmm. even if he reads from the same script, it seems very clear that he has the goodwill. And she has said a lot of stuff that's already put people's, you know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And they're going to be looking at her more critically, be more aware, and they're going to find the stuff that in the script that she's reading from that's wrong when she says it versus someone mm -hmm. who has a lot of goodwill and support. And so, again, that's not sexism either. And uh, this is just another thing where these types of uh, – disingenuous uh, it goes again from the everyone wins mentality you're always you know valid all that stuff where they want the world to be awful so they can find a way to succeed because they can't put in the effort themselves and uh, it's just here's proof right here where she actually says it for everyone to see it. yeah it's funny she says it out loud but she doesn't realize that's what yes. she is saying it's like <laughs> you are proving our point like right now yeah. You just said the people that you are talking about right now, which is not the whole community, but then in your forum post, you say the whole community is sexist. Mm -hmm. Those people say that they don't trust you because they don't believe that you have the accolades, right? And then you say that 14, 15 people write every word for you. Hmm. <laughs> and I think she was very insecure, like... Like Very Olivia, insecure. Olivia Munn was able to be herself in that space and still have fun and still be her, yeah. but still be able to hang with the guys and like whatever happened. And I don't know if this is because I'm a comedian, like a woman who is in a very male space. You kind of have to like not that I even there was an adjustment period. Like my sense of humor was always kind of like a guy's anyway. So I didn't have to like pretend to be something I wasn't. But whatever happened to like well, humor recognizing is though, Chris, I don't think well, humor has a sex. Yeah. Well, 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 when she, she says funny, my sense of humor was like a guy, what she means is she was funny. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what she means. <laughs> but like whatever happened to like, <laughs> what, like being a woman being like, OK, I'm in a mostly male space. Uh, you should maybe I don't know, like get yeah. along or like, gotta be able to hang. Man. Yeah, be able to hang, and it doesn't seem like that. She's trying to. It's like the theme of what we always all talk about, like the 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 one person or the minority trying to change everybody else in the room to suit their personality. When it's like maybe you're just not a good fit. 
Yeah, she th- hates the it. audience. She, yes. she yeah. fucking hates the audience. The audience is likely 80 to 85 percent male in a lot of cases, and she fucking despises them. She is not going to change for them. She wants them to change. And if they mm. don't change, she wants you to leave the fucking community. That's what these people want. It doesn't matter if we're talking about games, comic books, TV, everything. That's how these activists work. Yeah, they come in. They come into franchises. Uh, they say, "Oh wow, you know this franchise looks a bit fucking male to me. You need some more women in here." They start kicking up a fuss about gatekeeping and creating all these uh, false narratives which don't exist because the whole nature of fandom is fandom in itself is such an inclusive place because. We just want to talk about what we love, whether it's 40K, Batman, Superman, uh, you know, Game of Thrones. We just want to talk about it with people. So the more people that come into fandom, whether they're, they're female, whether they're from a different religion, ethnicity, it doesn't matter. If we have a commonality in the franchise that we want to discuss, they're welcome with open arms. It's these, yeah. these gri- they are grifters. They are legitimate grifters. We hear the word used in a, in a nonsense, just like we hear Yahtzee and white supremacists in a nonsense way. But these are legitimate grifters that are just like, how can I bank off this? Right, I'm going to go into this franchise like Anita Sarkeesian. I'm going to kick up a fuss. I'm going to say that it's too sexist, that it's too white, that it's too this, it's too that. And they stick labels on and they tear the franchise apart. Times they are trying to create division. They are trying to create fans to turn on each other. They are trying to to cause that argument uh, and rift that causes splits. But when you get to the creative side of that, when the creative side, like in the comics industry, for instance, become the grifter, you just tear your industry apart because you go in with your, your ideology. Oh, these comics, they're a bit, look at how sexy these women are. Look how straight these men are. Look how white these men are. And then they go and they go, we're going to want to tell our stories. And what do the comic people say? Hey, tell your stories. Tell your stories. But what they don't realize is when you're trying to tell a story about a minority of the, uh, of the world, then that's what really you're going to get as an audience. You, you're not going to create like a, a, a and, and, and you know, not saying say this is a good thing, but you're not going to create like the ultimate gay hero and expect every heterosexual to just go, hmm. Okay, yeah, 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 I'm on board. No, it's just, it's just not going to happen. That's not how life fucking works. Uh, people are, some people are going to gravitate. If the writing's good, yeah. some more John people are going to gravitate. Captain yeah. Jack ultimate, Harkness from Doctor mm-hmm. Who. There you go. But ultimately, you're yeah. going to have a, a specific audience. And then when that book, you know, if that book doesn't get the sales that you think it should, like the same sales as a Batman or a Superman or a Spider-Man or a this and that, and then you turn around and you go, community is bigoted it's bigoted yeah. it's racist it's sexist it's and you just and you just tear it apart and so people go fuck this idiot or they challenge that person on twitter and then that person on twitter because twitter has exposed exactly who people really are they generally go fuck you so that person goes oh fine i'm never gonna buy a comic off this person and then a thousand other people that will never ever use social media say a word will see what's happened and gone I'm out as well. And they don't ever take that into consideration because all they take into consideration as we hear from them is, oh, it's, it's just the vocal loud minority. No, no it's, it's not. It's a thing called... It's a, the yeah. silent majority that fucking leave you. It's called a uh, lost based sale. Based off your behavior. It's called a lost sale. So as an I quitting <laughs> comic books is a lost sale. This is money I was going to put into buying your new product that I'm now not and I'm taking it somewhere else. Uh, buying older comics. It's a lost sale, and there's a lot mm-hmm. of lost sales. Uh, and that's the lesson I learned at the shop, like the, the people who just don't show up again. You're like, oh, I wonder what happened to that person. Maybe I pissed them off. I don't know. I'll never know because they didn't say anything. That's the vast majority because people don't like confrontations. But uh, what are we sharing here? So um, life is about strong and weak. It's not about sexism. So this is a clip from a, a girl gamer who shows you mm. how to deal with when someone's talking shit, this is how you respond. Life is about the strong <laughs> and the weak, and that's it. Yep. So if you're a female gamer out there and you're playing a game, this girl could survive a Modern Warfare 2 lobby. In fact, <laughs> she would own a Modern Warfare 2 <laughs> lobby. So let's listen to this right here. Put your goofy ass up and go out to the kitchen. You're 35. Go make your kid a sandwich. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
I'm going to fuck your dad and give him a child he actually loves. <laughs> oh! uh, I'm in love. Yes! I'm in yes! love. Oh, yes. One more time. One more time. <laughs> Who is what? this dream girl? That's great. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to fuck your dad and give him a child he actually loves. Oh! <laughs> he hears scream. He screams at the end of the road. He's like, <laughs> so good. Like that is the best right there. Yep. And 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 yep. I do have this clip here too because this is like a little clip I put together. But look right here. This is this is G4. Okay? Oh! Right here. Sexism in oh. gaming. We're right. riding. Let it be mine, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Classic episode. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh my God. Oh, yeah. 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 Keep forward motion. That is a. Wow, Sex that's G4. But Frosk will, you know, like Frosk is such, it just, it's all projection. That's all it is. Hot dog. Um, so at the end of the day, life is about the strong and the weak. And, you know, if you're a person that can handle the online, <clears> look, <throat> when you go online to play video games, there's this magical option called a private party chat. You can create your own party chat if you don't. Most of us do that anyway. You're a fucking psychopath. You go to a game lobby anyway. It's easy to get <laughs> roasted. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter. They will They will, They will. will invent reasons to make fun of you in a game lobby. Just <laughs> All you're going to hear is N-words and horrible insults and somebody playing music in the microphone. Oh, that's yeah. what a game yeah, lobby yeah. is, okay? <laughs> that's like, that's it's, what it is. You, you gotta deal with it. Some dude who keeps it. talking to his fucking baby mama, like, through the <laughs> fucking yes, game. Yo, yes. Yes. Oh, God, it's so fucking annoying. I'm trying to play a game. Yes. Shit. I never go to game lo game chat. It's, I, it's I, just absolutely... heard, I just heard Jamal arguing with his fucking baby mama about <laughs> he's supposed to take care of the kid right now. All I hear. Gee, yeah, while he's always, playing a game. You're always on this game. You ain't taking care me and a kid. You're always on this game. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the, it's the art of fan blaming. That's all that, I mean, like, we see it over and over and over again. What you do is you take a couple of comments, you conflate it with the legitimate criticism, and then you pull it up into a big ball of it's your fault because I got called out for shit I don't know or st something my 14 writing, 14 writers missed. You know, fucking 14 writers, 10 to 14 writers, 67,000 yeah. square foot studio, they built a whole fucking esports gaming stadium to go along with all this shit too. Camp uh, Comcast put a ton of fucking money into this they project. Blew a lot she is of a that was a money. mistake. It's a yeah, yeah. I, might as well I set can't it on believe fire. Uh, I can't believe Zipper mi mixed that up on, yeah. the, on the script I know. there. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> that comment from Ryan about Jamal was so good. <laughs> it's <laughs> good because it's, it's true. true. Yeah. yeah. I told you, I told you he was going to be playing tonight. I fucking told you. Dude. Huh? Dude, my, yeah. My, not I, did, I, did the, I did the fucking laundry. I did it. It's fucking downstairs. Yeah. I fucking did it. Oh, just get the fuck off. I'm fucking yeah. off. I'm in the lobby. I'm, I'm I just thinking you can fix real. <laughs> Imagine that you can fix game chat lobbies. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. <laughs> the, fuck? the only way you fix they them would, is by eliminating would, them completely. Exactly. You, they would try everything. No, give they it time, they will. They would put this in that in and that in and we'd, and we'd all get into a lobby. And then they'd be like this, this, and everyone would be like kind of quiet. And then somebody would go, hello. They go, oh, hi. Another person would go, oh, you're okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then they'd go quiet for a bit. And then somebody just go, Nick! And then yeah. just, and he's just like, yeah. oh! Yeah. Like millions of dollars in research and everything to try and get a clean lobby down the drain immediately. That guy was waiting for the three years of research that you did and all the little tweaks to the fucking code that you did to try and get rid of toxicity. If, if, you, if you think women are, are just a target of sexism online and they're the only ones who get, hey, go into a game chat and say, yeah. hey guys, uh, my name's uh, John and this is my first time playing Call of Duty. How's everybody doing? And go ahead and just sit back. <laughs> and listen to the show because this dude is going to get ripped apart for the next two hours until he either cries and leaves or he becomes a man in that process. Well, That's Jeremy, it. You That's could have stopped. You could have stopped that. Hello, Jeremy. That's what you're gonna... <laughs> Hello. Who is this? Hi, yeah, everyone. Yeah. 
What are you talking to, you fucking <laughs> Shut up, noob. <laughs> Guess what? Shut up. Gamers just like everybody <laughs> else. Boy, Trent, tell you to say hello to us. It's like, like walking in a prison. <laughs> fucking normal people. Normal people like to push people's buttons and make fun of people and push boundaries and be a little bit edgy. Like, that's just who they are, right? I cannot tell you how many George Floyds I've seen. Some version of a George Floyd gaming tag <laughs> yes, on Call of Duty, yes, right? Yes. Like, you're it, running around it on just Halo. fucking happens. <laughs> you, you're like, oh, the top score, Fentanyl Floyd. Crazy. <laughs> in hey, like, respect. He's good. I, it's like right after I push out, I acknowledge it. Black Lives Matter, so I can play <laughs> Call of Duty. Next user's like, X Fentanyl Floyd 69X. <laughs> Great job. You solved racism. Congrats. You did it. I, I, think so. pat yourself on I the can't back breathe. I can't oh. breathe. <laughs> Oh shit! It's like when you walk into prison. Same thing, you know. Except you don't actually <laughs> get ass no. raped. But uh, <laughs> and, hey. what's baffling to me, right, is that this behavior is so easily explained and understandable. You know, in a competitive mm -hmm. environment, people love talking crap and all that stuff, and yet they get so bent out of shape by uh, this type of stuff when. Uh, and then they, yeah, you're you're out, Jeremy. They want the world to change for their feelings yeah. and all that stuff, and it's because they just need to grow up. Uh, it's unbelievable. They, they can't, can't accept they can't reality. Handle the world. They can't handle yeah. it. Exactly. No, they can't. They can't they, handle they, how what what gender is. They can't handle how the weather works. They can't handle how mm -hmm. people just work in general. Like, there's no. They've never There's had no, they've they've never had, they've kind of never had a function on that level. They've, they've only mm -hmm. had affirmation. That's all they've ever had. They've, mm -hmm. they've never had anything to struggle against. They've never had any of those issues whatsoever. They've never been in a social position uh, it, where, where it challenges them. It, everyone's always given the pat on the back, told <clears> them they're the best, even when they failed. Uh, and, you know, everyone's a winner. Everyone gets a prize. Everyone gets a participation award. Oh my God, I'm going to give you a rounding applause because you're this fucking color or that uh, fucking sexuality. Just like, you know, these aren't things to be applauded. They're just fucking part of life. Get on with your life. Try and live some fucking life. But they won't. They won't. They, they just want to complain. No. They want to be the victim. They want to be the person that everyone goes to and goes, are you all right? Uh, if, you okay? you if you can't you handle okay? the fucking comment section or a gaming lobby, life is going to be extremely, extremely hard yes. for you. So maybe just keep your mask on and stay at home. I, I don't fucking know. Yeah. But like the world is getting stranger every day when Forbes puts up an article I agree with. Uh, it, wow. I have no explanation for this, uh, but fans are gatekeeping anything. And I talked about this in my last video. Uh, fans are gatekeeping anything. They're just wary of would be dictators trying to take over their ho hobbies. It's that mm -hmm. and activists. I mean, they always miss yeah, that wow. part. Everybody always misses that part. It's implied at this point. Yeah, it it, it is. Uh, one of the they are the dictators. Uh, mm. Yes, one of the strangest phenomena uh, that keeps on popping up these days is the in, uh, inaccurate accusation that fans are somehow gatekeeping their hobbies. Firstly, this is actually impossible to do, and secondly, there is more going on here than first appears, according to Miriam Webster. It, uh, gatekeeping is either someone who tends to. Uh, Tens or guards, a gate or a person who controls access to something. The accusation in the this instance is obviously applies to the latter. Uh, regardless, fans are incapable of controlling access to their hobbies. But before I get to that, here is some a bit of fandom history. Picking a specific example, in one case, anime. Back in the day, many anime uh, uh, many anime were not available. Uh, outside of Japan. This meant if you wanted to watch something like the vision of, I can't even say that, Escaflone. 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 It's a classic Escaflone. Uh, you joined an anime club, attended its meetings, and acquired fan subbed versions of the anime on VHS tapes. Uh, this meant the people in charge of said anime club would actually gatekeep it when it came to a fan's access to the anime. In the decades since, anime such as that one are now widely <laughs> available on Blu-ray and also on various streaming services, not only in Japan, but also internationally as well. Uh, put simply, if you are in a current anime, if you are a current anime fan, then there is no one gatekeeping you. You are acquiring uh, from you. From acquiring various anime works and enjoying them, enjoying this hobby. You don't need to befriend the higher ups in an anime club. You can just buy it and watch it whenever you want. 
Um, and it, it goes on about that. It goes on in the history stuff we've all talked about forever. Uh, the same people yep. again, who say we're making our, uh, we're making fandom worse. Listen, I, I don't want to gatekeep. You could be a fan and you just picked up a comic book yesterday. Nobody's saying you can't be a fan. Uh, but you know what, what those game lobbies do is what dudes do. All right. We, we test you and the girls do it too. They've always been the ones who uh, came to the comic shop were always hanging with the guys and they could hang with the guys on knowledge and everything else. Cause they read the fucking books and they loved the mm-hmm. characters. That's all it takes. That's all we've ever asked for. You never hear us going, man, I really want them to inject uh, some libertarian values in Lord of the Rings. I want to hear that taxation is theft. Uh, yeah, like you, you don't... I, I want to see Frodo wearing a fucking MAGA hat when he's marching. <laughs> yeah. Lord. Yeah, I want to walk right down with a tiki torch. Yes. And, and that's a, that's a Gandalf, good point to Gandalf say. Like, turns yeah. into a tiki torch. Yeah. That's what his staff is. He's perfect. Uh, what's, the yellow, would... what's the yellow house? Hufflepuff? No, like Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Yeah. Hufflepuff is now the Proud Boys. Ah. Yeah. But nah, I, would be equally, I would be equally ah. upset if something like that was to happen to, to Lord of the Rings or Star Wars. Like, don't put any politics. No real world politics mm-hmm. needs to be into this. None. You know, the problem is, is that it's all left wing politics, is what we're seeing into it right now that's the problem it's just that's yeah. what so uh, again selfishness go ahead what it is. ultimately love, selfishness yeah. yeah let somebody in hollywood have the balls to you know put a maga hat on frodo and see us all fucking first of all we'll Ooh. laugh just because it'd be it's funny hilarious. but then we're like this is bullshit <laughs> this is not how you you know this is not how you fix things but it would be and it's also ruining it. so yeah, yeah. what but, about but, and they wouldn't they work were... in hollywood again either if they did that so what about if they were to you know how in disney there's like all these like hidden mickeys and stuff like that what if they were mm-hmm. to put hidden pepe the frogs yeah there, there we you go, go. You're, you're there right we next go. to the hidden so, penis so too the, the article there we go. uh goes on to say so the accusations of gatekeeping are are being used to leverage access to effectively run each fandom and acquire power as a result this is why there is a great deal of pushback from fans on this not because they want to stop people from watching anime or enjoying their hobbies but they may they want to make sure these hobbies remain open to all not to descend into some kind of dictatorship and that's what happens when the activists come in that's the whole point missed by this article mm-hmm. is the reality is fans love having people they can talk to in depth about their hobby. This is this kind of involved and almost studied discussion of a hobby is actually what keeps various fandoms ticking along. So when there isn't a Doctor Who, when it's off the air, when there isn't a Lord of the Rings, people are still talking about it. It's the hardcore fans who are talking about it, who love the story for what it was originally. You can always make a little change here. Bring some new stuff. That's how comics lasted forever. That's how a lot of these stories last forever. But what we're seeing now is just the outright infiltration of our hobbies Mm. of activists who want to completely change it and trash the past. And either they change it or they destroy it. They're happy either way. That's what we're fighting They will destroy it to change it. Yes. As we've seen from Star Trek, Doctor Who, Star Wars, uh, comics, uh, they will literally destroy it to change it. Anime fans and are dying uh, to get new recruits. You bring up, I say the word anime, there will now be <laughs> it's 50 already anime chat. recommendations in the chat going, ah, this one. See, they are dying to have new fans, new people to talk to. That's what fandom is always, new people to argue with. That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. Fandom, in my experience, has always been one of the most inclusive things yes. I've ever experienced. Absolutely. You love something, you want more people to love it, and it never mattered about what was between their legs, their orientation, or anything like that. And I just can't stand it how they're trying to now subvert that and turn it into, you know, you have to have the right tick boxes and all that stuff, and that there are certain things that are made specifically for certain groups, and if you're not in that group, well, it's not made for you and all, all those things. It's just, like yeah. I said earlier, it's it's ultimately selfishness. It's people that don't know how to have fun, you know? And they come in and they go, well, everything isn't to my liking, so the thing that you love needs to become the thing that I love, and if you don't love what I love, you're gone. Well, the, you these, are, uh, these are what, what, what I legitimately believe are the bad actors. Uh, like, when I first started getting mm. into to comics in the, in the 90s, when I was younger uh suddenly i started looking the newspaper because no internet then because i'm an old fuck 
Um, <laughs> but we started looking at the newspaper and, and Wizard magazine and stuff like that yeah, for Wizard. where conventions were, comic conventions, because I wanted to buy more comics. And, and the comic shops that I went to were, you know, limited. So you you saw these pictures of these conventions and they were long boxes of comics and comics and comics. And you were just like, oh, drooling. And you'd go there and there was fucking everyone under the sun. Everyone. There were dudes, there were females, there were people of different colors. Uh, there were people dressed up in fucking Star Trek outfits, all this kind of stuff. And it's a bit weird when you first go there and you see somebody in the view. Ooh, cosplay. Okay, what's that? Uh, but you, you'd go over to the, the people who were selling the comics and more often you'd buy some stuff off them and then you just talk. You'd be yeah. talking about, oh, yeah, yeah, have you got into this? Oh, have you read this? And I was like, no, you know, I'm new to this and I've been like gone through these things. And I'm like, all right, if you've gone through these, then, you know, this would be very interesting to you because this is kind of like, oh, and, you, and it actually started to develop um, your, your palette for, for other comics and stuff. And so then you, without trying to, 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 to be like, uppity you after a little while you would be perusing through comics you know after a few conventions and then somebody would be next to you and they'd be perusing and then you would say hey what are you what are you looking for and they're like oh i've you know i've done this and then you'd then you'd sort of pass on that knowledge that you got having now read uh what was recommended and and, and thoroughly enjoyed it and that's that's how fandom happens and that's how the enthusiasm happens so these people that that come in and go oh this is this is uh, not not too, you know. This is too male, or this is too sexist. This is too no. You you are coming in with legitimate bad faith because you are you clearly have not experienced what the uh, fandom is truly all about, and you are superficially looking at what specific images, uh, what you've been told. Uh, because I I've seen every because the little conventions in the UK I've seen the pictures in from Comic Con San Diego Comic Con. I couldn't. I couldn't have. You couldn't have a bigger fucking palette of people uh, who yeah, go yeah. to these things. So yeah. you pray, pray tell. Where is this being gatekept? Now I'll give you an example of modern day gatekeeping. When uh, Kickstarter literally hired a fucking woman to to vet who could go onto that platform, and forget all the comics gate stuff. Who was one of the people that they turned down? to put their comic onto Kickstarter. Sean Gordon Murphy, the Damn. biggest seller in the fucking comic mm. book, the mainstream comic books. She fucking gate kept him from coming onto fucking um, Kickstarter because he yep. was friends with Doug to Naple. And what happened to and her it, ass? Uh, she got fired. She just yes, did she a did. cover. A year later, she was fired. F fandom is like it's like sports fandom like our geek nerd fandom it's like sports right you go to a stadium you see your favorite football team right it does not matter if someone's black if they're trans if they're gay it doesn't matter all that matters is what jersey they're wearing you know they're part of your fandom right <laughs> yeah. they're rooting for your team so that's what you yeah. care about you're sitting there waiting in line for beer you start talking about last season you start talking about maybe they're terrible this year these fucking bums they're awful right that's what fandom is when someone comes in and puts on your jersey and starts trying to argue that the football team should start playing cricket, that's a fucking problem. And it's okay yeah. to keep those people away, mm -hmm. to gatekeep those people, because they're not there for that. They're not no. here to enjoy the same things that you're here for. They're there to fucking inherently change it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and well, it, Garrett, Gary, I'm sharing my screen on Ryan's point because Garrett said it earlier, and this is it. And this is an old but gold meme right here. Yeah. You know, we demand to be included in your space to make it more diverse and inclusive. We demand you change this space to our liking and ban stuff that offends us. Mm. We demand you be kicked out of this space we created since you are offended. <laughs> LOL. If you hate us, why not just make your own space? Oh my yeah. god! Every yeah. single time that that was the like point Garrett was making. Lighting. That's the point that that Ryan's making, and this is exactly what they do. They are yeah. there to infiltrate and then uh, try to change it. And then, of course, we all know what happens. If you do create your own space, then it you know parlor, it's shut down. You know, it's like, so it's, uh, like a bully, it's a bully mentality. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, like you I said mean, it's, it's bullying. Like, it's bullying. Of... People who have never actually had any power before. But yeah. it's That's more yeah. cowardice. It's more cowardice than a bully. I, I would rather fucking get punched in the face by a bully because I know what's coming to hit me. Right. These people are hiding behind uh, diversity and labels. Yes, they are. Uh, and therefore, if you dare challenge them, you get called 
what we've all been called, and because they've used it so many times, white supremacist, Yahtzee, sexist, misogynist, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. in Ryan's case, that's fair enough. Yeah. Bigot, <laughs> all, this, all this kind of stuff, but and they've used it so much. Thankfully, it's now meaningless. Yep. Yeah. You, you, words you, mean they have no power. Those words are fucking dead words now because you've overused them uh, to the to the capacity that they are worthless and meaningless. And now we've taken kind of taken those words and we laugh at them. So they, so they have nothing. We you know we I'm trying to organize uh, soon a, a, an online Yahtzee competition to see which one of us is the biggest Yahtzee. Let's uh, do it. I'm half yeah. German. It's I'm pretty sure my grandfather on my dad's side was loosely. Hey. <laughs> All I know is that Crazy, you know. be very careful right now. You're a potential fucking war criminal. Oh, it's not. It's not Europe. She she could mention something like that and not get locked up as. Yeah. My my dad was a fucking Serbian dictator, and oh my god! My, my dad moved to Argentina in the 1940s. I don't know what that was all about, but when I would ask my dad, I'd be like, "Dad, was grandfather a Yahtzee?" And he'd be like, "Actually, the Yahtzees were the top of the top, the top tier. It was like kind of high praise." <laughs> And your grand your grandfather was not at that level. He was a German soldier, but he also felt really bad about the Holocaust. So he probably was adjacent. Yeah, your your grandpa <laughs> just did your grandpa no, just didn't, didn't make the cut. He wasn't he good have, enough. No, he didn't just have followed cut. orders, you know. Yeah, right he there. was he was My a grandfather was Nazi adjacent. What the yeah, he didn't have the right colored eyes or the right colored hair. But he didn't yeah, quite he make a, the Aryan race cut. Weird where this went. Up. How did we get Dark here? Dark hair, brown eyes. How Boo. Did we, how did we get here? <laughs> Boo. Fandom. Fa uh, yeah. What weird? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> uh, who made that? Uh, that's the Uber Geek. Uber oh, Geek. Yeah. Uber Geek. Uber Geek kills it with those memes. Killing Hell. it. <laughs> Oh, craziness, uh, craziness. By the way, that person in the chat, uh, yeah, I know, I do exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Yeah. I, I, do, <laughs> I, I, I do exist. Look at him. As does exist <laughs> for you to right. jerk I off to. He does exist for you to jerk off to. Uh, you know, just on, <laughs> not on this <laughs> specifically. But the, uh, the existing to be pleasing on the eyes. I had an interesting experience recently about the... Uh, I guess how even it really is in terms of being judged on your appearance. People say that only women get judged on their appearance. Oh no! Well, if you if you want an example of a guy <laughs> being judged on their appearance, I'm not. I, I shaved my beard over the Christmas thing just as like I've I've had gone clean shaven for a while. I just wanted to see what happens, and I thought I'd have enough of a break for it to grow back before I needed to make a new content. If it was a disaster, well, this is the reality. It was a disaster. It looked <laughs> awful. Like I, I, I just went, like as soon as I did it, I was like, I looked in the mirror. It's one the of those moments where it's like, and it was at this moment he knew he. Like, right after I shaved, right. Anyway, where did that chin come from? Oh. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like I got another chin. Let's go <laughs> cover that up. Oh my goodness! And so. I didn't realize, oh, like, I was stupid. I was like, we're still making content on Night's Watch. And I was like, well, I just got to bite the bullet. And so there are two videos specifically where I look like a shaved rat. Okay? <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Nearly 50% of the comments, and they are hilarious. I love them. <laughs> but they are just roasting me, like, savagely. We're talking about people saying, Nightmare Fuel doesn't exist. And his beardless shad. I, I, if, you go to, if you go to the comments of my Lindsay Ellis one and the nightly news before it, right? Half the comments are just savage roasts on my my physical appearance. And uh, all like for real, all power to them because they were all absolutely right. I agreed 100%. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> but it goes to show you, right? Like, Guys are judged on their appearance. There might be different areas that trigger it, but turns out our facial hair and uh, you know uh, how the face is is one of those massive ones. And uh, one, I'm quite, I'm really happy I have that now as a reference point. If anyone says guys are judged their appearance, I'm like, go read the comments. Just yeah. over there to oh, see. Yeah. And, but the difference is right. My reaction, I thought they were freaking hilarious, and I agreed with them because it was true. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure Henry Cavill is just so famous because he's just a fantastic yes. actor, and all those ladies like him because he's just a really good actor. Yeah. Uh, it has so nothing good. to do with anything else. Just a really solid actor. It has and nothing to do with the fact that when you find him hot. Yeah, yeah. So not it not is. It's such a it's such a ridiculous thing that 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 narrative that that say only women are judged on their looks, and it's just. Okay, I mean it's not true. But you can invent that myth if you want to. You but gotta watch your real well, neighbors. You what about chat. the female games, man? <laughs> well, yep. you can also do things that will trigger uh, more scrutiny on your appearance. Like if I base some of my content around that you you know you you're signing in to enjoy the view, and then you change that later on, and then your audience complains about it. Obviously, okay. Like if you're actually offering some of the product to be the looks like original G4 TV. Yeah, it's going to set a precedent. People are going to be expecting mm -hmm. the same things. Um, my, my content is never based on my looks. It's always about the quality of commentary oh, and the information stop. and stuff. Oh, yeah. I like, but even then, Sexy even when shot. it's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even when it's not, I, I, I'm not sure if you guys remember. I also, uh, I've lost a bit of weight recently. And so... Ooh, stand up, do it twirl, I was, I was do it much, twirl. I was much more chunky. <laughs> Like, seriously, though, like, go back to... I um, found like, it, and I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I absorbed it into mine. Uh, and so I got fat comments pretty regularly. Well, I mean, they, but the thing is, my content wasn't based around me trying to sell my appearance at all. And so yeah. the fact that I was a fat nerd... Uh, honestly, probably also helped endear me to other people Hi. who could. Hi, how are you? I was not very good. Hi, how are you doing? It's just interesting, uh, like what the quality uh, of you, what you know your content is vested on, what you're actually selling in things, and and it's much rarer for guys to be trying to sell their appearance and, con and uh, unless you got it, like Henry Cavill, all power to you, mate. I mean, uh, those topless uh, scenes. I, I, if I had it, I probably would do it as well. Oh, so, mm. yeah. Mm. But it's about, it's about, right, take your work seriously. You know, your channel, mm. you know, behind the scenes, yeah. planning, all that. Take that as seriously as, as you want. Yeah, I want to grow this. Don't take yourself too seriously when you're yeah. out there. You okay. know, that is the worst thing that you can possibly do. People, people, when you're in this entertainment sphere, people are wanting to laugh. You know, they don't want some, some, fu you don't want me to, or you, or fucking Gary, or Jeremy to just be old Chrissy as well. Just to be sort of like talking about something and stop and going, I want to talk about something more important. Oh. Sexism on my channel. <laughs> exactly. The fact that you don't yeah. like me. Yeah, that, I, just, that just says, I, that I cannot, I am, you know, I take myself way too seriously. I'm fucking right up my own fucking sphincter about stuff. No. <laughs> No, you embrace it. Yeah, I, I get fucking. You talk about getting savage. I get fucking savage on the real BBC. I fucking love it. Yes. I do these stupid fucking faces like. Nah. So Gary could do a full screen and people can fucking make shit about me. It's it's about you know letting them have some fucking mm -hmm. fun. We're all here to, to engage and have some fun. Yeah, and you're here if, for your entertainment. To, you know, yeah, you, you guys don't see, you think I don't see you roasting. You, 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 you don't you, you don't think I see you roasting the little bit of facial hair I have right now. I he see you, doing this and that's he what I'm here you. for. Look at that. Peach fuzz. Oh that's God. all I got. That has a lot of oh, peach fuzz. Grow in eventually. You look like, right? a, you look I, like a catfish. That's, a, that's I, all I got. Well, the thing I, the thing I, I get asked a lot about, about, about Jeremy's beard, one, he's one. got like the reverse Hitler going on. He has hair everywhere but right here. Oh, man. But yeah. We, we are here for your entertainment. Anybody who sits there and tries to talk down to you as the audience, they can go fuck themselves. All right, you're the audience. Do your thing, you know? Like, yeah, there's back and forth. There's interactions, and that's fine. But when you're generalized, when you generalize literally the entire group of people, uh, gamers are so tired of this, specifically gamers, but geeks, you know, nerds, whatever you want to call us, people are tired of being generalized into this group that, are simply just there to have fun. You know, they're there to have fun. We're there to, to, to talk shit with each other, have it back and forth. But when you have someone like Frost uh, or these, uh, you know, these elitist assholes that just seem to be the moral superiority for everyone else, you know, that's the problem with it. And that's what people are so tired of. And that's why they tune into shows like this one. And yeah. we're thankful for each and every one of you. It's an escape. It's like what, what people used to love about watching sports. It's like it's yeah. the one place you mm -hmm. can go and not hear about politics yeah. and hearing women bitch about sexism. It's like it's like you can actually shut off well, from all that, that real life. Well, world. Uh, Chris here, I, I was actually going to say, uh, never mind just watching sports and, and no politics. When you participate in sports, and here's a, here's a phrase that Shad's going to know, sledging. 
You know, when when you, oh, I hope he knows anyway. I don't like, know this one. <laughs> oh, like, what is this? You're going to have to explain that one. This sounds like a weird sex position. As I'm, I'm, I'm lying, <laughs> we'll try it later. <laughs> sledging sledging <laughs> is uh, is when the, the actual contenders on the, on the whether it be cricket, uh, whatever, slug each other off during the match. Oh, that's you why. Cricket? And, 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 cricket cricket is freaking crap. And I'm wow. an Australian, I'll say that. <laughs> as an Austra- like you boring? could get lynched for that. I just want to let I you know, know as an Australian. It's one of the most boring freaking games in the world. Anyways. But it's like Sorry. gamers, it's like when it's on the pitch, you fucking sledge, you know? <laughs> you, you give the people shit. And then when it's off, when it's all done, it's like, all right. No, yeah. you know, it's, it's just no harm, no foul. All right, mate. It's just part it's of the a bunch process. of soft people that go, Oh, you said something bad about me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, hey. Kaya, he's saying a nasty thing about yeah. me. No, oh, give like a couple Chris of years, man. Right, it will mate. be like that. All right, mate, let's meet on the pitch and sledge it out. All right, mate. No. <laughs> Are they Australian and pirates? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> All right, mate. You want to go grab? You want to go grab a penguin? You want to so grab a penguin? Croquet? Can you imagine sledging and croquet? I say, dear boy, you put your foot on that ball like I put my foot on your girlfriend's head <laughs> during sex course. <laughs> 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 Nobody is into croquet jokes. No, I no, was. I, I, I gave you a laugh. I, wow. I haven't played croquet in a long time, and I also don't really understand what sledging is. I well, missed that I, I part. Tell, I tell you what, I ain't fucking. I ain't gonna give you the lacrosse joke I had for later. You can go fuck off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I really want to put on my head. Curious. No, you're, isn't, the gone. isn't croquet no, the old audience. lady sport? Croquet, croquet is, is the fancy yes. for the I fancy wait, 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 rich people. Croquet, sport. If you don't you have a horse, use a big it's like freaking polo. mallet. A like that, croquet is such a manly game. You can go, oh, yeah. that one! I was it's thinking of the other game. Balls. It's all about mallets and balls. How could you have less of a uh, homoerotic game? <laughs> yeah, and you're trying to hit They're a little snake. You're trying to hit yeah. balls yeah, through through it. little little gates. Little mm-hmm. ah, yes, yes, yes. Except for like, I was thinking of the other one where it's like the little like. Yeah, like oh, there's the a net mitten? involved. That's called crazy yeah, golf. Shuttle, you're okay. talking about badminton. <laughs> badminton. That's what I was thinking. With of. That's the cock. What? That's fucking <laughs> oh, cock. I love it. It's like tennis. Oh, What's that game we that they play? The UK. That What's that game that they play in South America where they like hurl balls against the walls at like 250 miles an hour? They have that big scoop thing. It looks like a fucking banana. To Ritual catch it sacrifice. In. No. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It sco- scoops in and then they swoop it back. Yeah. yeah. And, like, people, people fucking die from that shit. That that's seems like, cool. That's like mental lacrosse. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Like I remember as playing an archer. So. What about is yeah. India? They got kebab. Is it kebabi in India? Where you, you, you're not allowed to breathe and you've got to like play tag against the other person. And the, so the way that you show that you're not breathing is you've got to keep saying kebabi. So you just like kibadi, 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 you know, etc. I feel like Indians are probably pretty good at not breathing because it's. I know highlight is a crazy game. Yeah, they're really good at it. Dude, highlight is insane. Okay, yeah, Charlie. That sounded like an ISIS dog whistle that you were doing there. Highlight, I think it has like the fastest speed of any game. How do you think I'm going to recruit anyone, Christy? Hey. Hey, I got you know what one. people you know don't how... people don't want to talk want us talking about like sports that are popular. I, I just <laughs> dude, the chat is filled with people saying highlight right now. I think that they it's in Tijuana. It's in Tijuana. They do that. Metalhead man, uh, madman for fifty dollars. So sorry, <laughs> not really, but it bears repeating. X ray girl is. Hot Asian waifu. Whoa! <laughs> you know she sees that before I do. What is a waifu? What is a waifu? What is a waifu? Is it, it, is it, is it an Asian, 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 Asian chick you want to fuck? Basically. <laughs> no, no, it's an Asian chick that you don't just want to fuck. You want her to be. She's yes, waifu material. Wife she's material. To be, to be wow. kept. Put an Asian. Yeah, that's, oh, that's what I said. <laughs> kept. <laughs> ah, nice. It's uh, it's a, it's where you they don't have to leave first thing in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they can't leave. No yeah, they in. can't. They well, want they don't to. Have any taxi fare on the side yeah. in the morning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Their desire doesn't nice. factor in here. 
Patrick Have Elf. you seen my keys? Yeah, your keys are uh, right on the taxi fare <laughs> <laughs> for you to go. Patrick oh. Els, the one that I already called, and he's waiting. Uh, for $100, Chad. I want to hear yes. your take on the similarities between what happened in the Wheel of Time and what we're about uh, what we're seeing being teased for the new Lord of the Rings series. I tell he you just what, died a little inside. As soon as I you did, said that, he died uh, a little. Uh, I, <laughs> Lord of disappointment. In terms of uh, what, what the projection of uh, Lord of the Rings Amazon TV series is, the Wheel of Time series is very much the canary in the coal mine. It's the warning because the utter desecration and butchering of the Wheel of Time is a travesty that I have trouble putting into words to convey how royally pissed off I am about what they did to the Wheel of Time. And I can't, uh, you get me started on it, right? Get started. Um, and so, sorry, what were you saying, Gary? I said get started, go for it. Yeah, yeah, with the go same on. warning signs. This is the thing, right? When Wheel of Time was being teased and everything, the same warning signs were there. It's like, oh, we're very diverse and all that stuff. And I was willing to say, okay, it hmm. might still give a good show. You can have a diverse show if it's a good show and everything. I was looking at what Amazon had already made. I mean, I, I liked Invincible a lot and uh, The Expanse, I mean, really enjoying. And so I was like, maybe Amazon might have the thing, right? And But then when it came out by episode five, it had become irredeemably unbelievably woke and just not just that the writing was just legitimately terrible it was awful and but they one of the most annoying things about what they did right is that they're constantly saying we've got to make these changes because it's a really big book series and we only have so much time to fit it into however many episodes they did right and then no joke in episode five they injected material they just freaking made up out of the air. It was all bad. And there's like, okay, if you had to cut stuff because you didn't have much time to fit things in, why are you making up new content, which is objectively worse than what was in the book material? I couldn't believe it. And they did it multiple times. And so that talking point was complete bullcrap. Don't believe it when they try and sell you this stuff. And because they were willing to just desecrate something so beloved, Lord of the Rings, there is a difference. Lord of the Rings is much more well-known. It has a bigger existing fan base. And so I don't know if they're going to be approaching it with a bit more caution. Uh, but I tell you I what, yeah, the same warning signs are there already. And uh, and so I have very little hope for the Lord of the Rings Amazon TV series. Here's uh, and which is going to tick me off even more. Mm -hmm. Well, they, you know, uh, the one thing uh, Tolkien's Legendarium needed, uh, Shad, was more characters because apparently there weren't enough. <laughs> 750 wasn't yes. enough. So they had to get Sildur a sister. A sister. Sildur, yeah. Like, I'm not sure if that's confirmed yet or not, but uh, the, the rumors rumor. seemed in line with uh, the type of things that they're sense. doing. Well, here's what we know. Here's what we know. This, these are facts. It's a, it's Galadriel is going to be like the star of the show. Uh, if it's one of the stars, that's fine. But here's a problem. There's a huge problem. And I'm going to spoil some of my video. She wasn't at the major events that they're bringing up. She wasn't. She was around, but she wasn't there. She wasn't uh, in a region. Uh, They're gonna make her there. Uh, yeah. Well, there's well the other. I mean, I, I don't want to get too much in the rumors, but we also know that there's gonna be um, black hobbits. We know there's uh, Lenny Henry mm. has come out and said that. Well, for one, finally, there, there shouldn't be hobbits <laughs> at all. Representation. <laughs> so black what, hobbits with huge. What we were told. <laughs> what we were told. Feet. Hobbits we were told, are canonically known for having big feet. This is true. Yes. Uh, so what we were told by Tom Shippey. Swim. Two years ago was that according to the rights, when Amazon first bought them, they could not contradict anything Tolkien wrote or said, wrote or said. So they can't con they can't contradict anything that's already happened. They can make up characters. They can make up things in between events, but those events cannot contradict <laughs> things. So if they gave a Sildur a sister, <clears throat> that does contradict something Tolkien wrote because he wrote the lineage of Aragorn and there's no sister there. So you're already, con so I don't know if that happens did, or not. Did um, they include any women in that lineage? Well, I, yeah, does that count as a I'm lineage? Allowed to say, it's an adjacent? I'm allowed to say this, but I can only say this. Uh, I have seen the actual trailer for the <gasps> series. And, and it's um, incredible. 
It's so it, good. It's all I'll say is it's it's really inclusive and diverse. Oh boy. ATST, uh, ATST. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's such a what like. It's what Jeremy was saying a bit before about they think by making it more diverse, they, they judge the quality of these things based on the diversity and the tick boxes and stuff, not yeah. on writing quality or just the story or anything. And Wheel of Time is the worst and also best example of it is because so many people who are loving it um, is because it's so diverse. It had a lesbian scene with characters that were canonically not lesbian and had male, you know, love interests in the books and everything. They, they, mm -hmm. and, when you see someone who legitimately thinks that has objectively improved something, they are showing their bias on yes, display yes. completely, yes. flat out. Like it is a, a massive sign they're, right there that they, you know where their priorities are. I have an experiment going on on Twitter right now on that. So I put up a factual statement. Steve Rogers is Captain America. And there's all kinds of shit being projected on me, anybody who supports the wow. statement. When it's factual, it's true. It's a true. I haven't said somebody isn't Captain America. I just said Steve Rogers is Captain America. That's all I said. So statement um, of fact. Uh, I am now yep. being called racist and behind the times, and my the, they're <laughs> questioning my lineage and uh, shit about my mom and uh, yes, Whoa. and they just expose themselves. You expose your fucking selves. Uh, you you uh, your pro projection. It's called projection. So when you project your prejudices on an, an innocuous statement, you have been exposed. Thank you for participating again. It was so fucking easy. You, you, it's well, really that easy. You're right. He, like, here's another really simple little test, okay? Uh, mainstream feminism. If they say it's about equality, if it's about equality, then that should not be objectively better or worse of the gender of the main character. If it's quality... A man, as a main character, should be just as equivalent as a female. That would be true equality. But because they believe it's a legitimate improvement that a main character or now you know either changed or replaced with a female one, that shows it's actually not about equality. It's actually about something vastly more you know subversive, where it's about supremacy. Uh huh. Equity supremacy. Equity. Well, Subversion. Black Panther was very diverse. Okay. They swapped the no, words. It wasn't <laughs> equality and that, equity. Montany is not diversity. <laughs> well, I mean, I love the fact that a white dude saved them at the end. That was awesome. Uh, <laughs> but like Lord of the Rings, I, I, the Hobbit thing is really interesting because it's not just black hobbits; it's like every. They've got like Maori hobbits, and like they, they said, literally every different type of ethnicity of hobbits you can imagine is in this. Which we to me, have which to me begs the question. What happened? So I want to know about the Hobbit genocide. I really want that story that, to play out. It has to be in there. Well, the other thing is people don't yeah. understand evolution or are adapting to an environment. And that's like the biggest thing well, about no, this. No, no, the, the, the biggest thing about it, comics, is Tolkien thought about this shit. He, yes, did. he did. He wrote <laughs> yes, it all yeah. fucking down. You think so, he didn't yeah. think about this? Everybody was walking around. They couldn't have had people, you know, maybe a couple here and there, maybe if they were enslaved, but they were, God, it's so fucking stupid that uh, Lenny it, Henry yes, comes out and sa he says that, for one, the hobbits, he says they're not a race, but they're indigenous. How the fuck are you indigenous to the Shire? For one, hobbits aren't indigenous to the fucking Shire. There was no Shire. The land was there, but it wasn't called the Shire in the second fucking age. And they came from somewhere else. So how did indigenous people who are not a race, who are multicultural, all come from the same place, but not come from the same place? So either he's talking out of his ass, which could be, which could be, or they're just playing it fast and loose. And we're talking about events that are thousands of years apart. You know, uh, the, the forging of the rings <laughs> takes place long before Isildur's born. So we, and again, it's still a rumor. We don't know if he's in this or not. All the, A lot of that stuff is just rumors from one channel that's got like 5,000 subs. No shade, but that's just the facts. In and the land of Mordor. In the land of Mordor. 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 <laughs> Yeah. I did kind of like the behind the scenes thing where they showed them actually doing that. Yeah. And yet uh, it looks so I, I fake. 
It like the, the actual There's trailer looks so fake. Me, everybody said the CGI is terrible. <laughs> yeah, and then and then they release a behind the scenes where it's <laughs> like it's real, guys. showing it. It's still uh, like terrible. man, all that work you did, and it it just didn't pay out for it. And it, I think that was frame rate. That's the only thing I can yes. think of. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's what they, they filmed it in such a high frame rate that it didn't look realistic. Yeah. Because the human eyes used to seeing something in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they they filmed it with such incredible technology that it just didn't even look real. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, here, here's the deal. I, you I, lose the cinema quality of it. It's, yep. yeah. it's, it's going, I don't want to split. It's going to be woke. It's going to be woke. It's going to be woke. It. It's yeah. going to be filled That's with it. intersectional feminism. It's going to, the wheel of time was your foreshadowing of what the hell. And they're committed to five seasons, by the way. They have to do five seasons. <laughs> oh my God. Or, or the, the estate like gets money, the money. spent. It's gone. Yeah, and we're 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 now at the point where the heirs don't care. They're just counting the money, so they're gonna approve fucking anything. Uh, and that's why the whole you know with the T Tolkien Society, what they did last summer, they're not connected to Amazon, but what they were doing was making it okay to make these changes because they'll sign off on it. They'll go, well, the Tolkien Society says it's perfectly fine to have transitioning in Gondor, whatever the fuck you know. They they're were the about. fans. They oh. represent the fans. <laughs> One of my predictions is that uh, orcs and goblins were going to come to understand them a little bit better. Yes. We oh. are, like, mm. they're, 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 we're going to find out that the Tusken their Raiders evil is not exactly, yeah. really <laughs> their them. fault. And, and there's at least going to be something like that. Or, or one, we're going to come to understand one, that he'll be a character, orc or goblin, will come to understand his, that he was mistreated. And the way he's acting is obviously Toby. just, you know, it's because part, it's his homeland of, was invaded, or something. Uh, yeah, imperialism or something. You know, something. Yeah, it's like someone who's stealing a. He's just like stealing bread to feed his family. Hey, feel bad for me, Jeremy. Yeah. Could you pull yeah, up like, that meme? That huh? the, the meme, the quartering pulled up. Oh yeah, yeah, I can get it. I can get it. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, for Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah. God, it's perfect. Um, it I, perfect. I predict. I predict Galadriel will be leading an all Numenorean female legion or battalion or whatever the fuck they're called or, or of of. Female warriors, all in armor, by the way. She'll be in full body armor, leading the attack on Mordor herself. <laughs> um, and uh, taking, go, on, her, so. taking on Sauron's much better, much smarter, <laughs> much more capable female lieutenant. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is such a fucking great... Look, hey, go, look at the response. Oh, wow. The right can't meme. You're literally using a meme from the right to say this. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, that's so good. But yes, this is perfect right here. This is perfect. <laughs> so, so quartering, quartering actually replied to the Lord of the Rings uh, on Prime, the the uh, the trailer. Surprised he didn't get hit. I know. Well, yeah. uh, so last I looked, let me see. Let me let me see. Do they still hide reply? How many they they hid? Had they? Let's see. Check so they out. hid. Okay. Yeah. So that that one. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the King! I love it! That's actually a movie I'd want to see. Dude! I really want to see this fucking movie! Mordo was They would actually probably make money off that. I know, right? Oh my god. Parody! Parody is the way they should go forward with this. Look! They 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 hid Vera Darks. All she said is, as, as a lifelong Lord of the Rings fan, uh, I wanted to ask, will this be woke trash? Like that's, that's it's why are they all. hiding well, these? Well, I'm being very careful. careful. I'm, I'm, I'm treading very lightly because it is Twitter, and I haven't looked at all of these, so I'm treading very lightly. I'm saving that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Frodo's penis looks like. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, but I do want to see this movie. I want to see the Lord of the Rings. I do. I want to see it. Too, I, this looks like on. the greatest that movie ever great. made. Yeah, really like, like, <laughs> Michael Jackson and Boromir. Could you imagine? Oh, it's like motherfucking ghosts don't want to fight for me. <laughs> yeah, like, could you imagine the was it the Howard Shore score coming in? But it's like a beat. It's got like a R and B hip hop beat to it. <laughs> Put the bird, 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 put the bird,
Before anybody says it's an all-black cast, Ryan is certainly cast right in this area here. Right, Ryan. Right there. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't even see that. Oh, my God. Dude, that is so white fucking writers. funny. And then they How just dare like, they hide that? They loot, they loot a jewelry store, and they're like, my precious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, ring, the ring of power is actually a grill. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the grill of power. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic! Wow. <laughs> Damn it, man! Save. Woo! Oh, uh, just so yeah, Sauron's so, played uh, by Lil John, dude. There's yeah. so many things I can't <laughs> yeah. say that are funny about this. Uh, <laughs> a lot of gamer, a lot of gamer humor. I that goes the along with it. Upset hey, so, that, that the Jordans don't come in their size. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, speaking I of Dave gamers, Chappelle to direct. Speaking of gamers, Gary, I got a quick announcement. I just got the green light to promote. Can I tell everybody what's going to happen tomorrow on the Daily Wire? Yeah. The Daily oh, Wire. Oh, oh. Ryan and I have worked with the Daily Wire, and we did a piece on wokeness in video games. Nice. And it premieres yeah. tomorrow on the yes. main Daily Wire channel at 1.30 yes. Central oh, Time. Yes. Nice. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, Hell yes. It's exciting. That it is. Congrats. I just they just he just followed up with me, and I'm like, I'm yeah. live with 11,000 people. Can I tell? He's wow. absolutely so. That's yes. Awesome. Hell yes. That's awesome. So man. that's gonna that's gonna premiere tomorrow. Zero to hero, man. So, Zero to hero. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. That's cool as hell. So I'm I'm really excited about that. So you guys make sure you tune in tomorrow, 1:30 Central on the Daily Wire. It's a good time Thanks. with all the Frost stuff. Yeah, uh, it's very yes. good time. <laughs> yeah. We recorded it way before that, but mm -hmm. yeah, that'll be yeah. that'll be cool. Well, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we talked about like Last of Us Part Two. We talked about some of the wokeness battlefield. Uh, what was it Battlefield Five? You know, mm -hmm. with, with some of the stuff they've done and just how they're, you know, they target gamers and stuff. So it was a really good discussion. So I'm excited about it. Wow. Hell yes. Hell yeah. How long are you going to be on for? Uh, well, it's a pre-recorded thing, so I don't know how much you know they it. it it's going to be a piece, probably 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, probably. Yeah, we, we talked to him for wow. probably about 30 minutes or so. So mm -hmm. it, I'm sure it'll get edited down a little bit. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So all the time. Wow. I could take your like nose five minutes, or whatever. I, five or I, six I, minutes. I can't. I, I have no idea how bad the camera's going to be because my, my Canon, my M50 wouldn't work with their software. So I used my jacked up webcam and I, I didn't have the settings or anything. I probably look. It was Jeremy broke bad. out the button or the uh, the collared shirt. Oh yeah, I had my collared shirt wow. with my with my. With, well, oh, I, still had the, I still had the hoodie. I still had the hoodie. I mean, I used to rock the <laughs> the, the collared shirt back in the day, um, back when I didn't have all this massive facial hair. Uh, <laughs> you know. This... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, uh, Patrick, you, you have you have let tripping up on the carpet while eating toffee apples go a long way. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. I wasn't even trying Wipe to throw anything. I just haven't. I just got lazy, and then now it's just a meme. I can't get rid of it now. You guys, <laughs> I gotta give you guys something to make fun of. I mean, there's plenty of material here, but yeah. you know, Patrick Ells, <laughs> yeah. thank you for that super chat. I want to know to come out with the they them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're, 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 yeah, we're probably going to... I've got all those. Yeah. Uh, check out my video tomorrow morning. Uh, it should be out 10, 11, I think, on Lord of the Rings. But thank you for the super chat, uh, and congratulations, guys, on getting on uh, Daily Wire. Uh, That's great. Thank you. It's That's fantastic. Ma'am! <laughs> <laughs> it's ma'am. Oh. I mean... Look, it, I, I, more fappable than Frost, I'll say that. That's more fappable hey. than Frost. So, I mean, it's, it's, that just means Frost. you did a really good job at impersonating her, Chrissy. <laughs> Frost might. Uh, Daniel, for $100. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as Jack Burton once said, here's to Gary's and the Shads and the OGs. They've kept pure. Here's to the o Oz's pills of black and dire <laughs> predictions of Will. He's sure as birds of a feather may uh, the fellowship always stand together. Long stand the Shadlands. Uh, hell yeah. Hey. hey. Yeah. So, Oz is one of my co-hosts on Night's Watch. He unfortunately wasn't able to join us this time around. He was not feeling very well. Oh, no. I actually feel pretty pretty sick. Uh, hopefully maybe another time. But yeah, he, Oz is... is uh, He's, yeah, let's. He, he talks a lot about pills. Let's just say that. Well, a lot like of, that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you know, some of our co-hosts might be on pills, so uh, at least Chrissy. <laughs> every sure. time oh, I watch Batwoman, <laughs> yeah. every fucking time. Uh, James Bercy for fifty dollars says, "Shad, yes, please admit that the shepherd's pie is cucked." For that Chad pizza pie, regardless of toppings or style. Also, would you please comment on Orc Lives Matter controversy? Okay, well, first of all, it goes without saying that shepherd's pie is, like, legitimately cut. You know, like, like in, 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 when you compare it to the Chad spaghetti bolognese, there's no comparison. Uh, now, what was the, like, whose lives mattered uh, this orc, time? Orcs lives matter. Orcs, orcs, orcs lives, lives matter. Well, we're going to get a lot of that from the Lord of the Rings show. I think uh, <laughs> I'll wait for their comments on that, and uh, and I'll, I'll respond to it so then, yes. I, I've been told that despite making up only 13% of the population of Middle Earth. <laughs> uh... they are... <laughs> you, can tell them, you can tell them the rest. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think everyone knows where I'm going. They are responsible for... We already have diverse hobbits. They're called Mexicans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know several of them. They're fixing uh, the roof right now. Actually working on my nope. kitchen as we speak in Texas. <laughs> um, <laughs> true story. Hard working people. Uh, $50 from WG. Says, wow. WG. Didn't know Frost could do such a convincing Chrissy Mayer impersonation. <laughs> it's so spot on, especially the red wig. Well, well done. Did you glue it on? You must have glued this it on. This one's really on today, yeah. That's commitment to the bit. I, I like yeah. that. I like committing <laughs> to, Commit to the, the bit. bit. Commit, Commit to, to the bit. bit. Uh to the bint. Commissar show redo for 60 Canadian pesos, which are which are almost as valuable as the American peso now, thanks to Brandon. Uh, I love go, Brandon. Wow. Brandon. I love Shad's videos. Let's but, go, Brandon. Uh, I love Shad's video. Let's go, Brandon, by the way. Sorry to interrupt that. Uh, I love Shad's videos, but stopped watching them. When his toxic Facebook group kicked me out for calling them pro BLM images, they share they kept sharing an official face Facebook group should Facebook. Yeah, Sean, Sean Connery is now Facebook. reading all the super chats. Face group would be nice uh, to have. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. It's, it's actually not an official one. It's a fan one that I have no input or control. Or there you go. You don't need to leave the channel. You can still enjoy the content that's there for you. You're welcome to come yeah. back. Maybe check your facts uh, before you uh, leave somebody's channel or go out and with. I would also channel. say, in general, Facebook is just absolute fucking garbage. Facebook groups are absolute garbage. Oof, so, if you have an account, you should probably delete it. It's mm -hmm. tough. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's it's to, like look at the people you used to date or hang out with in high school and either make fun of them or be envious. Like that, that's literally all you should do with Facebook. <laughs> so. so now you just get out of Facebook and make fun of the whole site. Um, yep. And I'll also add, it goes for the Shadowversity Reddit page and the Shadowversity Discord server. Those are all fan run. I don't have any influence in those uh, at all. Um, I actually don't think I have any official extra um, uh, community groups that I run outside of my YouTube channels and stuff. It's all it's all organic growth and things. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because sometimes you'll see, like, if somebody has, like, a huge fall from grace or whatever and they have one of those pages, like, all of a sudden, like, the the Reddit or whatever that's dedicated <laughs> to someone just fucking, like, turns on them and just turns them like, a hate page. <laughs> yeah. On that note, it's kind of somewhat happened on the Shadowversity Reddit page. Hey, I, I, keep, I keep politics mostly out of my main Shadowversity content because if you like swords and everything like that, don't care about your politics. Come have fun. We'll talk about cool medieval fantasy, nerdy stuff. And only rarely do I ever let my politics even slip into it. And that's when it's unavoidable if there's something that's, you know, is directly tied to it. But in um, Making Night's Watch, which is a content that's about what's happening in pop culture, and you can't avoid politics because that's what they're all trying to subvert it into. Yeah. Uh, that's actually a, a part where I get to be, I want to be more free about my views on those things. And it's helped me, eat, because after making that, it's helped me keep 
even more politics separate from Shadowversity, so it can be that space where... Because I do understand the whole thing where, you know, if you have someone that you enjoy, like an actor and everything like that, and they start spouting off all these political hot takes that you're not... You, you want to see them act in something. People come to Shadowversity to hear me talk about swords, and that's what I built it for. That's what I want to offer to people, and I don't want to change that. I, I, I get the argument when people see something change. But there are obviously some sensitive people out there and because i'm more open and free and that's the whole point of night's watch well there's been some interesting responses on the uh on, on a reddit pit on that reddit page not all I'm like, most of them are perfectly fine but you get the one or two that are just oh his politics are so all that stuff oh everybody here <laughs> yeah. uh shad is insanely popular on reddit uh <laughs> <laughs> so many yeah. threads Ooh. 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 Yeah. We don't read over there. You know, there's a lot yeah. of the threads. <laughs> uh, it's e, bad. Uh, it's very bad. Uh, E1337neo for $50 says, Hey, on Friday Night Tights, the fact that I've contributed to the big name grifters like Nick Ricada, Yellow Flash, Raging Golden Eagle, Eagle hell, hell yeah, I like that guy, and that umbrella guy, Tug, but not you, all leaves me feeling quite remiss. Uh, time to fix that. Take my money. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank good, you. Good company right there. That's yeah, awesome. And we do guys. have to, we should give a shout out to Nick Ricada. Speaking of grifters, 100%. we should give a shout out to Nick because there's a, a lawn crime, a, a network called lawn crime is actually threatening to sue him. They oh, sent him God. a cease and desist for, for him broadcasting a public trial and commenting yeah. on it. No. Uh, so probably not the person you want to mess with Nick Ricada. Uh, and I don't think no. law and crime is a very good understanding of YouTube or the internet. Uh, they're getting destroyed, but at the same time, you know, who knows what will happen going forward with Nick Ricada. I know Quartering, Tug, Yellow Flash made videos about it. Uh, so make sure you guys go and support Nick uh, when yes. it comes to that bullshit. Yep. And and Quartering, shout out to Quartering for my friend's channel is under yep. attack. Yes. Video. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, they just, <laughs> you know, the picture with Nick and everything. He was Always you know, reinvents himself. He's like, yeah, my French <laughs> channel's under attack. So beautiful. That's beautiful. My uh, King's channel's under attack. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm sure no, Nick knows how to handle this. Live streaming 24 hours a day for the next month straight. Um, he'll be fine. Uh, we, Nick, we love you. Uh, and, hey, yes. Sydney, Sydney Watson just dropped a like on the, uh, oh, the old Sydney! stream. Thank you, Sydney. Sydney. Thanks, Sydney. What's up, Sydney? Tweet on the old Very stream cool. tweets. So. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm glad. I hope it was uh, heartfelt. Heartfelt. <laughs> heartfelt. 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 Oh my god! Oh, that's great. I need, I need one of those. Out. Yeah, that is. Funny. Those got to the UK so fucking fast. I know. I, I like ordered them on Thursday, and they arrived like yeah. Monday morning. Wow. I'm like, what the fuck? maybe the ship. But uh, they actually, I know that actually, because those are on Spring, right? I'm pretty sure they do sourcing like from Europe. Like I think I got continent. it direct from her site, though. I think that's where I ordered it. They oh, might drop ship, okay. they yeah, might drop ship from Ez, in the UK. That'd be yeah. yeah they the probably mug, do drop ship from the UK then. As did the mug come with another man's coffee in it? Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good, Chrissy. That was good. I didn't say jizz. That was for you, Odin. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I appreciate you holding I'm back. Really, I I'm really crying. So, yeah. <laughs> Chrissy, did you just make? that up yourself i did yeah, that's it wow you didn't need 14, wow. didn't wow. need 14 writers for that one think? i'm a freaking genius man <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're like the the tom cruise of comedians except you're a chick and you don't look any oh, what did she say and i'm the, the, and post, I'm the post would brad just tell if you could if you could said, watch me drink from it the brad that's pitt of lesbians. brad pitt of lesbians yes. yeah oh speaking of lesbians, lesbians. Did you guys hear that um, last last sometime last year U-Haul ran out of fucking trucks in California? They ran <laughs> yeah. out of trucks. Oh, no. Wow, that's bad news for everybody else. Is so, it a U-Haul of lesbians? Uh, no, I, the, the, like a, what were the is lesbians going to do? Hall? I don't know. I just think about the lesbians. They had to sit and work out all their relationships. Oh no! <laughs> they had to stick yeah. together. The last thing they want to do. I, I saw there was a lot of beatings involved. 
I, I don't remember if it was, it was someone I was talking to who knows somebody who works at U-Haul and they can like see where the vast majority of shit was going from. And from California, three major places where U-Hauls were like the destinations. It was Texas, it was Florida, and it was Tennessee. Uh, like the vast majority wow. of people. I wonder why. I wonder what mm. what about those states? Yeah. I don't mm. know. Maybe they have freedom mm. there. I could wow. be wrong, though. The great state of Tennessee. Wow. 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 Uh, as and I were talking, we were talking about this and like, it were, you know, this is like why comedy sucks, like mainstream comedy sucks now. Cause like there is, there's so many great skits you could do on just fucking woke uh, anything. It's like comedy, oh, it's a comedy yeah. gold mine. Oh God, so much. So like, so much. like the, the lesbian like U-Haul, TV. the lesbian U-Haul division, like panicking that they ran out of trucks <laughs> yes. in California. Yes. Oh my God. Because all the lesbians, I thought you ordered more. Yeah. All the lockdown lesbians are moving in and they're, yeah. They're, uh, they're screwed. Look, look at how much we laugh on this show. Like, literally just making fun of this stuff. Like, yeah. but that, that's all that's available out there, but these people won't do it. And it's not even like that. It's just common sense. And people are like, oh, my God, it's so refreshing. Like, you're talking like how real people talk. Instead, I like how yeah. Odin, Imagine instead of that. getting, like, LED background lights, he literally just got green light bulbs to put in his ceiling. <laughs> Is that what you did? There's a chemical leak in fucking Odin's yeah. house. <laughs> it's like it's, it's radioactive it's like Odin. Odin. He's Odin. <laughs> Yay! He's gonna, he's gonna oh! 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 Read between the lines, Ryan. Oh, I is here. I assume the rosary is somewhere between those lines, Odin. All he needs to do is angle the camera down a bit so we don't see the the light in the background, and it changes. Oh no, you're gonna see that light. Okay. Got the light. You're it looks see like how many it looks like a woman's titties drooped over the the counter. Oh, it looks like Satan a little. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that one's better. That one's a little I better. I like that. That looks I like so the red. Cool. I'll still never forget that. You know that one you like meme. The red? Odin in hell. You know, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. You know that one meme where it's like it's got like the the, the horse is like in between a fence and it's got to go say how to think. And that's exactly what I thought when I I live uh, I go to my YouTube feed and I see Odin live with Chrissy Mayer. I'm like. <laughs> how the hell like, did, how did that happen? happen that is the weirdest thing ever <laughs> it was a great uh, conversation <laughs> that was fun it was we a good one i did listen other. i listened to it because i was like this is either going to be a train wreck or it's going to be a really good discussion i can't not good. watch this and it was a good discussion it was we good. talked about all of so. his volunteer work and I don't think I mentioned come once. <laughs> no, you don't think. Restraint. I, don't I, I was appreciate itching it. the whole time. <laughs> you know, part, oh, of, part of being an adult is practicing restraint, mm -hmm. Chrissy. Well done. Yep. Well, yep. Done. Yep. well done. Um, yep. Respect. Of you. Uh, meth, uh, meth bear. Uh, meth bear for $42 on the Streamlab side. Meth broth? Teddy bear? Meth, no, meth bear. The legendary meth bear. Was it no. meth bear or is it cocaine bear? <laughs> I can't remember. What was the bear that ate a bunch of fucking cocaine? Um, you guys haven't heard this story? Uh, oh, well, no. was his name Hunter Biden? Was there a story Hunter about Biden. That was Jack <laughs> Murphy, wasn't it? Uh, no. I, oh, hang on. I got to find this. Did you guys see that guy fight off the Could bear to save his dogs? That, that was, was toxic, awesome. To, that's toxic yeah. masculinity right there. I don't amazing. know if it's true. And I saw it on I saw it on Twitter, so it has to be true. It couldn't be like It, it looked true to me. It looked yeah. real as shit to yeah. me. Because um, it didn't, it didn't bear, look the true pretty. story it, behind the ultimate party animal. What? Yeah. I, I mean, a meth it's bear true. can also be just a, a guy in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Cocaine bear, the truth behind the <laughs> ultimate party animal. Oh my God. I love cocaine bear. Uh, oh my God. You're going to have to read that, QBG. Even though I'm wearing my brand new progressives, my George's most. Infamous Bruin. What is that? Bruin. Bruin is a, a bear. For bear you motherfucker. UCLA. Well, I'm fucking retarded. Yes, and you the are. True Bruins? Crime Come on, saga bro. around him is getting the Hollywood treatment. Ooh. It's Elizabeth gonna be amazing. Banks? It's gonna be it's gonna be trans. Wait, it's gonna be okay. shot by <laughs> Elizabeth <laughs> Banks produces film. Okay. I thought when they said Hollywood treatment, he was getting sexually assaulted. But, but the real <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe the I believe the bears. I believe the bears over eighteen. So wow. <laughs> yeah. 
Chad fits in. I was going to say, like, you mean being shot by Alec Baldwin? Is that the Hollywood treatment? Oh, 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 oh. 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 still good. Yeah. It's a bear. It's a bear. Being shot and then sexually Those assaulted. who try the most fail. <laughs> That's fire. So, uh, yeah, so basically the bear found a bunch of fucking cocaine. You can, uh, 75, yeah, 73 pounds of cocaine. Yeah. So there it is. No, this is real? <laughs> yeah. Shit, it's yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, here it is. But Thornton. 175 pound black so read bear. So yeah, read that paragraph there, if you can. If not, I'll try. Nearby, well, I can't. Nearby with the duffel bag that had originally contained roughly 75 pounds of cocaine. The unfortunate animal had apparently gotten into the uh, into the blow <laughs> and oh, overdosed. Oh, oh, as oh, the authorities no. later oh, deduced, oh, the uh, sard is it Sondland? The sordid scene. The sordid scene. The sordid scene. I, yeah, it's like this big. Lay directly in the Lay Cessna's directly in the flight system. path. Oh no! Soon, the bear's story will be immortalized in film. This oh. summer, Elizabeth Banks is set to direct Cocaine Bear, Trash. which is described <laughs> by Deadline as, quote, a character-driven thriller inspired by true events that took place in Kentucky Whatever. in Whatever, I just want to see that fucking five minutes that bear was high as fuck. Fuck before it died. <laughs> and it was probably, I want it to it be was, like the, the yeah. Darth Vader scene. Dude, the, that bear was probably trying to oh fuck God. squirrels and, and just find anything to screw before it died. Oh, yeah. yeah, That bear had a lot of good ideas. That it bear did. got a lot done. <laughs> had I had some I dreams. Like, I'm going to write a script. Yeah, Elizabeth Banks, yeah. like, may the odds be ever in your favor, and it's just the bear like, Oh, with all this <laughs> oh. the bear's like the bear. I'm yeah, gonna I'm gonna bear. clean up the fo uh the forest and then write a script. Uh then I'm gonna get married and have <laughs> a life. I wanna fuck that squirrel right over there, then it died. <laughs> you know what was not on its mind? I want you know the what's not on its mind is oh yeah, I'm gonna have this woman make a film about me. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth Banks. That's what it did. It said I'm gonna Elizabeth write a script and I hope Elizabeth Banks, Banks produces it. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> poor Meth Bear. DC and Marvel. And by the way, we didn't even get past the guy's name. DC, thank you, Meth Bear. Uh, DC <laughs> and Marvel are like uh, WWE pushing Roman Reigns. God, it's w, can I say WWF? I hate saying WWF. Please say WWF. <laughs> WWF. It's copyrighted. Wrong, you can't but... say it, okay? They uh, lost in a lawsuit. Roman Reigns as champ. Fans hated it and kept their yes. money. These yes. pigs <laughs> insist we love forced uh, A2M. Uh, unfortunately, they are Ass pushing the mouth. I guess uh, <laughs> is that it? Yeah, is that, okay. you, you know, you know from experience, Ryan. Is that <laughs> unfortunately, they are pushing right. IPs and fandom over the edge to fall harder and faster than Owen Hart to the same result. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 R.I.P. Owen Hart, by the way. I know about that. I was yeah. in the wrestling when that happened. That's rough. Yeah, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the Roman Reigns push was definitely what, what really I checked out after that. I mean, it was one thing when Punk left, but it was sec when they kept pushing Roman Reigns, and that's a, a perfect example of not listening to your audience. You don't have to do exactly what the audience wants. You don't have to listen to everything. That's not the case here. But when you're actively abandoning everything that these properties stand for and your entire you know, stance on it is we need more of these uh, you know, check marks of diversity, inclusion, and representation and all, that's not going to benefit the story. It never has. It never will. <laughs> and so um, that's the same you, thing. That's why you should watch AEW instead. Well, you're talking about a company, WWE, that yesterday abandoned the uh, copyright to change one of their wrestlers' names to a Nazi war hero. What? There's a German guy called Walter. Walter. Okay. And they decided, uh, even though he's been Walter for a long time, we're going to change his name to something something. And it just so happened to be that that something something was actually... Uh, a Nazi U-boat war hero. Oh, God. Oh. Whoops. And then yeah, it kind of got out uh, what it was. And if you think, well, you know, <clears throat> that could just be coincidence. Vince McMahon in NXT 2.0 has just uh, taken a, a, a Chinese girl, or Japanese girl, um, changed their character into a Japanese schoolgirl now. <sighs> So they their their stick is they're a Japanese schoolgirl who comes down to to wrestle. Okay. Uh, 
they uh there's a chap called mustafa ali who's a great wrestler who uh recently on sunday asked for his release from the company due to uh a pitch that vince mcmahon had given to him about where he wants his character to go next oh boy. now this he wants is to just, be a terrorist. Well, that's because this is just speculation. <laughs> I said they've already done that. Uh, Mustafa story Ali is a Muslim, and you could just probably guess from there with uh, Vincent Kennedy McMahon what he had planned. And then Uh-oh. today, he he tweeted out Mustafa Ali tweeted out the the meme of the Joker by the burning money. Which, of course, means it's not about the money. It's about sending a message. So he, because he's asked for his release, oh, and got declined. Yeah. And he's got probably uh, a few years left, uh, they speculate, on his contract uh, that he's just going to go out there and say exactly what uh, the intention was with his character, which he didn't agree with. And then AEW will pick him up, do a hell of a lot better with him than they ever could. And yep. there you I can go. just see Vince though going, right, here you go, Mustafa. I want you to put on a suicide vest. They've already I done that storyline though. Suicide vest, I want you to go down the ring and blow yourself up. Remember they had that one wrestler I, whose whole thing was praise Allah. And then there was a whole thing with a suitcase bomb. Like they already did that crap oh they do it all the time he's he's he just uh, he's uh, such a racial uh, stereotype I, I, i'll never forget when uh when when the whole when the the coof just started and you know like everything shutting down there was a meme out there and it's like all these other companies are shutting down canceling things and it showed vincent man and it had a meme and it's introducing our new character corona virus you know <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Vince would totally do some shit. Seriously, like he would. Okay. <laughs> Finishing uh, move is he. <laughs> I don't even know where we go there. Uh, on, on the stream last He sneezes side, on you. Uh, he, he tricked people to get a bunch of boosters. <laughs> right. He puts uh, people on ventilators. Athena for $100. So he's going to skip giving any of this to mama susan thank you very much by the way these come through the Streamlab side which circumvents youtube and just donate it directly mm-hmm. thanks for all you and the whole fnt crew does hope christy frost makes another appearance hail friday night times uh. that was fan- that was all timer all time that was an all timer classic I, got- I hope it didn't blow my load on that one well <laughs> At least it was worth it. No, okay. you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> so oh, no, many no, more. No, no. The one thing, um, I remember, Jeremy, you were asked on that uh, confronting your ankle biter stream that uh, somebody asked you the question, do you uh, find it hard to find uh, woke things to uh, talk about? Um, <laughs> no, we don't have enough fucking time oh to cover yeah. all of the stupid yeah. from Hollywood. <laughs> I wish I could, yeah, if I could clone 10 more versions of me, uh, I guess Melissa might be happy, but I, I, I wouldn't. Um, but, uh, yeah, I could, get, I could cover all the stupid shit coming out of Hollywood. We don't have the time. It, 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 yeah, in all, in all reality, I got burnt out on that shit for a while. That's why the main channel didn't, the growth kind of stunned it, because I wasn't even making videos. I'm like, there's just can't keep up with this shit man my mental my mental health can't take its yeah, shit i need yeah. to go talk about I'll, I'll go bitch about sports maybe but i can't keep this hollywood stuff up because there's just way too much of it no oh, yeah. we, we, there's not there's never a day it's all comes every day just comes into what stories are we going to cover because there's about 12 it's just which ones every are we going to cover yeah minimum. which ones do you have the energy to cover <laughs> exactly yeah. minimum 12 a day yeah it's it's crazy <laughs> Uh, oh, I guess we didn't talk about this, but uh, I can put out 10 videos a day. That would, that's my sweet spot. I'd be happy with 10 a day across wow. all the channels. That would be <laughs> if I do less than that, I feel ashamed. <laughs> I'm lucky to do one before going to work. <laughs> I'll stick to my I do one and fall asleep immediately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Caboose Mobile for $50. Caboose Mobile. Says, hey, old friend and I died crew got over my own bout of COVIDs last week. Gotta say, it didn't live up to the hype. Uh, was expecting a fever of at least 103, and it only hit a wimpy high of 101.7. Uh, 
Wow. San Diego's best rock. Uh, better luck next time, COVID. <laughs> you bitch. More than uh, the Law and Crime Network. Ooh, they are bitches. You're bitches. You're bitches. Mm-hmm. Bitch. Biatch. William Moore on the Streamlab side for $55. Says, hail Friday Night Tides. Hail Shadversity. Loved your video on why we need He-Man Shad. It was truly inspiring and was the reason I subscribed. May the power of Grace Skull guide us all. May the wings of liberty never lose a feather and may God bless you all. Hail. Also, Gary, ask Shad about his big stick energy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, are you sure you want to go there, Gary? I do. I really do. <laughs> Can you handle oh. it? Can you handle it? Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> man, I was, yeah. Classic He Man, one of my all time favorite um, uh, childhood heroes. Yeah, well, it started with He Man and Superman, and then when I grew up with it, Spider Man. And what they did to He Man just, oh, I couldn't stand it. It's so terrible. That man. came from. Um, Heartfelt place that video. I was I was okay. happy with it. it um, and in terms of the, the big know. stick energy, I have to I save that for the right moments, and uh, <laughs> I'll be making something re- coming up that'll have some some big stick energy. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Yeah. Ooh. Actually, that's, if you want the tease. biggest, if you want the biggest stickest energy, you need to have a look at the one with the professor. There's a recent video with the professor. I think you all will get a. A kick out of it. Uh, I don't think I could ever top that stick energy in in that video. There you go. <laughs> what the uh, hell was that? <laughs> that was, the hell was that? Is, that was a new sounder. Yeah. That That's what happened. That's what happens with the big stick energy. <laughs> oh, that's right. War cry. That's as his war, war cry. Yes. Uh, uh, Marksman's got a two parter for uh, thirty dollars each. Sixty dollars. Thank you very much. Oh shit! <laughs> there it is. We did it. Yes, we finally did it. We did it. I hit what? the wrong button again. <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. Uh, Hale, I want to shout out the channel, Even Royalty, an Indian filmmaker. He is currently crowdfunding for the final short film uh, for his trilogy based on the online creepypasta SCP, also known as Secure, Contain, Protect, a military eldritch horror IP. His first two films, SCP, Dollhouse, and Overlord, can be found here on YouTube and are uh, of great quality. The final film, Heretic, is on Kickstarter and based on a cult operating a paranormal art gallery out of an apartment building, a project worth backing. Eh, That's original. That's cool. Yeah, no problem. My son liked that. I like some SCP stories. Yeah, my son. I, I've those. seen SCP Dollhouse before. I'm familiar yeah, with that with one. SCP. Yeah. So. Yep. I've heard a lot of people have spoke highly about it when we, we read that super chat off on our stream. So, uh, Heavy J for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Thank you. I'm streaming side. Heavy J. Not gonna lie, I would objectify the shit out of an as body positivity pillow. No homo, though. Dude, that is supremely homo. Are you kidding me? There's so many the folds that you it. could... If, if well, I'm doing body pillows, then you got to commit. He says... He says, he says <laughs> I, don't care. I don't care if you're male or female. If I'm doing body pillows, you are committing to the cause on those body pillows. He says no homo, though. Well, maybe a little. Uh, nail, no way. Uh, nail all. Go tit. Welcome, Shad. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the, go laundry, the, the laundry will wash away your sins, don't worry. Go tit. Tony V for 50 dollars is hail Friday night tights and hail shad the only guest to have a 15 minute video talking about the size and girth of his stick <laughs> when it comes to sticks the size is very important particularly yeah. when you, know, you need to you know handle them properly you should make sure it has a big knob on it as well really mm. and, oh, and girth, yes. ma- girth yeah. matters and I, girth called, matters, yeah. I, I keep getting called a big knob but it, I don't think it's got anything to do with my penis. <laughs> who's, hang on. Who's talking about penises? Where'd, why'd you go there? Well, yeah. What well, yeah. was yeah. supposed to be crude as much? Sorry, bitch. sword. Gosh. Sword. I forgot the euphemism. <laughs> Kyle Henderson for $50 says, love you guys. First time watching live. And if it wasn't for Quarter Black, I would have never heard of you. So thanks you, thank you, Quarter Black, and everyone on this panel. You're the best. Thank you, Hell Quarter yeah. Black. You're thank you. 
Fuck yeah. Thanks for the shout out, buddy. Thank you for the yep. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, he's he's more he's more than a man bun, everyone. He's more than a man bun. <laughs> more than okay. a man bun. I have, I have Jeremy really talked about this. It's more bitch than bun. A man bun. <laughs> <laughs> I still like. Uh, I, I'm just keep staring at Odin's green background. <laughs> I, I just think that, like, I imagine that's what the room that they locked Superman in when they raped him. <laughs> 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 the green room. Oh, I've been tempted since it's green eyes, see to green see if uh, like a green screen would uh, like with the filters and everything. Oh gosh! Oh, <laughs> oh gosh! And that's a no. Oh gosh! Oh, I could be a meme now. <laughs> Every time Chrissy talks about cum, you could just disappear. Really, just <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Odin's version of Homer Simpson disappearing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. That's fun. Oh. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> just, just think. Of, uh, in, uh, in all seriousness, think of how fucking stupid G four must feel right now. Uh, we, I'm sure, I, I don't know. I've watched I, I everything. They're feeling like they're justified. <laughs> I, I don't think they have any self awareness whatsoever. We've been laughing our ass off now for three hours. Uh, and not a single writer, not a single. I don't even know how to fucking spell. I've been kicked out of three high schools. So I can't, read. I can't even read the super chat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know my own name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm functionally retarded. And like, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I am really lost and scared and nobody wants to help me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bradley Burnett for $100. Just congrats to Ryan on $100,000. That deserves more applause right now. Hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, what's going on? You've heard it here first, everybody. He's getting one hundred thousand dollars. That's what Jeremy, hey, that's what Jeremy said. Down. That's what Jeremy said. He's going to pay you, Ryan. You got to stay. Gotta stay hey, to he it, earned man. it. He earned it. Yeah, yeah. So. Thank you. Appreciate subs. that, Bradley. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to learn from Riketa how to grift better, but I'll I'll make sure I get you that money. So uh, <laughs> you got to get your channel under attack. Uh, live yeah. stream a lot. Streaming yeah. constantly. That's yeah. right. Yep, yep. I I need somebody to to make an NFT of me or something so I can make. Uh, this person stole one hundred and sixty thousand dollars from me, like Quartering did. The <laughs> oh other my day. god, that was perfect. That was so good. That was uh, perfect. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, he quick didn't, question. He, he, a quick question, quick story. Uh, he didn't quick even question. need another Baldwin related killing to get there. Just a G4 <laughs> collapsing in on itself yeah. like a star into a black hole. Now, that's why I'm so proud of you. Now he really ah. needs to reach for the stars and claim his name back on Twitter. That's true. No. <laughs> that, Ryan Kennel from Louisiana, that little cocksucking bitch, has never checked his Twitter. He protected his account because Jeremy flooded him with follows. What a bitch. Just sitting there with, with my fucking name. Can't have my Honestly, name. Honestly, that's the most what's one of the most disappointing things I've ever this ever happened to me on the internet. It's when I wanted that my I, my goal was to get Ryan Kennel from Louisiana more followers than Ryan uh, <laughs> Ryan from San Diego. And so on the live stream, I shouted him out. People were following him, and all of a sudden, he locked his account. It's the first time he's shown any activity. Like what five the years, <laughs> like five <laughs> years. First time he'd ever done anything. He had like one tweet on there, and it was like, "Hey everyone, I can't wait for big things to happen here on Twitter." Never tweeting again. <laughs> it's the same guy in the Call of Duty lobby. Hey guys, I I'm got new it. around hey, here. Everyone, I fucking Fuck hate you, that you. dude. Fun I fucking <laughs> hate that guy. <laughs> he probably well, he probably fixed you. Get here. Anytime he goes to Google his name, it's just nothing. like. Anytime he goes to Google his name, it's just like this person's a racist. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> he he out like, oh, this is the guy. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not great for him either. He probably yeah. just sat there that day, uh, fucking just chilling out, and then suddenly his phone just going. Beep, 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 They've just followed you. They've just followed you. They're just following like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I wish you would have deleted his fucking account. <laughs> well, I need that for good oh, things later. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, Don't forget. Oh, oh, nice, that. Oh nice. my God. You go. that, you've never. You've oh, literally right never looked better. Yeah. Dude. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Wait, no, no, get that. No. Get at it. No, go. No, go away. back. Go back. Yeah. 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 Yeah
back. Yeah. <laughs> Damn that look. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't Lone oh, Star. No. <laughs> and his sidekick puke. <laughs> that is a that is a dance. What, where is that from? Where, Your head looks like a pizza where's table. Where's a pizza? Baseball. I think this oh. is technically from uh, like Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Uh, that's that's right. Good. Pizza. Keep Looks like mind. Domino's Pizza. I like nah, it. Pizza Hut. All the way. That I like how my brains become hell. transparent with yeah. pizza. I am it's not a pan. Now. It would have to be a hand tossed. Uh, it would have to be a hand tossed <laughs> hey. uh, pizza. No, notice, notice, with, notice yeah. by the way, uh, there's, like no there's no pineapple. There's no pineapple. No pineapple on this pizza. Area. Yeah, that's oh, no pineapple, pineapple on uh, this pizza. We, we, Jeremy, we were having <laughs> a fucking no. nice conversation about pizza, and you got to come along with your fucking bigotry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your fucking pineapple. Look at it. I'm mad that Look at it. Fuck with you. Not a single piece of pineapple. I don't care. Pizza you wear red jeans. I don't give a shit. What you say? It's just wrong. It's it's it's. I bad thought you were gonna quit anyway. Pineapple, pineapple could go on there too, Jeremy. Listen, it's no, fucking no, no, it's no, not. No, 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 it can't. No, 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 it's an abomination. Here. Yes. We no, can't. Yes, yes. He's on our side. You gotta earn your way back up to the top now. <laughs> And Mauler's on my side as well. Oh, we got Chad, we got Mauler. Like we are winning. We are winning. You are so uncultured. We are winning the culture back. Agrees with you, Jeremy. <laughs> we have representation, X-ray girls. We have representation. Pineapple hey, and pizza. Hey, yes or hey, no? Hey, 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 hey. Yes. 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 No. No. She, wait, no. she doesn't get wait, on. No. Who, who, hey. is she, uh, whose side is she hey. on? She, she not no, 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 no. She She's better. basically fucking Hawaiian. She does not count. <laughs> right. Look at those hey. eyes. Hey, look at that Hawaiian. By the way, um, who on this panel wears the same jeans as Haley Steinfeld? Uh, Jeremy. Okay. <laughs> fucking Jeremy. Why are we bringing in Would style? Would that be Jeremy? I don't understand why these guys. Style and taste no. all go no, together. Only, style you're only taste bringing that up because together. you have another argument. Jeremy's got Velcro on his fucking shoes. He's a Tom Brady simp with his Efficiency. fucking ripped jeans. And he's telling me what I'm going to eat on my pizza? Come on. Get Gary's a Chargers fan. We had the conversation. We had the conversation. Why you gotta rub it in? And, and Why you gotta rub it in? I know no, we suck. I know we lost our team. I know San Diego's worthless. Uh, oh man, that was good stuff. Uh, I regret asking X or girl anything. This is why you only have nine words. I should have should have known that. <laughs> so, it's, it's more, like, I, would, I would never I would never ask someone that looks like X ray girl about pineapple on pizza if I wanted to get a no. I'm, just <laughs> I'm going by I'm like taking my I'm rolling the dice, right? I know the odds here. If I had to guess. Asians yeah. love pineapples or something? United Confederation <laughs> of Pizza, pizza <laughs> Normality I just donated two dollars. I would listen, also not ask gotta, her to parallel you, park listen, my fucking car. Listen, okay? Okay, I would do very well. Listen, okay. Listen, listen. She much like the quartering, mu much like the quartering, staying committed to my channel is under attack. You gotta appreciate Ryan taking a, an innocent discussion on pizza into him being racist. Like he's committed. <laughs> Every he's time committed. He's Hey, He's I hit 100,000 subs, but I still got to stay on brand, all right? Jeremy, that's, yeah, that's not fair. That. Jeremy, that's not fair. He was also pretty sexist as well. Yeah. <laughs> on brand as well. Double yeah. whammy. Oh, did you see that we got a, we got a super chat from uh, the United uh, Confederation of Pizza New Normality? <laughs> uh, having... I'm disturbed that this poll is only 40, 54 percent no on, on yeah, pineapple it's, on it's, pizza. Oh, I'm, there's a lot of trolls. I saw a bunch of you fucking wow. pineapple lovers yeah. making fake Come accounts, on. rushing yeah. bots. Oh, yeah. Sexism in Get chat. Get the bots out of here, <laughs> Gary. Don't, okay? whatever, don't share this picture. Whatever you do, don't share this picture. There's probably a lot of extra girl simps, honestly. Well, what do you think about pineapple. that? Hey, what about? Oh, that? Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
pizza on top. Put it in me. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. I don't know about that. That's that might soul. be pushing it a little too far for even me. Dude, I'll be sick. honest with you. You're uh, sick, Ash. You're sick. I, look. Disgusting. Oh, wait. All I'm saying is, <laughs> I, 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 saying I is wasn't done I, with I that. I give it a go. I give, I give it a go. <laughs> Oof. All right, I was done That's with that. Rough. Never mind. Heavy J for another one for one hundred dollars on the Streamlabs side. What's up, oh. Shad? I just yes. hate watched my way through the wheel of time. Then oh, I caught God. your streams discussing the final episode, completely infected with wokeness, bad writing, poor directing, and they fired one of their best Barney for not getting the jab. For fuck's sake! Thoughts, Shad. Is I haven't heard that count confirmed. I was like, mm-hmm. What is All that right. show? Wheel uh, of Time they're talking about. Oh. Um, uh, we uh, we did an episode-by-episode episode review on Night's Watch, and uh, whoa, it was tough, but we were willing to take the bullet because that show just costs. And I think that that is just the worst news for Lord of the Rings fans. Um And... Yeah, uh, like, uh, that, that's exactly what... The that's worst. the template. That's the template that they're going to use for Lord of the Rings. Now, it's not as big of an IP, obviously. It's not as not quite as many people have heard of it or are fans of it or whatever. But like on a smaller scale, that's what I think they want to do with Lord of the Rings. They don't want to use it to to make it true to what you know Tolkien wanted it to be. They want to use it as a name to get people in and then push their agenda. One of the biggest tragedies always. with Wheel of Time is that it actually could have been the next Lord of the Rings. In terms of just the book series, I've got the whole book series right here. That's the Wheel of Time. It's a <laughs> phenomenal book series. It's one of the greats. It's it's amazing, right? And if they just, they had the script and template right there. You just needed to translate what was there instead of being so damn arrogant to think that you could improve on it. But and <laughs> the way that they, they thought they could improve plot, but then they thought they could improve by making it more, well, let's get rid of the problematic elements, which also says that they did not like the source material. There are yep. elements in there that they considered problematic. They wanted to change, and they just they desecrated, they butchered it, and it could have been absolutely phenomenal. Now you don't want to try and make it too much like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones. Make it its own thing. Thing is, though, the first book in the series was actually very patent. There were certain nods to Lord of the Rings because the creator Robert Jordan he loved Lord of the Rings, and so you've got the Misty Mountains, and in the books you've got the Mountains of Mist, and there are these little nods to Lord of the Rings because he loved it so much, and it's this incredible, you know story of the, the, uh, the well there's the hero's journey but also the savior like what type what would happen if you were in that role and it has these incredible like themes and yeah like the themes the themes don't just you know redeem a show but it's all about execution the execution of what it's trying to say is phenomenal and i was i was so interested like because there are there are certain things in the wheel of time the books that are of the you know progressive mindset would consider very problematic it has definitive unquestionable like definitions of gender in the book so much so that the magic is different between men and women if you're a man you have a different magic if you're a woman you have a different half of the magic and it is so ingrained into that that it's tied to a person's soul it can't change it's that thing and so but of course you know that's problematic so they don't even mention in the entire see and this is like one of the like the, a fundamental element to the whole story if you like because the hero is supposed to be a man who can use the magic and problem is the male side is is cursed and if you use the male side you'll go crazy and so the 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 prophesied savior of this world is destined to go insane and potentially destroy everyone and so that's how fundamental it is to the story. And in the entire first season, they do not mention in the book. Well, sorry, I mean, in the TV show, in the ty- because it's so problematic, they don't even mention that there are two halves to the one power in the entire first season. And it's what? that fundamental to the Holy story. Shit. That's how much they have just wow. ruined it. And oh. I'm so ticked off because it could have been amazing because the books are amazing. You have the t- <clears throat> Oh, the fucking arrogance. You just want to be a yeah. fly in the wall in that writer's room where Marin Wine Mom, who wrote a couple of episodes for some CW show, is sitting back going over Robert Jordan's work and just going, oh, that's problematic. We really need to get rid of that. It's the most important element of the story. It doesn't matter. Problematic. We'll just not mention it. And we'll just. It's reinforcing yeah. the binary nature, it, which is untrue. It's reinforcing not binary. unconscious bias. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Fuck. Oh, they, they changed more than that. Like in the in the uh, in the uh, TV show, they even made that the prophecy could have been a man or a woman. And so in the in the books, it's obviously a man. And this is where what some of the big problems were because it's going to be a man who can channel. That means he could destroy the world. <laughs> in the show, they made it could be a man or a woman. We don't know. And they say that explicitly multiple times, and that ruins so much crucial like, stakes plus everything. Because now, well, if the the dragon reborn is a woman. Well, it's fine. The, the female half isn't cursed. She won't go crazy. So uh, the, the, the astronomical stupidity of what happened just in the plot because of the things they changed is you can't even put it into words. It's that much. It's unbelievable. I heard the female half is only cursed once a month for like about <laughs> four or five days. <laughs> <laughs> it goes crazy. I know. It's like, what do you yeah. think? I really have to bite my lips say, but a woman has appeared once a month. So, yeah. So uh, you're you know, not out of the woods yet. You're not we out of the We have to woods. deal with that every fucking day, you know. Aww, yeah. yeah. But us married guys, we don't make those jokes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is a fact. Com a comedy <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have my hand. 99. Thank you very much. It's Hail Friday Night Tights, my first ever super chat here. Oh. Found all of you guys. Uh, we'll be gentle, by the way. Uh, found all of you guys through the legend, Young Ripa. Hell yes. Ripa. Yeah. Yeah. Ripa. Uh, hell Ripa. Ripa is I, getting is, ready to launch a Ripa verse. Hell yep, yeah. Yep. Soon. Can't wait. As Jeremy says, Eric July. Uh, July. Seeing July. Shad here, and thank you, uh, Eric, by the way, and thank you for being here. And seeing even Shad here means that the awakening is happening and pissed off fans want their fandoms back. Shad, you earned my sub. All hail Friday Night Tides. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. I, that's awesome. Subscribe oh, yeah. to Shadversity. Subscribe often. Create new accounts. Subscribe some more. That was a damn <laughs> and, and Night's Watch. Night's Watch, if you're and wanting the commentary on uh, on the you know fantasy series. It's going to be more fantasy if there's anything fantasy. Many people will have my eye on it. House closer. of the Dragon? But, you're going to cover House of the Dragon? We'll be, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll be watching be, yeah. that very closely. Very closely. Uh, um, but also anything that's in mainstream pop culture. And we have commentaries on what's happening just in... Like, you know, uh, is George going to finish the book? Sorry. <laughs> I have hope that he will. Uh, as to when, I don't know. But uh, let's, let's hope. Not this year. <laughs> Not this year? No. <laughs> I dug, I, uh, I, this century. No, I dug in. Uh, that was a video I did last year. So I, I, I've read the books obsessively, like over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I know them. I know them. And where he said where uh, when Arya is still in, in Bravos, I went, oh, fuck. He's not even halfway through the book. Because uh, of the sample chapters he's released, <clears throat> she's still in Bravos. Now, she has to leave at some point, especially after the sample chapter where she went against the House of Black and White anyway. So if you guys know the books, Arya is in the House of Black and White. No, she didn't get past it in the show. And she kills somebody that she wasn't supposed to, and they, they made her blind. So you remember that from the show. And they basically mm -hmm. said, yeah, don't do that again. Don't have to do it. Well, she does it again. So she has to leave. So if she's still in Bravos, that means they, she, he's only halfway through the fucking book. After 11 oh. years. After 11 <laughs> fucking years. It's crazy. Uh, there's oh. a, I think there's a chance that we see this one. There's that. no chance he's finishing it no. at all. He's too scared. Like he, yeah. he is too yeah. scared because he saw the reaction to it. And even though the way, the way he would do it in the books would probably lead to a much more satisfying conclusion and seeing everything play out a certain way and seeing Daenerys slowly turn and all this stuff would probably be way better. Well, it's um, been eleven years. But, politics in the world has has changed since the last it, time. Exactly. He released a book. Imagine yeah. him writing stories about some dude just like coming down some chick's throat now. You know what I mean? Wait, like, that, yeah. that's George R. R. Martin. Like, well, that, the way, have you not the read way the that books? dude writes yeah. is not socially acceptable right, right. now. It's just not. So I, I think he's so scared of that. He's so scared that people aren't going to like it. He would just rather not put it out. Oh, yeah. Honestly, it, I think it, that's how it is. And. I don't know how long this dude's in the last period. So no, yeah. If you haven't read his books, he, yeah, he gets into details. Seconds. When when when, it, when characters have sex, he have the sex. He gets into detail, including uh, you know incest uh, between uh, Jamie and Cersei. It gets very very detailed. Uh, yeah. They, he also writes like rape and uh, you know people like horrible violence against men and women, and that's shit you can't write anymore 
within science fiction and fantasy. That whole, gr- I hate to use the word community, but it is. That's what it is. The one that he <laughs> helped foster, the one, the one that he helped bring in, that whole publishing sphere is fucking mess. You think Hollywood is bad. You think gaming is bad. You think fucking comic books are bad. Science fiction and fantasy publishing right now, are a f- uh, it's a horror show. It's an absolute horror show of SJWism. We saw some of it. A, a woman wins fucking like you know best new writer, and what's the first thing she does? Complains about fucking sexism. Complains about like yeah. and and somebody <clears throat> mispronouncing her fucking name, which is yeah. like you know it's not the easiest name to to pronounce. It'd be like me getting mad at somebody trying mispronouncing my name, which is impossible to pronounce. Uh, well, there yeah. it's a smaller it's a smaller industry. So it's a lot more condensed, so it's easier for them to infiltrate the entire thing. So at this point, this is like down the line of movies. It, it's already bad now, but movies, mm-hmm. TV, comic books, like publishing is so small that you can just wipe out the entire thing. And now they've like completely taken over the host and it's just a, a shit show. That's interesting. It, I, I think it does depend on who, which authors you follow. A lot of the, you know, right writers that i like to read they they're awarding signs don't get me wrong the wrong signs but they haven't gone full that way but i do see what you're saying in the, the hugos like the at world con and the hugo awards are fucking hot oh, yeah the, the sad hugo puppy awards. yeah yeah yes yeah. um it's been interesting seeing the uh, reaction to my own novel uh depending on which area of politics that you go from because uh I'm very much from that, you know, mindset of tell the story how it is. And, uh, yeah, there are some interesting elements that uh, <laughs> you could always tell a review based on, like, if they really didn't like certain things, not for the quality of the writing or the book. It's just that, well, let's just say in a very um, uh, progressive mindset, my main character is very uh, problematic. Mm. In that sense. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to read it. I can't fucking wait to read it. Yeah, I miss problematic characters. That's what makes them interesting. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you need yep. to give them flaws. And like, it's all yeah. this whole thing where they want to make all the main characters women, but now because women have to be strong, they can't give them flaws. We saw this massively again in Wheel of Time. The adaptations they oh. basically made all the male heroes incompetent cowardly it was just disgusting and then they made it moraine who was a more side character a main character and all the female the women are not only like amazing and they say it like they even like overt about this where they say this character is unbreakable they're perfect <laughs> in so many ways and there were so many times in this show where it was clearly a uh, male character was meant to do this like there's this one moment where a male character is getting angry is facing off against a bad guy and that there's a woman who's tied up in a chair. We saw that in the, the first, like, there's a cut. She's tied in a chair. This main character is looking at him, and then suddenly she teleports out of the chair, and she takes the kill and stabs the guy in the back because you can't have a man save a woman in the modern climate. No, nope. And it right. was such bull hey, crap. I couldn't Chad, believe it. come on now. Uh, to go back to Masters of the Universe, <laughs> Teela had a flaw. <laughs> she was man. just too good. And her just flaw was perfect. she was too good. Oh, you too good. That's you right. Good. He just didn't understand how good she fucking was, like, and that was her flaw. I'm not kidding, right? After I watched Master of the Universe, I came into the studio, and Oz was there, and I sat to, to and Oz was like, it's bad, isn't it? I was like, it is. And I decided to do a test, and I said, okay, if you could pick the worst, most stereotypical flaw that these modern writers would give to, you know, their, their leading ladies, what would you give? And without missing a beat, he just like, She's too perfect, isn't she? And I'm like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> but they did that unironically! I can't believe it! Uh, just, oh that's goodness. what makes you think that there's some kind of mandate. There's some kind of writing yeah. guild that they have in the back rooms mm-hmm. of Hollywood that where they're all going, we're going to agree to say these exact things. These are yep. going to be the story oh, Absolutely, man, because what can't you this. described, you Chad, this. was what's going yep. on with Boba Fett. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Exactly. And Peacemaker. Yeah, they, the they, same way. Every male is dumb. Every chick is mm-hmm. is the leader. She's smart. She's smarter than everybody else. It's, yep. it's not yeah. hard to do. I mean, I, I I told you guys I've been watching Yellowstone. Yellowstone men are men, and then there's a female character in Yellowstone named <laughs> Beth, who's yeah. so fucking badass. Like, it, but she's flawed as hell. She's very mm-hmm. flawed. She, but she is amazing. She's a woman. And, and and the the men are just as as manly as they need to be. They're badasses. They're yeah. fighting shit out. You could do this if you have the right mindset, if you have the right yeah. intent. But if your intent is to just push identity politics, it's a failure 
from the get go. It yes. might have fool's Maybe. gold in front of it, yeah. but it will fail miserably because your intent is not there. And it makes you know? guys think because there's still so many women out there that like want in some form or another a guy to like save them or improve their life or help them with stuff and like or work as a team and it's like i what i wonder if that makes guys feel like women don't want that at all like i wonder if it blurs the lines between yeah male feminism. I, I think that yeah, like, i think that's having an effect there's like a subliminal effect that i think is getting seeped out through this narrative that they're trying to push and it's doing terrible things for a guy's relationships the dynamics between men and women it's and it's having seriously bad effects where these there's these young guys are growing up and they be told that you are inherently misogynistic you have this unconscious bias where you're just you're bad because you're born male and mm -hmm. yeah. like it's driving guys to suicide they are getting yeah. so messed up in the head it's un male it's, suicide it's rate is, the, is like yep. huge it's it's a huge yeah. problem, male privilege it, oh, yeah, yeah, male yeah, privilege. yeah 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 but but see, like death rates everything it's all skewed heavily towards men in you know in workplaces uh, suicides, all this kind of stuff, and now you you, got, you can't even approach a woman as a guy now to ask her out because that's problematic. No, exactly. it is, yeah. Yeah. like without yeah. without a strong group that of Gillette men, commercial. you can't you oh. can't challenge the government. You can't challenge anything. Like we need strong men to to be a buffer between like the government and the people because, and I think they know this. Oh yeah, that's why yeah. they want people to obey. They want yeah. compliance. Yep. It's, That's what it's, it's all about. It's very insidious. They separate. They want men and women to not work together so then they can work for the state. They yeah. make men and women weaker so they need the state. That's what the yeah, goal is. Make men less manly and women yeah. like <laughs> unable to be reproduced with. <laughs> right. But also, like, the, the idea that, you know, women, like, the, the meter is pushing where they're, they're, they, like, these characters, they don't go through these arcs, they don't have the flaws. We see it with Ray, we see it with so many of these mm -hmm. characters where they're basically perfect from the get go. And there are some really kind of shocking things where, women are getting taught a, a lie and then uh, there are cases where especially with the whole like you know there is a reality there's an absolute reality that men and women are different and one of the big differences that you know is important to acknowledge is the strength difference but oh, there yeah. are times where well, women but that's are, a social uh, construct <laughs> yeah right and they attack men and they force a guy to Fight, like protect himself and then they end up getting hurt really bad because they think they can just take on any i was like no you need to understand yeah. strengths and limitations and i'm not saying women can't be bad i just look at gina carano okay um right. but there is but a she's reality trained. She's, she's trained she's trained she's, trained she's got fighter. exactly she's gone she's through a not, she's she's not faking right? it either yeah, yeah. Well, no she's well, not and, and again if the same person right if the same person who's oh about the same height as gina carano or whatever if they were a man yeah. and they went their entire life training that way we know that what the result would be yes right yeah. because yeah. men and women are built differently it's not just about oh testosterone level Levels and ability to maybe build muscle it gets down to the size of your heart is different your yeah. bone structure you is different, different. Your, it's exactly your hips your you, shoulders your blood that flows through your you brain is literally it different is too. Different. it doesn't matter if you decide that you don't want to be that and you go on hormone therapy after 20 years and you chop off whatever it, it, it will not inherently change yeah. some things that are just a part of you and this goes uh, back to them not being like able your to recognize Mm. Oh, did Reality. you just keep that not around? To... I do. I do. Yeah, yeah. Moments like <laughs> this. Not not being able to just... What is reality? Accept it. But they can't accept it. They have to create stories where they can make up this alternate reality where somehow women are always stronger than men and more adept at fighting. It doesn't make any sense. They can't deal with reality. That's just how it is. And that's... Yeah. That's the part of growing up is realizing that. Do you guys I want to know is like, do they stop teaching sexual dimorphism in school? Because that clearly that's happened because that would explain a lot. Yeah. Mm. Did you guys see that viral clip of Matt Walsh? He was yes. um, on Dr. Yes. Phil explaining <laughs> yeah. to like these what is a like, woman trans people. Uh, They're like, nightmares now. It, it, don't, yeah. Listen, the, there's trans people. Those people were freaks. Let's just be real. The, yeah, the people on there were was, fucking like, freaks. I can't tell if that one is a dude that's a. That's, that's the whole point. Chick or like, chick like, that, that's dude. the whole point of what Neither they were doing. You know, is what this is. Yeah, but I he was saying he was trying to explain to them like these people that like supposedly know so much about like gender and sexuality, they don't actually study study like 
like the, the what the breakdown of your body like the mm, yeah. and he had to point out like your bones are different like if you die and 5000 years later they dig your body up they can tell you're female just on your bones yeah. and that they're not going to use your pronouns shape in the long you bones yeah. yeah you can't hormone that yeah. away no, you we, can't. Uh, we discovered the uh, the remains of a woman here from uh, 21st century uh, Great Britain. Uh, we believe her pronouns are they, them. <laughs> <laughs> All that Ca goes out the window. Cause of death? Uh, there's something stuck inside her that we can't <laughs> Self-inflicted. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's huge within the, that community. Mm. Yeah. 42%. Absolutely massive. Good clip. Let's see if I can find it. Before even and af after. Even after. Uh, yeah. Even yes. After before and after. 42%. Yep. Uh, did, didn't they say they got traumatized by the by the clip too? Yeah. They said that they're having nightmares and stuff like that. Oh, but, no. Uh, you know what's sad though is that they kind of skipped over one of the key things that Matt said. He says, if if this is how you feel, I am not here to try and, and, and change that. Right. It's like you feel however it is you want to feel. But it's when you try to come in and tell me and other people that we yep. need to be a part of this 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 delusion or, or this self perception that is not based in science, that is not based in reality. That is when it becomes a problem. And I think that that is, again, if you know, be who you want to be. But you can't expect other people to accept that if it's not based in. You can't actual expect everybody reality. to did you, accept that. Not everybody's going to respond. What they do is they they do expect everyone South to accept Park, it. Did you see uh, Matt's yeah. response yeah. though to the to the tweet about the advert, the nightmares? Yeah. Mm, that is. But, oh, what did he say? You should probably I got play the it. Clip. Yeah. yeah, if you got a clip, you should probably play it. He just he responds phenomenally to it. Mm -hmm. Basically, if the truth is traumatizing, maybe it's something you need to hear. Yeah, maybe, maybe, it's, uh, maybe it's a yep. bit about you. Yep. yep. All right, here we go. So this is from Dr. the actual. Doctor Phil's gonna wait, cuck wait, us. wait, wait, wait. Oh, he might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ah! So no, you you want to find the one that Matt Walsh specifically did? Yeah, because he did one outside yeah, he, he did of the response. show. You can go to Twitter yeah. and see it, but he basically he, yeah he says you, you're you know you're, you're not being fair basically to women. You're taking things away from yep. women and their yeah. agency. Remember when uh, female agency was such a big thing but this was just a couple of years ago during the me two times up era right. not anymore. Sudden, that got erased and not talked about at all I, I got it gary i got it remember when we we, we cared about female athletes title like, nine what? all that stuff yeah. right yeah you'd be wrong about everything you say what's more i think you're narcissists and bullies i think you don't give a damn about anybody or anything but yourselves Tell him, Matt. I think you advocate for opening up bathrooms and sports teams because, from your perspective, Don't the rape, you. trauma, and abuse that happens as a result is worth it. As long as your ideology wins the day mm. and your self perceptions are reinforced, because that's all you care about. I think you represent something that is not only anti scientific and irrational, but evil. And I think you have evil intentions. I think you're bad people. And I think that you are neither correct nor well meaning. Mm. Wow. And if one person in the whole world, in your whole life, saying this to you causes you to spiral into depression and be plagued by nightmares, wow. maybe that should clue you in. Ooh. It sounds like your conscience is trying to tell you something. Wow. You see, people scream at me every day, and they say the most horrible things about myself and my family. I encounter more outright hostility in a day than you have in your whole life. I wow. guarantee you that. I, don't, I didn't have the audience clapping for me. You do. And yet I've slept like a baby every night since that taping. That's because I know I'm standing in the truth, not just factually, but morally. But you don't have the same self-assurance. Wow. Well, then maybe you should look within yourself. That's Ooh. all you ever do anyway. You're constantly staring back into yourself, shouting into the cavern of your own ego, listening wow. to the echo. Well, while you're in there, maybe try a bit of actual introspection. It might serve you well. I need I need to see fire emojis in the chat right now. That was that was fire. I was savage. That was I respect I don't agree with that guy on on everything, but I respect him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, oh, I, I, I think on on this on this uh, topic, I think he's absolutely spot on. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like, there is a lot of bad that, faith. 
when yeah Man. why is it that like what happened to girl power now it's like mentally ill dudes are coming before women the, those yeah. people mm -hmm. the people that he was on there with refused to even define the term woman yeah. they because couldn't, they, they, Ryan, they couldn't define it they didn't because they're whole to. they, they can that's the thing down. they can define it they won't because they realize that if as soon as you do they lose. actually start using definitions mm. you've lost yeah. I mean, because it's continuing to evolve everybody's always changing their fucking mind they won't fit everybody into wherever it's it is fucking insanity look at that fire that's what look it is look at that fire yeah. all the fire, fire. And, and, and all the fire i can tell you just that anecdotally Man. that uh within you know, the LGBTQ plus community, they're not all aligned on this. By the way, there's no. a lot of people who agree with with Matt. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of people who do uh, that, that. You know, and again, it's 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 what they'll come back is you don't want me to exist. No, nobody's ever no, fucking Jesus said Christ. that. So dramatic. Yeah, it's such bullshit. You exist. You exist. It's fine. Yeah. But we're asking. You know, it's 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 like I told my son. I've told the story before. So sorry, but I I told my autistic son. That, you know, you can't expect the world to bend to you. Uh, mm. You know, it, it's, it's going to be harder for him in certain situations, and he's going to have to adapt. It's going to be harder for him uh, than, than some other people. And uh, he understands that. And, you, and I had mm -hmm. to tell it to him young, and it sucked. But that's, uh, you know, and it's, it's simple as uh, I, I'm a recovering alcoholic. That, that's like me. Every time I walk by a bar, it needs to fucking close. It needs to close mm -hmm. every time. I walk, every time you got a doobie and you're smoking it, I walk by. You got to put it out. Mm -hmm. I, yep. That's you're not right. how life is. Yeah, Fuck that's it. exactly what yeah. that would be like. Is Gary mm -hmm. doing that? that same Gary's whole rant that Matt Walsh. Yeah. That yeah. Matt Walsh just had that same rant applies to so many different people in our current society yeah. right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. not just you know LGBT. It's everybody. Okay, everybody needs to self reflect on themselves and try not to be so selfish. That's and it. have everybody been to your will? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one, so one swimmer who couldn't ma mm -hmm. couldn't make it with the dudes wants to go make it somewhere else to get accolades, and it yep. fucks Stop over it. an entire class, an yeah. entire school year. Uh, some girl who got there on a scholarship gets fucked over because of feelings, because we're worried about like offending somebody. It's yep. world records. Yeah. Are Even Jenner broken. has come out and said that that's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Wow. <laughs> Uh, it's selfish. You know, and, and that just it, all it hurts is women. Yeah, mm -hmm. all this bullshit about about trying to look after women and and it's it's all it's all no, yeah, it's they all don't fucking care. Bullshit. They don't care. Yeah, not one bit. Um, there is there's going to be generations of like those girls who were in the, that swimming meet. They have fucking worked their ass off to be as good as they could for their collegiate team. Uh, to be as 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 fit as ready. Uh, for mm -hmm. these competitions as they could be. And then they, you just get, uh, what is a dude? You just get a fucking dude go, yeah. see you later, girls. And you got a and, limited and, and, time, and, and, a limited time where yeah. you can do that yep. in your mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And it's getting and stripped is, away from these women. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that, could, that could lead to potential uh, monetary earnings for them in the future. Oh, yeah. You oh, yeah. Know? Scholarship. There was a girls from five years ago who uh, like like I remember she 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 came out like and got attacked so much, but she was a runner and yeah, she yeah, was she was coming up. At, I think she did a video for Prager U actually at one point, and it was like she just broke it down saying that the two spots that that she would have qualified for she could she did not, and that qualification would have led her to the next level and would have led to opportunities. And again, yeah, imagine that you've worked your entire life for that, and then all of a sudden you have biological men competing against you, and it's not even That's close. Sad, yeah. Just make a third bracket. Yeah, separated. figure something out. Yeah. Hey, there's, yeah. there's a solution out there somewhere. I'm saying you somewhere. can't compete. Uh, and I bet if you made a third category, the these uh It's not validating not that you don't believe yeah. that I'm they really not, a woman. It's not, it's not fun for yeah. them anymore because they can't kick as many asses. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? You but, can't but, just but, fucking, you but, can't just take steroids and play, right? You can't yeah. do some things and <laughs> yeah. fucking compete, right? You can't just have balls and play. <laughs> but you know, the, but thing is, true. the thing is that people have got to turn around and start saying, you're not. Now, I, I fully respect mm -hmm. that this is how you feel and mm -hmm. this is how you identify. And that's, you know, I have all the, again, I have to keep saying this, all the sympathy under the, in the world for that. But you are not <laughs> biologically that sex. And that's just something you're going to have to come to terms with. Not everyone else. You yeah. are. 
Caitlyn and now Jenner. you can identify as, as long as you want. Like, yeah. That's great. I don't care. It doesn't hurt anyone, that. Mm -hmm. This physically hurts people. Financially hurts people. This mentally hurts people. Other people other than you. You, you can't push that onto others for your own selfishness. But people uh, have got to grow some fucking balls and start saying that stuff. Yeah. Well, That's be careful with the phrasing there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Caitlyn <laughs> Jenner has come out and said, listen, I, I went through this process, right? But I, even though I'm on hormones, even though all this stuff, I can go out there and I can drive a golf ball 100 yards further than any other woman that's on the golf course mm -hmm. because reasons, because I was born a certain way, regardless of how I feel. And it's the same thing for these college athletes, professional athletes, whatever it is. Just because you've ta you're taking hormones, if you're on steroids for 20 fucking years of your life, if you've gone through puberty, it's, it's effectively like being on steroids and performance enhancing drugs and then just stepping in somewhere. And it, there is no semblance of a level playing field when it comes to that. How How is this an argument? Feminist groups, left wing groups. How is this even a fucking argument? They're destroying women's sports. Yeah. By letting this happen. Yeah, the but thing, because of yeah. ideology, because you're too fucking yeah, where are you at? You refuse to say anything. Where's Title Nine? It doesn't matter. It's all about the activism. Title Nine, yeah. Title Nine. They spent all that Title fucking nine. time doing this shit, and it's just it's crumbling down. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's it's gonna end up costing the universities money good for that fucking good. You brought it on yourselves, you fucking mm -hmm. morons. And again, this is all activists. They they are all just, you know, gaslighting, churning this shit up. And if they change it, great. If they destroy it, even better. Because that's their goal, is to destroy everything. That's why they have infiltrated everything. Uh, Do you think people are going to turn up when this get, if this gets more widespread? People are going to turn up and buy tickets to watch the fucking Olympics? Hmm. No. Of course they're not. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna go, fuck this, this is a joke. Yeah. This has become a fucking joke. Yeah. Uh, Patrick <laughs> People M. need, there's got to be courage. Get some fucking courage, people. Get some fucking yep. courage. Oh, yeah, though so much, so much of this is run by pure fear like, from fucking COVID on down. It's just people afraid to look bad on social media. Somebody might call me a bad word. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? I'm tired of living in this ridiculous fucking world where everybody's just worried about being offended or looking bad. Look bad once in a while. It, it you know what? It won't kill you. It won't stop that ass. Look Dude, bad once in a while. Stop being so fucking I can't, sexy. I can't. Stop I can't. being so it's sexy. It's an impossibility, Jeremy. <laughs> Patrick M for fifty euros. <laughs> Almost your money. Not proper money, but you not know. proper money, but it's more proper than ours. So uh, <laughs> you're all just awesome. No Friday without Friday Night Tights. The culture war is real, and you're the tip of the spear. Keep on fighting the good fight and stay real. Together, we can make a difference. Hail to the fellowship. Hail Friday Night Tights. Hail to you, Patrick. Thank you very much. <laughs> Want to share something there, Az? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit. No, hold on. Wait. I did have it. Hold close on. Close the porn tabs. Yeah. No, I didn't. Close, close tabs, um, close tabs. I got big fucking titties everywhere. No, that's the big one. There we go. Okay, I'm ready. Yes. That is yes. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Friday night time is coming to doge it up for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Mikey Gussler's in the house for fifty dollars. We love oh, Mikey. Mikey. Hey, Mikey. 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 We love Mikey. I fucking love Mikey. Uh, I saw you talking about him, Jeremy, the other day, and yeah, his passion is second to none. Yeah, and that's it's a classic example. Here. Like, because I mean, Mikey always supports this, and he had a disagreement with me, in which we we frequently disagree on Snyder's DCEU, and that's fine. Mikey is passionate; he's as passionate of a fan as you will find, and that right there, I respect that above all. He's passionate, yeah. loves what he loves. He respects when people don't have the same take, but he's also going to challenge you on that, mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So, shout out to Mikey Gusler. Uh, Mikey Gussler for fifty dollars says, "Look up Jay Longbone's Twitter. Uh, she has a clip from Peacemaker. If you haven't hey, seen okay. it, the, uh, Jay Longbone's awesome, by the way. And Jay uh, Longbone's yeah, and uh, 
she sent me something, and thank you. I'm just going to say that. Um, it should tell you everything about the show. The, uh, think James listened to Grace. Uh, oh, God, yeah, I've, I've seen the show. Uh, also, don't forget. Oh, I won't forget your super chats from the Nooner. I promise. Uh, and Jeremy, take the L. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse. <laughs> <laughs> take the L, Jeremy. Um, I, I can't pull anything up from Warner Brothers, Mikey. Uh, yeah, they'll they'll hit down. it. Um, yeah, still, they'll hit it. I, the thing I see is the clip from the very beginning where he's yeah. arguing with the janitor yeah. and like mm. trying to prove he's not racist. Yeah, that that whatever. And he's like, "Fine, if you want me, I'll, I'll kill more white people next time." Is yeah. that okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, when I see people committing crimes, you know, what? He's, oh, you're going to think, are you saying there's more black people that commit crimes? Yeah. That whole thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, the statistics. I, yeah. Listen, uh, who's seen Peacemaker here? You've seen it, Ryan, right? Uh, I've seen the first episode. I saw the first three episodes. Yeah. The first two. Yeah. It's, um, it's not very good. It, it, no. it yeah. contradicts the character from the movie almost immediately. Yeah. And it makes him a dumb, it makes him an idiot. It's a clown. Uh, yeah. A clown. He's a fucking clown. And the humor is just so sophomoric, like the, the yeah. not smart kind. Like it's just there's nothing really funny at all about the show, well, especially the first episode. It's yeah. there's five million fucks in the first episode alone, and it's like, okay, does every character talk this way? It's they yeah. all say fuck every two words. James not everyone's, Gunn, right. everyone's got when, the same voice. When James, yeah, it, that you're absolutely right there. Yeah, uh, that. Uh, James Gunn, when he's good, he's able to take characters you normally wouldn't care about, and you care about him. He's good at like with with heart. That's I thought the Suicide Squad had heart. This does not have heart. This this Mm-mm. this feels a lot more it's like terrible. super. Um, yeah, and it's it's not as best yeah, work at all. Super was good though. I mean, this I, this show is trash. I think there's an audience for it, uh, like of people that like that shit. Yeah, uh, I, I do think there is that out there, that really goofy, dumb shit. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it it's like they it's like they took his character from the Suicide Squad because he was kind of like there was a couple things where he was kind of dumb uh, or goofy. They in turned it turned that it was, to 11. They, they dialed the it up. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, kind of so like hard. to me what I feel like it feels like is after Guardians 1, what they did with Guardians 2. Yes. And it's like, yeah. oh, people really like these couple certain aspects from Guardians 1, let's just do that a million times in Guardians yeah. 2. Yeah, uh, it, it's missing, and it lost its magic. Missing the point. Yeah. yeah, it was the subtlety of it that worked in Guardians yeah. 3, uh, or Guardians first. And that Guardians. was what was great about this in Guardians 2 were the more subtle parts, were the character moments between Peter Quill. You know, it's like, that's what we liked about it. You took the things that we kind of like enjoyed a little bit and just went way too high with it. Yep. Like, totally well, I like Guardians too. I, I love Guardians. I like it. I like the last it's nowhere half of near as good as yeah. the first movie. Oh no, it, yeah. it wasn't as good as the first one. But the first one was top tier MCU yeah, for yeah. me yep. until uh, until Infinity War, I believe. Yeah, Infinity War. So, um, not gonna argue with that. Uh, but it's been shit pretty much since then. And Endgame <laughs> really there. fucking sucks. Uh. So let's get back to uh, and uh, yeah, we got you. Thank you, Mikey Gussler. Uh, did you guys see Getter Gab exchange on Timcast? And do you think this is yes. getting uh, going to be yep. the end for Getter? Yes, I did. I deleted my account. I'm fucking yeah. done. I'm done with all of this peripheral shit. I'm done. I'm just fucking done. I'm going to be on Twitter till I'm not on Twitter anymore. And I'll use the com. I'll use the community section on YouTube or something like that. But I'm like, I'm done. Uh, I-, I rumble reached out to me I, like i like jeremy's video today rumble reached out to me i'll probably ch- check in with them at some point but um honestly i'm gonna focus on my website that's what i'm gonna focus yep. on fuck yeah, all this other shit that's the best bet man it seems like every time i go somewhere it's like oh well it's fucking run by uh communist china or some shit like that so i'm yeah. done <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fucking done. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. They, they do the opposite I, of what they say yeah yeah, yeah. i mean I, I i made that video i'm not doing anything on getter for now like and i've been asking these fuckers first i I guess if i tell them nick fuentes is running the geeks and gamers account they'll do something about it other than that they don't (laughs) give a fuck you know but um yeah i'm not gonna be on that platform anymore that that post i made is the last one i'll make until they can actually fix my shit but um yeah yeah, I, i agree with gary though i mean i'm gonna we are gonna do stuff with rumble um 
it's really nice when when some of these platforms will reach out. But even like when, when we got on locals and yeah, I mean we're still on locals, but we have we like we have a membership on the website. We're just overextending ourselves in a lot of ways because yeah. we all have a lot to do. And mm. and Gary's always kind of kept that consolidated uh, I, idea, in it, and it is Twitter sucks, but so does Getter. <laughs> Getter yeah. just sucks but, for a different re- amount of reasons. Go ahead. Well, Ryan. it actually sucks for the same reasons. If I, Getter is right wing Twitter, and what I mean by that is it has basically the same terms and conditions that Twitter does. Mm-hmm. It's still going to ban you for quote unquote hate speech because yep. guess what? To stay on an app in the fucking Google App Store or Apple iTunes, they're actually you have worse to than do Twitter. That. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stop! Yeah. Just let me fucking talk. Uh, so they're gonna <laughs> ban people for so, quote unquote hate speech, right? What they're going to allow you to do on Getter is things like talk about election integrity, uh, talk about booster shots, talk about COVID. Those things you're not going to get censored for in the same way that you are on Twitter. They're still going to ban problematic people because they feel like, oh, well, we have to or else we'll get kicked out that store because of those things. That's still going to happen. For the, there are people out there that I feel like are just saying don't use Getter because of that. And they're using their Twitter account to say it. The fucking irony of that. Guess what? It has basically all the same rules that Twitter does and that YouTube does, that Instagram does, that all these other things do. <clears throat> that It is not a free speech platform. It's not because they're going to fucking ban quote unquote hate speech, which is fake. I think Nick Fuentes should be on everything. I think Alex Jones should be able to be on everything. I think everyone should be able to be on every platform because words don't fucking offend me and they don't offend 99% of other people in the world. But... Yeah. At the same time, I think a lot of the blowback is is, is kind of laughable. People saying, like, get off of Getter while using Twitter. It's nuts to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, like, say- like the whole thing is like, oh, there are silence and people. There's so, like, uh, you need to stand up for silence and people. Because I have people in my comments saying, Jeremy, why are you taking a stand now? They're deplatforming people. Why aren't you still on the platform? I'm like, motherfucker, you're on a goddamn Google account right now yeah. telling me that I need to take a stand uh, of because <laughs> other people have been deplatformed from your fucking iPhone. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Like, yeah. I'm there because it's affecting me and my business. So, yes, I'm going to call them out. Go ahead, Odin. Mm-hmm. No, I was just going to say, like, when you compare the two interviews, like, it's just no contest. Like, you look at the the tour of an interview and he's just like, hey, here's what here's what our issues like. Here's what, you know, our, our terms and service are. Let me read it for you right now. And then they had questions, same thing. And he had good responses to them. And he's even admitting he's like, hey, I'm not perfect. Whereas I feel that the issue with Getter was that they try to fight every single criticism whereas Torva was like no I think that you're bringing up a good point right and and yeah. so I, I think that's like the big thing which is why for I, me you know Gavin Mines I think are probably the best if you're looking for like actual free speech alternatives I think that those yeah. are right now yeah. uh, the best that actually protect the vast majority of you know free because you know obviously they all have caveats like with with Gab personally this is something I'm in favor of right they don't allow pornography on on Gab right they don't allow anything of course that violates you know the constitution which I think is is very sensible sensible um mine's a little is actually even more open than even just that Mm -hmm. but yeah it's really going to come down to like where you want to go because yeah i feel like sometimes we get just get so spread out because it's like oh well now there's this new one now there's this new one go here go here and it's like go wherever it is that makes you happy and you know i will try to offer as many alternatives as i possibly can that's how we used the internet in the beginning where you liked yeah. everything to, just to explain why i deleted the account it's like it's another thing for me to do i'm already on mines mm-hmm. yeah so you can go see me on mines that's that's the other place i'm gonna go i'm not gonna go uh to fucking gab or any of that shit because and i'll just be repeating what i say on twitter so it'll be for, for people who aren't on twitter i'm just gonna say the same fucking thing over on mines because yep. i don't have a ton of fucking time i also I, say it yeah. all here on youtube which as jeremy said is a Google-owned fucking company. So, yeah, uh, yeah. But, yeah. but we yeah, are here. Like, but so, that's the thing, yeah. and people that are like, yeah. I don't like that Rumble has these. We're using YouTube. Like, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Hey, and we're trying to we're to trying it. to use it as as smartly as possible to stay on here while still, you know, saying things they're probably not going to love all the time. Yeah. But we're, well, I'm, well, not gonna, where, I'm not going to be belligerent about it to to not be here. Because we can't all be salty. We love salty cracker, okay? But we can't Damn all right. be salty, yeah. and our and our following's going to go over there with us, and yeah. uh, and hail salty and hail salty army. But uh, like, Hell I'll, I'll yeah. try to do it as subtly as possible to stay here because we need to be here. We need more of you here, and you know, I've talked to somebody 
at, at YouTube now, and it could be total bullshit, but I've got this partner manager thing, as has had one for a while, and uh, they don't have a problem with generally what we do most of the time. At least that's what they say. I don't know. Sorry, Jeremy. Go ahead. Nice. No, no, I was going to say the thing with Jason Miller is he, he Tim Pool completely exposed him, completely exposed yeah. him. All he had to say, thing. stop talking to people like they're fucking stupid. OK, mm -hmm. you are following the rules of big tech so you can stay on their platform to utilize their platform to build your platform. That's all he had to say. That's all he yeah. had to say. Nick Fuentes brings me too much heat and I can't have him on platform because of the optics involved. Fucking say it. Quit Just acting like you're better yeah. than other people. Yeah. Everybody knows that's why you did yeah. it, but you want to sit there and bullshit your way through it. Thankfully, Tim Pool, Tim Pool held you accountable, and you got checked, and it was beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's all he had to do was just be real. But don't qu quit acting like you're better than other people, you but know. And that's the biggest problem with it all. Go ahead. The, the crazy thing you can is, interrupt, but I, you can interrupt. Go ahead, <laughs> motherfucker. I stopped. I stopped. So the, the crazy thing is, if he had said that to Tim Pool, he could have looked at Tim and said the same thing. Like Tim censors himself. Tim dances around things. Tim does the same yeah. exact thing to stay on YouTube, a big tech platform. Like, yep, that's what we all it's do. It's not crazy. It's, it's the battleground. We yeah. actually everyone is doing. But for yeah. some reason, these like battle lines are being drawn by a lot of people because they're upset about people that are involved yeah. or whatever. Look, like that's look. All, at the end of the day, I think anybody should be able to use whatever platform you want, whether yeah. it's Getter, Gab, Mines, whatever. But look, yeah. the the culture war battleground is in their court. We've allowed them to take over all these huge mm -hmm. platforms. So we have to be there to fight them there, to, to laugh at them yeah. in their face. Because if we go to Mines, I love Mines. It's, I love the community over there. They're super nice. But that's the problem is that it's really nice. It's like I'm going home over at Mines and hanging out with nice people. But I got to be in the shit and fighting people. And making fun yeah. of them and calling their shit out. And you can't do that over in Mines. You can do that True. on Twitter because that's and, where they are. And it's easy to be of, of the in that position if you get booted from YouTube or Twitter and you're going to be salty about it. And you're going to be like, yeah. come on, everybody, come over here. Because it's like, okay, well, now you're out of this room. And so you're going to try to be like, well, now come to the places that I'm now only allowed in. And that's like not really realistic. But I think with some of these uh, higher profile people like a you know joe rogan or marjorie taylor mm -hmm. green like oh i i got kicked off the city come over here now and it's I, that can be confusing to people and i'm mm -hmm. i agree with all you guys like stay on everything for as long as you can can for yes. as long as you can as much as you can manage you know don't like overwhelm yourself too mm -hmm. much don't feel like you, you, it's impossible to be on everything that's why it's like i'm not on tiktok because i'm not a fucking 13 year old yeah. girl and if you don't want to be on <laughs> if you don't want to be on those platforms don't be on the pl platform 100 percent. we're on those platforms because we have like that's what we do we do that we, we start I, I spend more time on twitter because because it connects me with the majority of our it's the easiest way to connect to the people that follow us and so we can get feedback it, it's the, I, I hate twitter in terms of the business of it but like it's the most connection you have to the people that support us it, it's just yep. easy it's the easiest method of communication and that's what we are focused on more than anything but like andrew torbo i think he kind of won me over because I listened to him finally because he's a fucking idiot on social media mm -hmm. with his Gab account arguing with the quartering from Gab.com, which is L not a While good locking look. replies, yeah. a while free speech platform replies. that locks replies yeah. to their but, Twitter account. Yeah. Yeah. But I listened to him, and I actually think the guy is legit. Like he's mm -hmm. He knows what he's doing. I'm on Gab. I think Gab is probably the one that's going to survive the longest <laughs> because Gab has of been how through he's a lot. built it. Yeah. yeah, Gab has been through a lot already. They've already been through a lot of controversies as far as people trying to completely take them down. So I do think it's safe to say since they've made it this far, like that, that, that they will stick around for a long time. Yeah, 100%. It's too bad what happened to Parler. You know, that, that yeah. whole collusion thing. I was fucking nuts mm -hmm. against the law and all that shit, but they're just going to go ahead and do it. Uh, and you know, that's, I, the only reason I keep my account there is so I can see what Alex Jones is saying. That's about it. <laughs> uh, here we go. We got some soups. Uh, before I get going, we're at four hours. Does anybody need to go right here? I got, we'll get the no. fuck out. But okay, I wanted okay, to say I just it. <laughs> it used to be where it's like, okay, well then and then there's a setup, but lately it's been, you know, screw you. Okay, well 
<laughs> anyway, you listen to me. You got, you got, you're, you're working on the background. You listen. I'm working on it. It's a yeah. work in progress. All right. <laughs> I'm the green machine. Me and machine Odin tonight. had a meeting. Me and Odin had a meeting. I had no, I had no criticism for him. I'm like, you're doing a great job. I said, but we gotta talk about your shitty background. Aww. <laughs> Aww. And immediately I was like, I knew it. I knew it had to be. <laughs> Do you know why I brought you here today? Yeah. <laughs> Is it because of, of the of the lack of color? <laughs> I think you know. I think you know. Aww. Anyway, y'all can check me out at OMB Reviews on YouTube and also on Odyssey because I believe in in alt tech. So go check hey. me out over there. Follow me also on Gab and Minds as well. Take it easy, buddy. Uh, you. Much love, everybody. Bye. 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 Thanks for Bye. making us all hungry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that last soup, it was from Jiggy Calzone for 100 Canadian dollars or pesos. 100 Canadian public. pesos. I'm Shout gonna start out to calling Chad for, for sticking with us the yeah, whole time, Chad, man. It's yeah, been yeah, great, man. man. It has been awesome having oh, you. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. The, the, man, I, I've gone on EFAT for 12 hours straight and stuff. So I'll, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> He's You're like, this is rookie number. He's a rookie number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You finishing, you pussies? You finishing now? <laughs> we saw we saw you, Mahler, you beautiful bastard. We saw you in the chat hey. earlier. So oh, hey. We love Mahler. What's up, long man? Yeah. Long. The long man. Long. <laughs> long. We, didn't, <laughs> we didn't talk about we didn't talk about Joss Whedon. Uh who, who said some? Ah, it was uh, who said Ray Fisher is a bad actor, uh, both uh, in life and at actual acting, and um, <laughs> said Gal Gadot uh, English isn't her first language, so she didn't understand the nuance of what he said, which is kind of great. I loved it. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that one sounded a bit strange. <laughs> yeah. This is what a feminist looks like. Uh, it's also what a douche looks like. Yep. No, uh, he, this is right. This is absolutely perfect. I think this that's correct. Right. Yeah, it's perfect. The, be the best part was a tweet that I got killed on by the Snyder fans where I said, Joss Whedon is a terrible human being and Ray Fisher is a terrible actor. And they called me a racist for that. <laughs> wow. I'm like, I said Joss Whedon is a terrible human. I just said Ray Fisher was a bad actor. How am I racist? I called the white guy the horrible human being. What the fuck? That's it's what they were mad like, about, so Jeremy. Yeah. Like, you, it seems, it's to the point that you can't criticize anyone who ticks right boxes. Yes. The whole frost yep. thing. If you criticize me, you're sexist. If you criticize yep. someone who's you know, of a certain race, you're racist. It's, yep. it's unbelievable. Yeah, and and if you and then if you say, hey, well, I liked this person, and they're oh, oh, oh is this your I have a black friend card? Yeah, like, what are you fetishizing oh, them? Yeah, like I mean, you can't win. Freak. And by the way, racists don't have black friends. No, racists don't have black friends. No, racist has a black Wait. friend. <laughs> no, it's just. It, no, dude. The just dude thing, it works. Let me tell you, the, Ryan the, doesn't Ray, have black friends. Ryan has no black friends. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so. The problem with <laughs> Ray Fisher's allegations are that too many people have problems with Joss Whedon. Everybody had a problem with Joss Whedon. Not only did he threaten Ray Fisher's career, he threatened uh, Gal Gadot's career. Uh, ev nearly or everybody on that uh, on Justice League 2017 had problems with Joss Whedon. So it's not fucking racist. Right. It's just Joss Whedon's a fucking asshole. I don't buy for a second his excuse of, oh, he, he could have said anything about Gal Gadot. Like, well, she really didn't quite understand where I was coming from. You know, that's not exactly what I meant to say. No, she doesn't do English good. She she's, too, English good. she's too fucking foreign. She, so I, I wasn't doing anything wrong. It was her. She can't speak English. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> the worst decision yeah really <laughs> dude that the whole interview is crazy but uh but also you know i agree with razor fist there's a point where it's like i kind of like what he, i thought it was funny what he had to say and and if it makes people listen uh i like the snyder cut i did and i'll still like the snyder cut i i not really happy with Zack snyder uh not i don't love joss oh. whedon you could still like the reason joss whedon is getting all this and he's so crushed is this is what happens to you when you cater to one crowd and you alienate 73 million, 80 million Americans. And then when your crowd turns on you, oh, all of a sudden you got no friends because you fucking told everybody else to fuck off and you thought you were better than when you were just being a giant hypocrite. Uh, welcome to reality. And you know what? Uh, Razor Fist mentioned it. He, he kinda, and I do too. I miss the, the cocaine-fueled days of Hollywood. 
where <laughs> dr- directors were assholes and they fucking yeah. yelled at you. And we got good. We got some great art out of it. Uh, it's not illegal to be an asshole. Put her in the nope. movie. I'm banging her. Yep. Okay. <laughs> he made a whole show to fuck whoever the hell he wanted. I mean, you know, and said he was a feminist at the same time. <laughs> never uh, trust well, a male feminist. That's what by the never, way. Never, never, never like. <laughs> trust a, a male, male feminist, feminist. Might as well just say I'm a potential rapist. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. I'm a stalker. Yeah, I, I am don't a know about legitimate it. threat to your body. Uh, <laughs> hey, um, guess who's here? George. George. George! <laughs> Oh, that was good. That was good. Somebody yes. needs to meme that that Shad's look right there. Said at this moment, yeah. I am not aware of this any time at any time. Uh, before we get into that, I, I I usually don't ask this, but uh, don't forget to hit that like button. I think we're almost at eight hundred. Yeah, smash it. Almost at eight thousand. Oh, eight thousand. Sorry. On my end. Eight, that, on, on my end. Yeah. Seventy-eight sixty-four. Seventy-eight sixty-four. So. Uh, oh, I said yes. Yeah, yeah, eight. Lick and, and the like button. George just announced he's doing a Boba Fett fan yeah. film. That's right. Which is going to be amazing. Say what? So yeah, yeah. He yeah. talked about it in one of his more recent videos. Talked about it on Tuesday night's main event. So George, I, and, I got uh, a suggestion. I'm just going to throw it out there. I got a suggestion for you. You could do a Boba Fett fan film, and that's fine. But if you really want to play them at their own game, create a brand new bounty hunter in the same Star Wars universe and beat them at their own game with a new fucking character. That's cool. That's a good idea. Yeah, I've uh, that's my philosophy on all fan stuff. I think it's fun, but I think if you did something original, you could make money off it for one. That's why I told him. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I told him do something original that way he can actually profit from it. But if he's mm-hmm. like, but if he's I, out I there think to, his, his, he wants to send but, a message to yeah, Disney. Yeah. That that make, about the, yeah. yeah, that's what, that's, what I, was gonna say. I, that's I think, what I was going I think to he say. Can, Making yeah. money sends a message. <laughs> Yeah, it, it does. It, uh, it oh. does. But I, I mean, like, I understand that he wants to send a message that we can we can do a better. We I can make a better both. I know you could. I fucking know oh, yeah. you could. Uh, <laughs> and if that that's that's what he wants to do, it's free country. But uh, that I don't know that that's it, it's it's sometimes you get especially when the, the they have told us to fuck off. Even if you go and make their thing better, it still kind of helps them. So. Yeah, uh, it, it, that's uh, but I'm oh that's how I always felt about fan stuff from day one before George all this the, it's when people have asked me hey uh, I had Ian's like hey I want to make a you know an original Doctor Who or a Doctor Who fan film I'm like yeah, do something on your own which he was already doing by the way Rebecca Gold mm-hmm. go check it out it's a web series uh, but hey I'll support it no matter what no matter what I'll support yeah. it. Yeah, I think like if you look at what, you know, like Star Wars Theories Vader fan film, which, you know, was incredible and, and did so much for him. And I don't know what his plan would be. You know, I mean, I know he's still working on other stuff, but I'm just saying like if if he wanted to take that moment to create that fan film to kind of establish himself and put a lot of eyes on him, which you already had a lot of eyes on him, then you you establish that and then you could take the next step to creating something original, yeah. you know. So it's about it's about justifying yourself by using the pre existing property, taking the hit financially, but gaining the respect of the fans. And then you can then go, okay, you see what I did with the pre existing property, and everybody knows who I am and what I can do uh, for the fans. Now we're going to create a new character. So there's opportunities to use these pieces of shit uh, by you know like taking their property that they can't do anything with. To connect to the fans that they continue to shit on and then create a brand new character. So I still say use Disney for all you can. Fuck them. Yeah, as long as they don't mess with it. Like George uh, Lucas wouldn't have messed with George. He would have let him do yep. it. Uh, oh, he yeah. loved fan films. Yeah. 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 There's some damn, uh, way back to the first one, Hardware Wars. Does everybody remember oh, Hardware yeah. Wars? Well, I love Hardware Wars. Hardware that was, Wars. That was they, great. They, they showed that to me in elementary school in one of those yep. you know film projectors. They brought it in. We saw. We watched Hardware Wars. Uh, George Molo says, uh, "Hi, Gary. Uh, one constant is true in Hollywood. They are performing. They are perf- 
Uh, they are performance prostitutes, Hollywood <laughs> harlots who'd sell their mothers for a national billboard campaign. This is all true, by the way. A soapbox to rant from and a chance to give children a piece of poisonous pop culture candy. <laughs> Number two for two hundred dollars, George. Dude, okay, I gotta do this right, George. George. <laughs> George. <laughs> my neighbors, by the way. Um, the sleeper reaper, cell. Reaper, reaper, underlay. Uh, <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Uh, the sleeper cell agent at Lucasfilm for the National Organization of Women has Rianne Johnson. Our expectations again. Kathleen has no problem producing crap because she spent years as a porn hub fluffer, tasting worse <laughs> things than a mouth full of clap. Whoa! Whoa. Damn! Bringing it. Incidentally, I was uh, I watched this really long trailer for the Close Encounters of the Third Kind. They, where the, it's it's one it's one of the trailers where they present to the uh, to theaters. So it's it's an original trailer mixed in with some interviews and stuff. And you got like this really young Steven Spielberg when he was still like a human being, trying, you know, yeah. yeah, still trying. <laughs> Like before he went to Bohemian Grove and sacrificed something to Moloch and all that, he was, you know, his talent still believed in UFOs. Uh, yeah, it was so cool to see. Oh, man. It's so long ago. I forgot that came out the same year as Star Wars Close Encounters. Fucking great wow. movie, by the way. Great fucking movie. Um, all see, I only I watched Close Encounters recently because uh, I've never, I didn't see it for him. Ah, I okay. didn't like it. That's my hot take. I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, 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 is this fine yeah. words? No, no, it's all right. I it's, think it's fine. It's, it's, it's a I, movie I that was made massive. in 1977. So yeah. it's very of its time. It's very. I think it's a great first contact. I fucking movie. love it, dude. It, I think it's the best UFO movie ever. I, look, made. I have biased special reasons for not liking great, it. Too. Yeah, special effects were great, and you know it's an interesting thing about the whole close encounters. I just couldn't stand that there was this father who basically the process of the movie is him losing his mind, and then he decides to abandon his family at the end to go off with the aliens. That's, like, that's true. What? <laughs> That is kind of fucked up. Touche. I will agree with that. That is kind of that fucked up. That is a up. horrible father story. Yeah. It's <laughs> the, I, I, I have a, a stronger personal reaction when I see, you know, like father figures did agree or doing the wrong thing. Like, mm. like what they did with uh, Han Solo in uh, uh, Force Awakens. It's just like he becomes yeah. a deadbeat dad who abandoned his family. And I was like, oh, yeah. oh dude. Yes. Indiana, Indiana, I, like, the Indiana fact that there Jones. wasn't more outrage over that is mm. – fucking ridiculous it's like i think the death of han solo distracted people they were more focused on that and they weren't thinking about what they did earlier in the i was film, just as mad about earlier. that than fucking yeah. luke I, as a matter of fact i i might be a little more mad about that than about luke yeah. and then they did it with indiana jones he was an absentee father and then they did it to him in fucking blade runner too oh, oh yeah so dude, dude, right. they they indiana doing jones he didn't know he didn't yeah, know because they failed on fucking that. Marion. They That's why. <laughs> so, but they yeah, become man. these characters because they shoehorn in the, the children decades later. So because they've already had the, the triumph of the originals and they haven't been there, you, you're, you're forcing this horrible aspect onto your main character. Okay. I'll they give Indiana just one thing. His kid was Shia LaBeouf. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was like a father to Short Round. Hey. Remember that? Remember Short no Round? No time for love, yeah, Dr. Jones. Okay. No uh, time for love. Patrick, you're you're going to have to start doing the impressions of Short Round because yeah, we are. just get cancelled for it. Okay, <laughs> I can't do it. I don't know who that is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Oh well, that's just racist. Isn't oh, it? He's one of you. Okay. Uh, X-Ray Girl. You need to watch all the Indiana Jones movies. All the all three oh, Indiana that's Jones movies. Work. Yeah, there's only, yeah. there's, there's, work. Let me is repeat it, myself. It there's Was only he three. Yankees hat? Yes. We yeah. need to get yeah, yeah. X-ray girl a Yankees hat to wear. We do. <laughs> uh, but X-ray girl to to work at Nerdrotic, you need to watch the only existing Indiana Jones films. There's three of them. It's called <laughs> Raiders of the a, Lost I don't Ark. Have a Yankees hat, Temple but. of Doom. I actually have one at home. Ah. Oh. So the and Yankees hat crusade. and then the wooden boxes on your feet. Is there any other movies you haven't seen that I need to know about? Have you seen Blazing Saddles? 
Have you seen no, Young Frankenstein? You gotta see Blazing oh, Saddles. Come on. I'm gonna give you my top ten list. You gotta watch them all. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah, homework. Yeah, homework. Next week. <laughs> I literally own three copies of Blazing Saddles. Yeah. <laughs> Only. Wow. Marcus probably tried to get me to watch some of these movies, but there's just so much out there. Yeah. And we've and watched it all. Top. This is why we're <laughs> nerds. Uh, um, yeah. uh, George is, uh, we're back to George's Super Chats for $200. George! George! All hail the culture of cowboys campaigning against toxic fembots, cuck kings like Smith and a Babylon pimp known as Kathleen Kennedy. So go forth, ye knights of old, and lay them low with the steel of your crisp cool ridicule all hail to the amazing panel with true grit all hail friday night tights he's a writer man. Wow, he's a writer he's a, he's a linguist. thank you george yeah uh so apparently getter watches friday night tights because uh one of the co-founders just reached out to me told me they're going to deal with my issue so hey <laughs> oh great i de- hey i Good job, I, I deleted the my power account. The, just, the power of Friday night my, tights. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you're the power of Friday night tights, but you already lost some of them. Oh, well. So that's the power of FNT, baby. So we'll see what happens. I just don't mean credit where credit is due. You know, they made a gesture, so we, we let them know that's how good. we feel. So. That's good. That's good. That's good to yeah. reach out. Um, yeah. Uh, well, speaking of reach out, should I? No, I can't say anything. Not yet. Not yet. Mm, uh, as you're going to wear that hat Sunday? You're going to wear that hat Sunday? Mm, yeah. wear that hat Sunday? Let me Hell see. yeah. Let me see. As is going to be on Sports Wars I'd be this Sunday. I'm that hat over the next so. couple of weeks. Let me see if they got <laughs> back to me. Not yet. All right. Once they not, get, this, is my, this is official, baby. Once they get said, back. fuck you, Ryan. Oh. Next, next time I'm <laughs> live, I'll tell you what I'm talking about once they get back to me. By the way, damn I'll it. I'll save it for Sunday. I did this again. Uh, Geek Grind Oops, Coffee for $100. I did this again. Geek Grind. Geek Grind. Geek Grind. Mm. Grind and hail, hail Friday Night Tights crew and oh. bands. We are packing coffee and watching the stream. Hell yeah. That's Thank awesome. you all for your support. Yeah. Smell you. For the new Nerdrotic All Hail Coffee Blend. Have an amazing stream and weekend. Thank you guys, Vamp, for me while I run and get the coffee. That's cool. Hell yeah. All right. So. There you go. Uh, this is what we can about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's two-faced. Oh my god, no. that is two-faced. It's uncanny. He had a stroke. I, 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 feel I don't. Scared. I don't see a diff. I don't see a difference. Uh, <laughs> these are the same, the same picture. Corporate, yeah. corporate says this is the same picture. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh my goodness! Wow. What a disaster that is. Uh, Shad, what do you? So, what do you tell anybody? Tell the whole audience. What do you got going on? Is there anything you want to plug? Any any oh. projects? Anything? You're yeah, here. Right. You're our so, guest. Uh, Night's Watch. Uh, the channel is uh, been around for I can't remember. I can't remember. It might be approaching a year now. But anyway, it's been going great. It's been a really fun outlet for me to be able to address um, things that's happening in pop culture and also uh, where I'm putting all my kind of reviews nowadays and stuff. And if you're interested in medieval history fantasy, we've got uh, Shadowversity. Uh, over there as well, and uh, look, those are the those are the main things happening. I mean, I got all these other projects that I'm working on in the background. You know, I'm trying to build a house on uh, property, the Shadlands, uh, and so that, nice. that's going to be nice. You know, I might that's have to make cool. some vlogs about that. Heck that's gonna yeah, be pretty cool. But moving forward, we're ready to try and submit it to uh, uh, planning and get the because. With a property over a certain size, you don't necessarily need planning, but you still need to just say, hey, we're kind of trying to skip over there. Uh, so there's that. I do want to eventually build castles on it. That's the that's the dream. That's the, Hell that's yeah. The Ooh. That's crazy, um, man. Let yeah. me know if you need a Rapunzel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get, I'll get a bit the hair out. Hey. Several. Let um, down your hi <laughs> And not that hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you can keep not that trimmed. Under, not your underarm hair. Ooh. And uh, I, I have people interested as well. I and mean, I'm an author. I have uh, a fantasy novel out there that you could check out. It's Chronicles of Everfall, Shadow of the Conqueror. Uh, very well, it's an epic fantasy. It's not necessarily classic. It's actually uh, works with a couple of different subversive tropes where the main character is technically the. He's the for, well, not technically. He is the former tyrannical villain. He's like the uh, is the Sauron of the world kind of. Uh, <clears throat> but afterwards, after he was defeated and deposed, and uh, he thinks his life is coming towards an end, but certain events trigger that sets him off on a path towards 
possible redemption. Mm. And if you like a challenging story that uh, some might even consider problematic, but it has all the classic heroic kind of uh, elements in it of uh, all the like, you might might like the novel. So there's something to nice. Check out as well. Good oh stuff. yeah. So, chat, you've heard what, what Shad's got going on, so that's excellent. All right, Gary, you're back. What's up? I'm back. And, uh, yeah, keep me updated on that, Shad, so we can, you know, push that well, out there. Oh, right? yeah, because yeah. there's a short film that's being made on the novel yeah, as well. Yeah. So the novel has done, uh, I, like, extremely good. Um, I, I took out all the stops to make sure uh, I could produce it to the best level possible. And part of that was learning how to friggin' write for over, like, 11 <laughs> years or so because people seem to try and skip that stage and uh-huh. just write garbage, absolute crap. And so I, I did that. But also made sure to produce a quality product and so there's the audiobook you can get on audible it's Ooh. narrated by michael kramer and kate redding two of the best audiobook narrators in the world they did wheel of time they do a lot of brandon sanderson stuff amazing so that's probably yeah. the most entertaining way to absorb the novel um uh, and uh, and uh, People have really liked it. It's got like uh, sitting on like a 4.6 out of five stars. Uh, with, and that's like with sev- thousands upon thousands of ratings. That's the, uh, the, uh, that's awesome. General. And no, so it's doing it's really awesome. well, so well that a small production company in Canada wanted to produce a short film. They did a Kickstarter. We raised hundred thousand dollars, hundred twenty closer, and uh, I went over to Canada and we uh, worked on that. That's it's still in the pipe works. Really exciting stuff. Uh, and so, uh, it's still a bit of work to finish it off. There's a lot of post-production and the effects that need to happen in it. But, oh, boy, that was an amazing experience uh, being part of it, seeing all the effort people put into it. And also it gave me an interesting uh, perspective, a newer perspective on a lot of things in terms of the difficulties, but also ways to try and f- overcome uh, problems and challenges through the filming process. It was really interesting. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Nice. Oh, yeah. Talk. I got to read this now. I know what I'll be doing. Well done. Uh, yeah. It's coffee. Not as exciting. Uh, awesome, though. <laughs> I mean, it's not a story, but this is uh, coffee. All hail uh, yeah, blend. It's this very special blend made by Geek Grind, who actually watch the show. Wow. They watch the show. Mm. They reached out to us. Uh, okay, cool. there, so there won't be any canceling. Uh, yeah, you can't email them and say bad things about Ryan because they are already fans. They, so they yeah. Already, yeah. That's yeah. they already hate him. Yeah. <laughs> We're working on a get fucked blend right now. <laughs> <laughs> Geek grind. When you're ready to to do the UK, I've got an i I've got an idea. I got. They an don't idea. like tea. Hey. <laughs> I'm not talking about tea. I'm not talking about coffee, Ryan. You presumptuous yeah. little imp. All right, <laughs> you drink that shit over there. I don't know. I had I had to drink more tea than I've ever drank in my fucking life when I was when I lost my voice. I never want to drink tea again. It was fucking miserable. Aww. I don't know. How Depends you guys what do tea it. you were drinking. Were you drinking like some shitty like green tea and jings thing and all this flavored crap? No, you want fucking proper Yorkshire tea. That's what you I want. Was, I was drinking. Tea. I was drinking the shit that's supposed to make your throat feel better. You got duped. You were drinking cum. No, <laughs> I was not someone, drinking cum. Someone in the chat asked for Shad clear. to say his na- name of his book one more time so they can yes. get it. That is <laughs> The Chronicles of Everfall, Shadow of the Conqueror. Hell okay. yeah. There we go. Nice. And there the you mods go. are probably linking because the, uh, we have the best mods around. The Mod Rodics. Hail to the Mod Rodics, by the way. They didn't. Oh, how am I supposed to say Robert McDonald for three hundred dollars? Damn! 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 Um, and I don't want to screw this up, but what am I supposed to be saying here, uh, X-ray girl? Machi collation za. Did I get right? Uh, Gary, would you like to know how it's pronounced? Yeah, please. Give you it. Ready? Ready? It's it's pronounced exactly like this. Machiculation! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly how it's written. Yes. yes. <laughs> well performed. I saw that one come in, and I was wondering what Gary was going to do. Uh, <laughs> I would have said, "Girl, can okay. you can you say it like Shad said it? Can you?" Carry. I don't know. <laughs> 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 she made it so 
sounds so Asian. Oh my God. Asian way I've ever heard that pronounced. Talk about trying to lean out of the stereotypes. My goodness. We need to do that way. I would have been completed. I was going to say like my chocolates are. My chocolates are. My family's probably like, what is going on in there? <laughs> They're probably happy you're embracing your culture. Yeah. <laughs> Tradition. They're going, I don't get this. She's Canadian. <laughs> uh, low watermark on the Streamlab side for $50. It says, love the ass rants. New Zealand people are great. <laughs> <laughs> New Zealand people are sorry, Chrissy. There we go. I was, Chrissy's face was getting blocked. Here, I'll block X ray girls. There we go. No, yeah, I'll block X ray girls. No, we'll just put it in the middle. Okay, there. you can block my face. No, no, people will get mad. I'll just talk louder. It's all right. No, you're here for partial objectification, too. I didn't, did I not tell you that? Yeah, I got to keep it clear. <laughs> Part of the job. No, uh, that's my turtleneck. Uh, I will. Well, stop being in such <laughs> cold places. Where are you? Upstate, uh, Upstate New York. New York. Baby. Yeah. Where Ooh. at? Like, um, air, like near, what room number? Near, yeah. near, uh, near Woodstock, where they had the Woodstock, both 99 and 69. 69. I lived in, I lived in Saratoga Springs for like a year. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that. I was born yeah. during Woodstock. <laughs> it was happening story, bro. when I, uh, when I got squirted out. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a heading from the Babylon Bee, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, no, this is going to happen. What this is, is it? This is. Are I, you, I'll show. I'll show. It. Gonna, but I'm this? absolutely convinced that something along these lines is actually going to happen. Uh, Gavin Newsom demands answers from whoever's in charge of California. <laughs> 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 Yeah, oh, did man. you guys not know wow. that uh, all the trains in LA are getting robbed? Oh, so yeah. uh, it, it's oh, uh, all the all the Amazon containers are just getting torn up, and they're just leaving the shit oh, there. Oh God! Wow. He is the wow. yeah, that picture is actually from, from California, California. Yeah, from, that's yeah, from LA. LA. Wow. LA. Yeah, that is America. That is fucking. That is a fucking America. Well, Damn. no, it's California, so it's barely yeah. America anymore. I cannot wait to get the fuck out of here. He is the governor of trash. London Breed is the mayor of poop. Um, K Biz for two hundred and ninety nine ninety nine. Wow! 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 Happy New Year's, you guys rock! Happy New Year to you. It's still the New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. The Chinese New Year. So it's also YouTube payday. So this is why all YouTubers are a little happier today. On you know. Comics Division's platform shoes for $200. Uh, Shad, Comics Division is really short. Like, really <laughs> tiny. Just tiny. Tiny? The tiniest I, I, little guy. Yeah. yeah. So shorter than as? Shorter than as, uh, as. I don't know how tall. As, I've never asked you how tall you, you no are. Idea how I'm tall uh, as as. five foot. Oh, I'm 182. Five foot 11 and a bit. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we're almost about, six yeah. foot. Yeah, yeah, we're about six. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit shorter than six foot. About no, eleven and uh, five, eleven and a half ish. It's about the same height. Uh, and uh, comics division is two foot eleven. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> Hence the booster chair. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yep. When I when when I when his I go, legs are just dangling there. Yeah. The weirdest day of my fucking life when I saw him at the meetup, and I was I I just had this six foot two. He, he, God, he does. He's always so look fucking tall for some reason. <laughs> well, no yeah. idea well, why. Jeremy, it didn't help. I was wearing heels. No, it it's didn't. just the way that you because you used to like. I think it's because yeah. you used to stand. Didn't you stand up a fair bit when you? Yeah, used to, I did. I did. I did. Since the, I had the sit stand desk, I would stand up on occasion. But so I think uh, it just made you kind of have that taller like feel. Imposing. He's standing yeah. up right now. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> on the chair, he's standing on the chair. <laughs> it's weird. Everybody thinks everybody thinks I'm short. Everybody thinks Jeremy's short. I know. I, yeah. when, I saw, when I met Jeremy, I was like, "Holy shit!" You, so I, I thought you would. We're not that tall. Yeah. Well, I was sitting Everybody's next to shot. Jay. So you, you're about what six one? Cool. Jay, what, me? 
No, yeah, you're about six uh, one. Uh, I'm I'm almost six one. So and Jay's like six yeah. four, six five. Yeah, yeah Jay's because Jay's, Jay's yeah. about six four, yeah, and I've seen you next to him, so I thought so I've mm -hmm. kind of worked out that yeah, you're about really six tall. one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So Jay's... Yeah, everybody thinks I'm like five. There, Eric just said it in chat. Thought I was five six. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jay is about. Uh, he's the same height as my oldest son. Yeah, Jay's uh, tall. Jay's tall. Uh, com comics Jay is freaking tall. Platform shoes for two hundred dollars. Says Jeremy said a MAGA hat on Frodo gets you Ryan. But did you know Ron Paul hat a Ron Paul hat on uh, Geico Gecko gets you Comics Division? All hail the vertically <laughs> challenged of Friday Night Tights. Here is to another year of fellowship, laughter, and roasting of our friends. Hashtag Pineapple on Pizza two thousand twenty two. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I can't wait. Pineapple? Hashtag uh, disgusting. Pineapple. Oh, wait, wait, Chad. I ordered. I have already ordered a delicious hot Hawaiian pizza. That is a normal pizza. It's a normal pizza. And then with covered in pineapples. And every time, every time yeah. Gary does this, I feel like I need to order a regular one just to yeah. cover Jalapeno. it. Yeah. It's got it. pineapple, jalapenos, and buffalo sauce. It's like just oh. fire. It's like it's pure it's fire. Like all of the, it's like how I feel about how I was for I was literally forced. I was taxed to make sure I recycle in California. So now that I'm in Florida, I literally do the opposite of recycling. I put my recyclings in the trash. I put the trash in the recycling just to fucking even everything <laughs> back up. Mess wow. with their heads. Yeah. That's what I, I would need rather, to do for Gary's I'm joining, I'm joining, pizza. I'm joining G4 to their 300 viewers. I, I, at least they like pepperoni and hey, not pineapple. I'm uh, done. So. Quarter Black, if you Frost go. Frost looks like she's a pineapple on pizza person. I'm just saying. <laughs> Quarter Black, go <laughs> in. You uh, fucking take that back. She doesn't look like pineapple. I don't know. Every time I, I go into the group chat and pull up the comparison that I put in there. Uh, somebody oh, tweeted yeah. out that compare. Not to flex or anything, but I don't have a 67,000 foot studio. So, well, and yeah. I don't want to burst anyone's bubble, but I mean, they do have like 22,000 people. Yeah, but on that, Twitch. listen, I that ch look, our chat when we have because we pull a couple hundred people on Twitch when we're on Keys Gamers, our chat moves faster than their chat when they yeah. got that many yeah. people watching. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It's it's very very weird. We're pretty sure, <laughs> we're pretty sure they're, we're pretty sure they're botting their Twitch. Yeah. They chat. Are, they, uh, yeah, yeah, Comcast has a partnership with Twitch, so yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they're they got it. a bit of a uh, yeah, yeah, mm. free pass on the getting a Twitch verify and all that stuff. Yeah, because if you got twenty two thousand people in your chat, it's freaking flying. Um, but that's <laughs> what the what is this? It's... <laughs> what is this? That's their X ray girl right like there. Community I'll theater. Tell you exactly this what like this is. This is let's copy Critical Role because we haven't got anything fucking original in us anymore. We are now mm -hmm. instead of trendsetters, we are fucking followers. Okay, critical yeah. role. The D and D thing isn't that like fucking 2016, Damn. 17, 18 shit. Yeah. Any old how it's still yeah. rolling yep. on. It's still yeah. critical role has a cartoon still, show now. They're still uh, raking it in. I want yeah. to. There's still, there's a lot of people that are like asking us to do D and D shit too. There's a lot of people that are into it. Okay, it sucks still. how much that community has been overrun. We talk about you know like yeah. publishing oh, completely overrun. Goodness. D and D is like completely oh. infested, well, yeah, and, and I think that's one of the reasons there's. I think that's one of the reasons there's a lot of demand for it. We always get it at Geeks and Gamers, like because. I think people are so yeah. tired of places like this. We got to do uh, a Chad D and D show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all just based. I, I, yeah, I wanted to apologize to all the like good D and D nerds, the ones that uh, were even too nerdy for me at times in high school. But they got yeah. As soon as the douchey hipsters from L A started uh, fucking playing D and D, it fucked it up. And yep. shit. Mm -hmm. uh, Caligula for one hundred Canadian pesos. Because so the worst part of this all-female empowerment stuff is that it erases women. It's almost like that's the goal. They just act like men uh, when femininity has strength, too. The, t uh, the activists can't define what a woman is. The T-activists can't define what a woman is. Men and women are different, and it's fine. Not to them. Not to them. No, it isn't. But it is fine. Wait, no, no. I mean, it's look, fucking weird that people push homogenization, really. Look, I'm offended that I was not included. <laughs> Se severely. <laughs> <included>. <laughs> yeah. Oh, How dare you? How am I not just the naked chocolate one? 
the fuck? So, <laughs> so <laughs> they're going to make M and M's more inclusive. They're going to add a white one. Uh, it's another hey. white one. <laughs> We're all yeah, chocolate somebody, on the inside. Somebody's like, where's the white one? I'm like, he's too busy working and paying taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Did, oh. No, wait, didn't but M&M's, I, wait, M&M's did black and, or brown and white ones, didn't they? They did. Yeah, yeah. Skittles did I think white. they got canceled. Skittles did the white, but yeah, no, because they're in my, they're in the grocery store I go to on clearance. <laughs> There's a whole fucking shelf of them. Wow, clearance. Yeah, yeah. Disrespect. Clearance uh, M&M's. Do you want some clearance M&M's? Those will be awesome. No. How That's long crazy. do they last? Uh, a while. They melt in your mouth, not on your shelf. Oh, uh-huh. you're good. Well, I agree with the quartering, uh, but I, I do this with Unless all my uh, everything goes in the freezer. Like my chocolate bars, my peanut butter cups, my M and M's. Everything goes right in the freezer. Your wife. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my my hookers, my dead hookers, <laughs> yep. right in the freezer. I keep uh, those heads fresh. Gotta dead keep them fresh. Storage. Look, yeah. I just keep my dead hookers on the floor, like all good people. Oh yeah, that's where that's, that's what Ryan does too. Uh. Then Bob, I can walk all over them. Robert. What? Well, go on, go on. I, I got to show this. Renee just made this real quick. Uh, Fastest me. Uh, <laughs> Mom, can we have Ryan Kennel and X-Ray Girl? Oh, Mom, my God. Can we have Ryan and X-Ray Girl at home? Ryan and X-Ray Girl at home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's really good, Renee. Oh, that's Renee. good one. Well done. Oh, Fastest well, memes in the West. Fastest, fastest memes in the West. <laughs> Uber geek, Renee. Hail. Um, Bobbert, triple O one for one hundred dollars. <laughs> says enjoy your show. He says it's, it's simple. Enjoy your show. Fan of X Ray Girl. Yes. <laughs> She's representing with the Friday Night Tight shirt that you can yeah. still get on mixed tees. By the way, I have Perry make a commercial for that. Yep, that's right. Friday Night Tights shirt available. Mixed tees. <laughs> search for that's a pretty good commercial did right just, there. <laughs> did she just? Did she just? What? I'm she just, she, she did. X Ray okay. Girl just yes. decided that she was going to be easy on the eye for the audience. Yeah. That's what she decided. Yeah. By the true definition, X Ray Girl shook her tits all over our faces. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> or did we shake our faces all over? All your faces were in her Box tits. Ticked. All over. Oh, Way this bunch is of the motor only shirt here. where I have men all over here. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Does it come in underpants? Oh. Wait. I can, I can, arra- I can arrange tees, that. Mixed get I on can it. arrange that. Not wrong. Mixed tees, yeah. Can you drop ship uh, <laughs> panties? Oh, Friday night man. tights, panties. Uh, yeah, we don't do NFTs, but uh, we got FNT. Oh, bad <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, low watermark, which is this show, for $50. <laughs> for Odin. I loved Song for Bernadette. Uh, what song for Bernadette? Does anybody know? That was the movie Catholic he mentioned. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Thanks, As. Uh, <laughs> who snorted? Was that you, As? <laughs> who <fucking> yeah. snorted? <laughs> uh, Bob Dorsey for $100. <laughs> Chad, if it hasn't been done yet, thanks for doing the Wheel of the Time Wheel of Time breakdowns. They were fun to listen to and passed many hours at work and probably very therapeutic, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, that was actually that response in many of the comments that people were finding it cathartic to actually, because what was bizarre, and it goes to show that in terms of the fantasy, you know, communities, what side or where you know how progressive they are and things, very few people were actually calling out the real time show for how astronomically bad it was. And it was bizarre. There were people were expecting these huge wheel of times channels to actually. Uh, call out the the horrible change they're making things, and very few did. Uh, but we got Night's Watch, we, of course we did, and th- we were also shouting out the smaller channels that were doing it as well. Um, uh, uh, Jeremy mentioned one, uh, Disparu, uh, he made some great reviews as well. And, yeah, uh, yep. So there, there were there were some people there, and, the, and that was the reaction because there were so few people doing it when they did eventually find those people who were actually calling out the show as it deserved. They were like, thank goodness, I thought I was losing my mind. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady Grey Master yeah. was, uh, and it's good. I, I just don't think enough people read the book outside, but seeing those big <laughs> Wheel of Time channels, fucking shills. They're fucking shills because I, I, I checked in on it just because I'm curious about Lord of the Rings. And as you said, it was a big time canary in the coal mine and uh, confirmed everything. I, I've been emailed a couple of things. Like I, I've said this before and I'll say it in my video. I, um, I got emailed from a perfect, you know, total stranger who I've never met uh, who said they worked on it. Uh, showed me a couple of credentials. Those can be totally fake. Thanks for the email who insisted, and I mean multiple emails, insisted that there's going going to be LGBTQ plus representation in Lord of the Rings, which is going to be yeah. just a total shit show. It's going to be a total shit show. And um, before anybody gets uh, pissed off, I'm just talking about one story here. We're talking specifically about one story where there was no LGBTQ plus representation, and I don't think it necessarily needs to. No, I know it doesn't need to be in everything. It doesn't. It just does, doesn't mean you hate uh, the LGBTQ community. It just means, you know what? If you're going to spend a bunch of money adapting a story, uh, adapt the story, adapt the fucking story. And doesn't yeah. mean don't add a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, missionary straight sex either. We didn't, nobody wants that. Nobody wants sex yeah. of any kind well, uh, in Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings has this just the, like every story. I usually Writing has gone off the rails nowadays, but if you want to make a good story, you need to understand the type of story you want to make, and you don't need to include everything. If you try and please everyone, it's going to just be a dumpster fire. You need to have a good understanding of what you want to achieve. And in regards to what Lord of the Rings was, it is this kind of classic, heroic, you know, uh, story where the the people, uh, they, they act more noble, more... Uh, and it's this... There is humour in it, but it's not, like, cringy out of the, like break you know, slap you in the face humor or anything like that it has this style that be, that's very distinct and you watch it you know you're immersed in it and part of it was actually it being really wholesome it was like there, there was there was love in it but there wasn't sex or anything like that romance uh, yep yeah and uh, the fact that they want to co-opt it and then inject like i wonder how much sex that they, 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 they will end up injecting into it and things yeah uh, just it shows that they have no they do not understand the story what it's meant to be what it was actually intended like all of that it's yeah. frustrating like the wheel of time channels you were talking about gary i can't wait to see what the lore channels for <laughs> lord of the rings do what are they going to do Ooh. there's uh, some of them i, I, don't, I don't know if it's um not some, understanding some... the stories it's irrelevant the story's irrelevant to them it's it's the, it's the as we've heard gary before it's the platform that's yep. all they're yeah. bothered about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Co-opting the platform and then putting their ideology into that platform. In they don't give a shit about Tolkien. No, they don't give a shit about Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, Return of the King. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't give a shit about any of it. This is just another franchise, another platform that has a following that the propaganda and the ideology can be attached to and, and to fuck everyone, you know, fuck everyone else off. Yeah, uh, and I, and they are too hypocritical because we had Kurtzman last year talking about it's no longer about Star Trek; it's about using Star Trek as a platform for our messages. And then coming out last couple of days and going, "Oh, we are so happy to have secured Star Trek's future for many years to come with all these yeah. wonderful programs that no fucker is watching. No, no one. No, let, no. Them, let them let them waste the fucking money. Yeah, the, well, they're, absolutely. They're, they're going to absolutely. And, but to answer Q uh, Quarter Black's question, uh, the the channels I've been watching, they've been pretty honest. I got to give them credit. They, now they they want to stay out of the culture war. You can tell. Even Men of the West though it's came gonna out. Be hard. Said, it's gonna be hard. No, he's straight yeah. up said he told the truth, and uh, that's why I recommend this channel. It's just a lore channel. It's a fun little lore channel. But he came out and said, if you put any politics in this thing, this thing is ruined. <laughs> And I've seen yep. other channels like come out and uh, have, be brave enough to call out Lenny Henry and all that shit too. And uh, I, oh, do, I, don't I do. Want to fucking up and stop, man. Fuck uh, you know. It's fucking. It's it's ridiculous. So yep. what As just said, it's just another statue for them to pull down. They don't give a fuck. Jeff Bezos gets to you know I don't know who he's trying to impress. You got the tri you won, dude. You got a trillion yeah, dollar limited. company. You fly a pe giant penis to fucking space with William Shatner in it. It's like what? I, I own yeah. Lord of the Rings You're now. Good. I can fuck this he, up. He got in like really fucking good shape. He's just fucking all these young chicks. Yeah, Jeff Bezos has the world, man, and all he wants is yep. more. Yeah, yep. pretty much. Man's Doctor Evil. 
four doors more wars. <laughs> <laughs> but like a little nerdy Doctor Evil, you know, like even yeah. more nerdy and weird. Uh, Doctor Snivel. Uh, Niku Yasha for ninety nine ninety nine. <laughs> Hey, guys, I can't wait for Tyrone the Black in the upcoming Lord of the Rings series. Also, <laughs> also, Shad really enjoyed the Mulan video, was laughing at how crap the movie was and even more on the warfare point of view. Oh, yeah, dude. Well done. Oh, the, the level of stupidity. And like Mulan was on the same level as uh, Battle of Winterfell. Like the, mm. the, the astronomical stupidity. And we're seeing it again again, like that assassination scene in uh, Boba Fett. Like uh, it's beyond the pay. You're just looking at it like who is thinking that any of this makes sense. I don't get it. How about Marvel's and, Katie? The- Marvel's Katie getting the kill shot on the dragon after a day. <laughs> After a half a day of learning how to... Ah, to... Oh, that, yes. Gosh, <laughs> I had so many issues with that scene in particular because I'm an archer. I shoot 100-pound warbow, right? It's this, not easy. It's not, it's not friggin' easy. <laughs> and seeing there shoot at that, I'm... Mm, Little really noodle team. arm. Like the, the Boba Fett thing, we literally saw... Boba Fett's father assassinates someone with a poison dart from hundreds of meters away. Like we, they have this technology. It does <laughs> exist. So then to see it things play out like that in a Boba Fett show, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> and also like how good is Ming-Na Wen at everything? She's sitting there literally doing flips and dodging fucking knives in midair and stuff. Uh, it, it's, it's, this, Dude, uh, oh my Star Wars God, the, is so bad. Uh, episode three of EFAP when Rags is losing his shit about there not being like, use the gun! Use yeah, the gun! I, I, I was <laughs> laughing my freaking head off of that. Like, at that moment when she, the, the she Wookiee comes the... in, he's asleep in his tank, and he doesn't have a gun or anything, and he decides to open it up, let him out, and throw him into his bag of weapons. I it was. The level of stupidity is unbelievable. And then finally, finally, someone picks up a gun and then she pulls out a throwing Fucking knife, knife out of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Star so Wars good. is stupid. Star Wars is yep. stupid. Yes. That is it also, Wookiees, Wookiees have like these retractable claws that they use for climbing. Like, did they climb the worship trees on Kashyyyk? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, they will fuck you up. Oh, all you need to you. do is. Yeah, that's right. it. Rip I his mean, throat done. out. That's all they had to he do. He had his hands around Boba Fett. He's dead. Neck snapped. It's over. Yeah, you're mean, done. This was also my annoyance in Mandalorian when he's fighting the big, you know, bl- like black robot things. There's a thing what point when they're busting down metal walls by punching him, and then they get their hand around his neck in one of the moment of the fight scene. It's over. He's dead. He's done. I like but they're so dumb. Which is funny because in the following episode, he fucking rips somebody's arm off. It's like, dude, all those people, they would be dead. That Wookiee would have killed all of them. Yeah. But, uh, and they, and they, he did it in the, that scene was the most G rated arm ripping off I've ever right. seen in my <laughs> fucking life. It's like, ow, I just lost my arm. Ouchie. Also, oh. Boba Fett is like, get, they're, they're paying him money so he protects that place. And a random patron, he just watches as a random patron gets his arm fucking ripped off for no reason. I'm Who trying to Boba? rule with respect. I was respecting the Chewbacca oh. pronouns. Well, well, Wookiee lives matter, Wookie but not Trandoshans. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm Trandoshans to... white, just by any chance. <laughs> it's the they're slavers. T-M-O. That's true. I they're thought probably it. black. I thought, is it I thought Mick? Mick, yeah. Production. He sent two. For 100 Canadian, Canadian pesos. And he sends two, two. So we got one. Did you, is this an a- accidental duplicate? Uh, I don't know if he meant to send two, but there is two. If this is an accidental duplicate, just email me at garyatnerdrotic.com and uh, I'll take care of it. Uh, well, we can, because sometimes that happens uh, and that sucks. Uh, so yeah, if it was an accidental duplicate, please let me know. Um, but thank you. Thank you. I thought Mick and he, oh, he puts it in there. Duh. My father recently, pa- oh no, my father recently oh, passed no. away. I'm sorry. Uh, and that. I still come here to laugh and find a place to know that things are normal. My father's name was John Damien Adderley. He was the son of a Brit. Uh, he was the son of Britain. Thank you. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Sorry about pops. Condolences, condolences, brother. Yeah. 
John right. Damien Adderley. All right, That's a hell of a name right there. Yeah, it is. That's a man's name right there. Mm-hmm. That is. Uh, Chrissy you... needs to go, uh, Gary. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> that was a very x-ray girl bye <laughs> thanks guys um follow me uh, at instagram chrissy mayer pod twitter at chrissy mayer stay tuned i will let you know when the details of my new album come out uh i'm gonna be in long island uh february 26th with comedians of the compound in savannah georgia uh march 19th and then tampa side splitters march 20th Thank you, guys. This was fun. Thanks, Chrissy. Bye, Chrissy. Bye. 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 Uh, Okay, bye. Okay, bye. (laughs) Bye. 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 Uh, Does does anybody else need to go? Hi. 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 Does anybody else need to go? (laughs) One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine. Yeah, because we're going to be here for a minute. I couldn't scare shut off immediately. Come on. Well, let me go ahead and get it. I'm, I'm, I'm an inoculated anyway, so. your <laughs> presence. As t- it took a while, but I had to, you know, small doses at first, but eventually I got it. Which, uh, which, which dose are you on the third yeah. dose now? Okay. <laughs> oh, no, this is, I think it's a lifelong kind of oh, dose. Right. Like it's like slowly it. injecting snake yeah. venom. This, this so is the unicorn yeah. dose. Yeah. Okay, the yeah. unicorn dose. Got it, got it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bounce. Uh, great job, everybody. 12,000 once again. That's two Ugh. weeks in a row nice. now. It's amazing. Bah, bah, Love bah, bah, you guys. Bah, 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 bah. Friday Night Tights, the best night of the week. So freaking cool. Uh, shout out to Getter. They, they did get my – the Geeks and Gamers account is now suspended. Uh, so the person is impersonating it. It's gone. Um, and they're still talking to me now. So shout out to them. Appreciate that. Doesn't really alleviate a lot Good. of my issues that I have, but credit where credit's due. You handled it, and I appreciate that. Daily Wire tomorrow, 1.30 yes. Central, myself, Ryan, on the Daily Wire. Is it a pre- Thank is it you, a, guys. It's a premiere video, huh? right? So it premieres at uh, 1.30 Eastern? I, I, I know they're I putting know, it out at yeah. 1.30 Central, but I don't Central. know if they're going to set it up as a premiere yeah. and just release it. Yeah, I'm not it sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll, me and Ryan will probably do a follow-up video on it, you know, just kind of discuss it more in depth over on Geeks and Gamers. But thank you, guys. Uh, the only reason we're able to do this is because of all of you. And uh, I appreciate you. So have a good night, Shad. Take it was easy, buddy. an honor, pleasure being wow. on with you, buddy. So honor is mine, mate. It was awesome. Have a good one, guys. Bye. 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 Give, me, give me a bye. Uh, Az, give me a bye. 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 I'll bye. see you Sunday, Az. Sports what time? Wars. What time? What time? What time? What time? Uh, Eleven thirty Eastern. Yeah. So uh, whatever, fucking five That's or six hours. Six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Oh, four thirty p.m. I think my time. It's an hour and a half before the normal kickoff. So one thirty, yes. one four thirty, my time then. Yeah. Oh, All right. Weird. There Six you go. Clock is kickoff. Bye, everybody. See you later. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Uh, Bye. Judas Goat Barbecue for seventy five dollars. <laughs> Best wow. anti woke advice I got from my Italian grandfather. When I complained life wasn't fair, he told me I love you and Jesus loves you, but no one else gives a shit. Get used to it. <laughs> All much. Much. Uh, <laughs> that's accurate that's, good. that's an old wisdom right there I yep. love it I love it uh, KDW for 49 nine. <laughs> Earl Shad uh, second ever super chat please have on ace of spades I wouldn't be here without him uh, alright um, okay ace of spades anybody seen ace of spades channel nope Anybody aware? I no, thought not. I was a song by Lemmy. Yeah. That's one of the greatest songs ever. Uh, they actually played it on The Young Ones. Damn, good song, yeah. Yes! They did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Uh, yes, I, I will they check did. It out. Uh, Pope Metallicus, for, uh, the first, for $50. <laughs> like Ryan uh, said last night, thank God for people being assholes to their fans. It's endless content to feed the beast that is Friday Night Tides. Hail Shad and hail all on Friday Night Tides. Hell yeah. Yeah, brother. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's this real fucking simple formula. Just report your fuck report the fucking news. Enter especially if you're G4. So you're there to report, inform, review, uh, and interact with your fans in a friendly way. And yeah, you, you know, uh, despite what Frost did, nothing you just made it worse. You are now going to get more of whatever you claim you saw than ever before. 
and you buried your channel, and you can, uh, I don't know, I, I'm going to say this is my opinion, fake all the bullshit you want on Twitch. Uh, YouTube is a meritocracy, at least for now, and what it shows is a loss of six to 7,000 subs, which you think it's no big deal for, a, uh, for almost a half a million sub channel, but... As talked about this earlier, the cu uh, the customer that walks away without saying a fucking word, they won't unsubscribe. They'll just forget you. So you'll have all those subs, and then you'll be getting a couple of thousand views on YouTube. So um, despite your partnership with Twitch, it doesn't seem like it's working very well. The, the other also, thing that's in oh, – go ahead, Chad. Well, just on that note, in regards to subscribers, the subscriber figure is a good little uh, acknowledgement of the work you've done, or, you know, everything. But uh, in terms of uh, the subscriber account mattering in, for the success of the channel, what really matters is the active subscriber amount. And that is more largely determined by your the views that you're pulling in. And so it is probably vastly more likely that those subscribers they lost were active subscribers who were paying attention mm. to what was going on and that will that hurts any channel vastly more than the overall number because yeah. you look at what the average video view uh, views are getting and they're going to be losing on average around that amount of views uh in comparison and like with g4 that youtube channel has been around a long time they had like 300,000 subscribers 30 50,000 before they announced they were coming back so they've added a hundred or 150,000 subscribers since they did a big return show, which included Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb, all people like that who are not around anymore. Yeah. So just right to your point, Chad, like a lot of active people, they don't have 500,000 active watchers. They have, you know, a couple, 10 to thousand active people and 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 just walked away. Yep. Uh, low, heard him. low watermark. For fifty dollars, says Ryan. Congrats on one hundred thousand. Well deserved and uh, agreed. Well done, my friend. Thank you, thank you, Low Watermark. Appreciate that. Uh, graduated Army officer candidate school today. Wanted to wish you all a wonderful right uh, night of laughs. God bless the USA. God bless the U.S. Army, and God bless Friday Night Tights. Ho! Oh, and hell yeah, uh, this. Uh, this will defend, and that is Latin three four two for forty nine ninety nine. Thank you very much. Nice, hell yeah. OCS is uh, <clears throat> OCS is a pain in the ass for a lot of people, man. So congrats, that's awesome. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'll take your word uh, for uh, it. Officer, officer candidate school. Ah, so it's like legitimate stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so OCS is where uh, it, a lot of times where in people who are enlisted who are in an officer program or whatever, uh, they go to OCS to learn how to not be a massive asshole. Uh, <laughs> you know, that, that's basically a, a good describer for that's it. Good. So. To be a uh, gentleman or a lady. Obviously, you skipped that one. So uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm glad Sleep. you did. Not for me. I'm glad you did. Uh, low watermark for 50 more dollars. Um, Porter Black yeah. Hobbits. Porter Black Hobbits. Well, I mean... Yeah, that quarter they black, matter. They matter. Quarter black <laughs> is trying to make as many as he possibly can. I'm working on it. <laughs> so is Mrs. Yeah. Quarter black. God, we're doing you, a good job. Have you got 15 kids at home? 20. 20. 25. Okay. So you yeah. could like you could have a basketball league. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it's more of like an arena, really. It's I give them weapons and stuff. They're padded. Yeah. Hey, that's At my. Uh, that's what I do. Death yeah. match. Like, that's, that's nice. Nice. We should get our clans together and yeah. what, oh. use the wrong word. Two children and <laughs> one <laughs> child leaves. Uh, Infinity <laughs> flare for fifty dollars, fifty U.S. pesos. In this fellowship, we know Steve Rogers is Captain America, Sam Wilson is Falcon, Clint Barton is Hawkeye, Tony Stark is Iron Man, Peter Parker is Spider-Man, Logan is Wolverine, and Thor is Thor. All hail the fellowship, all hail Friday Night Tides. Could not agree more. Yep. And Truth. no comics sell without them. No comics sell without Superman and Batman either. As a matter of fact, uh, what was that again? Uh, no comics sell with bat without Batman. Um, literally yeah yeah <laughs> out of the top so now they're gonna kill them off so yeah they're gonna kill them all off now yep and it's gonna be the social justice league it's gonna be oh. fucking hilarious is what it's gonna be yep uh michael uh, duniath 
for $50. Sorry if I mispronounced that. What is the drink you guys have on Night's Watch? Can we watch them outside of Australia? And thoughts on, uh, I better be careful how I say this, Nunchaka wielding elves <laughs> and Amazon Lord of the Rings. Um, so thoughts on nunchucks just by themselves? What was the relationship? Yeah, something? wielding elves in Lord of the Ring in Amazon Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I hope that's just a me. I, I hope he's making that up. No. <laughs> as, the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nunchaku. Mm. Can, we, can we get a confirmation? Look at Az smiling. He can neither Why confirm nor deny, as? but he's smiling. The first shot is just... There's, there's no nunchucks. Oh, there's I don't a, watch the show anymore. There's a black elf who catches an arrow and shoots it back. There's, there's, there's black elf. Does he have it? Does he? How do I phrase this? What does he sound like? Does he talk? Oh no, no expression, no, no, nothing that you could ever criticize or uh, imply against uh, him. So, so as Ryan brought up earlier, I actually, Ryan, I actually brought this up in my video, dude. So well done on you. I'm like, so when is the racial genocide that happens after the War of the Ring between <laughs> yeah, elves like and like, hobbits yeah, wipes them all. and yeah, dwarves? That, Yes, yeah. like that's the thing. If you're gonna if you're gonna show us this diverse Middle Earth with all these different races, you know, together, which we did not see in Lord of the Rings in the books or in the movies, then you there has to be an explanation. Either you gentrified the area and shipped them off somewhere. Uh, maybe they're in Madagascar. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> or you killed them all. Like those are the only two explanations as to why this is yeah. happening. Um, Which I, is going to be worse, Lord of the Rings or the Witcher prequel? Oh, Lord of the Rings. Lord, uh, of, the Rich, Rings. Lord, Rings. Lord of the Rings. They're Witch doing a Witcher prequel. Oh, they're doing oh, a Witcher prequel. Have you not prequel. seen the trailer? No. Oh, dude, it's Michelle Yao. She is the star. Oh my God! It's the stunning and brave Witcher show. It is, and they're all elves too. <laughs> So, wow, so, that is a perfectly good example of cultural appropriation. Um, dude, uh, a Polish just, some, just some guy has a very good video where he describes. Um, I mean, I I've put some in there, but he he like gets into it about the description of the elves, the physical description of the elves, and the use usage of the word fair. Okay, uh, yeah, this which, is diverse, which, which means white. <laughs> okay, that's what it means, and people are gonna go, no, it doesn't. Tolkien was an English man making an English mythology for England. Um, wait a minute, but wasn't there a guy recently arrested? I don't, I don't know where exactly it was in America. And on the TV he news, was British. he was British. On the on the news, <laughs> it, it, I mean, he, the yes. guy's black. The, but on the news, it says something like dark skinned white man or something no what? no you mean the guy what? who the the one who they said had a just british accent that's the one i there, thought yeah there was a muslim terrorist no, no, there was a, a, a UK man. synagogue who is like yeah british man takes over they so said man yeah. with british accent <laughs> takes synagogue <laughs> hostage man with british accent <laughs> and fucking fox was doing this too they were doing it last night dude uh, I, I, yeah, I mean, well, they actually had like skin, like uh, like uh, skin color, whatever. And it was like it's a black guy. And it's just like dark skinned white man. And I'm just like, uh, what? What? Are we ready for Rachel Zegler's Is Snow somebody White? Somebody know talking about. Please link it to me on Twitter. Yeah, uh, Comics Blood Division. Origin. Comics Division. This is the yeah. This is the prequel to The Witcher. I'm guessing nobody's gonna fucking watch this. Uh. I, I don't know why wow. they thought this was a good idea. Because, uh, like, you know, when I see this, I, the first thing I think of is Witcher. Uh, no, actually, it's not. A Wheel of I Time. Think it's CW. Well, that's the thing that's so funny about it. I mean, isn't this like all, it. like, based off of, like, Polish folklore and mythology? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. Jesus. Did, did you realize how well, like, this, this is literally cultural appropriation? Do you guys see the Polish people in this picture? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't, I don't see one. Them. I can't wait till they that, that someday when they finally start adapting like African or or, oh, or, or Asian mythology yeah. and they start making that all all, uh, all, all diverse. That'll you know be fun. they won't. They won't. They won't change anything because if not. they do, they'll get accused of whitewashing. Um. Uh, Depends if the genocide happened by then. 
Just to finish off the question of that super chat, I asked what the drinks that we have yeah. on Night's Watch. That would be Bundaberg in different flavors. I, I tend to like the Bundaberg creamy soda. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And uh, there's uh, several different types. Bundaberg cream soda. That sounds not good. sponsored. But is that is that like a uh, an Aussie thing only? I wonder if I can get that here. They're they're common in Australia, but I have heard that they can be available. Because I have some of your root beer in my common. fridge. Because I love fucking well, root beer. Well, their, so. their, their fundamental one is uh, uh, ginger beer. That's their, their oh, first one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and it's, I can get um, some here. I can get some I, here. They're really good. I, not sponsored. I'm saying just genuinely as I really enjoy the drinks. And Legit, they brew yes. their drinks. And, uh, and mm, very nice. And, I yeah, the creamy soda is basically a Portello. Do you know? Do you have Portello over there? Portello. No one knows Portello? Not culture. Oh, no, I've heard of it, but I I've never tried it. Never had it. Yeah, yeah. their ginger Basic. beer is good too. Are they mushrooms? Portella. Port <laughs> mushrooms? You're talking about Portabella. Portabella. <laughs> Portella. Uh, Portella. Well, you guys eat Vegemite, so it's like, uh, you know. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Vegemite. Vegemite, man. You got to be a man to enjoy veg. This is a, that's a man. You got to have no right taste buds. It just tells that. me it tastes like shit. <laughs> I don't know. There's actually a technique. There's a technique like with veggie. Spread it thinly. Yeah, it has to be very thin. Mm -hmm. Very thin on butter, melted butter on toast. And then if you really want to go next level, you add some tomato and some pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll there try it sometime. Butter on toast, Gary. What's wrong with butter ever, on toast? Ever I never said anything about sure. butter on toast. You're showing at me when I'm talking about making the the, the, the fucking jam last week and and sandwich and you're like, no, you, you were you were talking about butter putting, belongs on toast. No, 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 no. You yeah. weren't talking about putting butter on just toast. You were talking about like so, like bacon and butter. Bacon. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna, that's, that's a, a fucking oh. sandwich. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> No. Like milk on right? like one side toast, of the sandwich like, has got to have the butter no, on it, and then you, you were talking about like putting butter. fucking beans and whatever on the, the butter fuck side? else you put on there. Like butter on toast is fine, of course. I have butter on toast all the time. We were talking about like some other shit that I just BLT, like, the BLT sandwich, a bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Chip. <laughs> you, okay, quick, quick story, quick story. I'm I'm at the sandwich shop. I'm working at Acura Where's right that? down the street. I go to I go to the sandwich shop. I need a BLT. I get the BLT and I fucking take a bite and it's fucking. There's no bacon in it. There's no fucking bacon in it. So I go, I'm like, um, I'm missing bacon. She's like, no, no, you're not. I'm all, I asked for a BLT and did straight face. I thought she was fucking with me. She goes, bread, lettuce, and tomato. Wow. That's not a BLT. Wow. You just like reach across and just. I wanted to kill her. <laughs> did you punch the fucking teeth back in him? She was young. Uh, I was young at the time too, but I just decided to, uh, to count to 10 and uh, that's bacon, lettuce, and tomato. And she did not know. And she worked at the sandwich shop. Bread lettuce. That's like a me at Taco Bell story right there. That's it really an atrocity. That, that's almost like putting a war crime. Pizza. It's that's a war crime. Yes. Yeah, yeah, war crime. Yeah, right. war crime. Yeah, war crime. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it is. That's just awful. It also explains Joe Biden. So, uh, that Lord definitely justifies, uh, let me speak to your manager. Yes. <laughs> Uh, hail Friday Night Tights, Lord Jaguar, by the way, uh, $55 says, hello, Friday Night Tights. I was very happy to have everyone comment on my name here. I say it Jaguar. I love Jaguars, both the animal and the car. When I was a little, when I was little, I thought it would be cool if Jaguars could have angel wings as well. Well, they can in your imagination, my friend. Thanks again, everyone. Hail Friday Night Tights. I like yeah. the cars. I worked on them for a little while though, so I will never own one. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're touchy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I, I say Jaguar. At, at the company, Jagger? at the company, we were, we, were, we were told Jaguar? to say Jaguar. Yeah, and, and I and I just asked As because they told me that's how they say it in the UK, but As says no, it's Jaguar, right? Jaguar. Yeah. So the, they think Jaguar sounds fancier. Jaguar. Jaguar. Uh, a sticks. Fifty dollars on the stream website. Thank you, Ray Sticks. Hey, on Friday night tats. Hey, hey, tats. Friday night tats. Uh, and Friday night tights. Hail to the chat. Hail to the awesome. Uh, the awesome moist modrotics. Uh, did you mean to say awesome moist modrotics? Awesomeists. But it says awesomeists. Awesomeist, but it says and M O I S T. Moist. So it says awesome moist. So you're just moist. 
Mod rockets. That works too. That works too. They are. You watch little... this show long enough, you're gonna get moist. Yep, they're a little oh. glistening. They're a little glistening. Whether it's because you're aroused get, moist, or you're just oh. sweaty. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hail to the people! I would be honored to charge with against the gates of Mordor. 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 Yeah, that was a pretty hard R roll uh, in that trailer, huh? She was. <laughs> it was hard that's R. how you're supposed to yeah. pronounce it, but she it was a little try hard. I was already shocked at the hard R and not Lord of the Rings trailer. Uh, you, you already told us about the elf, so. If, yeah. if you want to um, uh, hear it pronounced correctly, uh, just go look on YouTube. Uh, Tolkien reads some of some of Fellowship. He'll read the. Uh, uh, one ring to rule them all. You'll hear how it's supposed to be pronounced uh, from the man himself. Uh, Bob three two six eight for fifty dollars says Chrissy do another frog Karen rant. I will pass it on. She I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. Thank you very much. And that was again. That was I can't believe the uh, the clip on uh, on Nerdrotic Daily is at ninety thousand views. God, nice. that's more than Damn. any of the videos I've made on it. Holy that's fuck. Awesome. That's, that's crazy. Clip is nuts. John Kakosa made a clip of the intro that we did uh, and put it out there and like squared it off for like social media. Social. I retweeted it. That's pretty fucking good. John. Brilliant. Thank, uh, hail John, by the way. I got to see John before I bail. We got to talk about John. You and I need to talk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's talked to you about what he's talked to me about, but we need to talk like. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. Uh, Letharl for fifty dollars. So what's the or what's the drink you guys have on? Uh, it's it's yep. what's the drink yep. you guys have on the night's watch? Is it available outside of the Australia? Thoughts on? Oh, I, we read this one. We read that one. Yeah. Sorry. You're fired. Uh, <laughs> now you're rehired. Uh, Steve Surf for fifty dollars on the Streamlabs side. So January twenty forty. It's 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 the date January twenty forty. I want to know which you, uh, which one of you wankers, have been stroking your chopstick to me, White House press secretary, mayor, <laughs> first presser of the Nerd Rotic administration. Oh, you'd be sorry. Oh, you'd be fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would make a re. I would make. Uh, I would make sequels, remakes, requels, illegal, punishable by death. That would be my first rule. Treasonous act. A treasonous yeah. act to rewrite anything and Tolkien. Re-imaginings. You would be drawn and quartered if you rewrite anything Tolkien. Yeah, we're you gonna can't. Uh, can you run for office with a felony, Gary? I think so. Uh, I think it just depends on the state. Probably. Pretty right? sure you know. can. Um, well, I mean, here, everyone here. in office is a fucking crook, so you might as well. When I get to but. when I get to Texas, I'm I'm going for the pardon, so I can. I, Get, get me some Hell guns. Yeah. Yeah. I want to buy a bunch of fucking guns. That's what I want to do. Uh, <laughs> Lord. I of, should delete this bit from the stream. Just before you I can't right now. Uh, <laughs> Lord of the pineapple cock rings for $50. <laughs> oh. Three universal truths. Three universal truths. Bon Jovi and Springsteen suck. They I like some Bon Jovi. Suck. Some, I like some Bon Jovi. Yeah, yeah. They suck. Nope. Um, Whoa. I, like I like Dead or Alive. Uh, everybody likes We're Dead or Alive. Nope. But I, I, I think it's all shit. I think it's all shit. What it? If I hear that fucking song. It all song. sucks. They played that fucking bon song. Bon Jovi's great when you're in middle school. Every After fucking that, day that year. Every nope. fucking day I heard that fucking song. God. I still hope <laughs> <all right. laughs> Uh, pineapple <laughs> pizza is the nectar of the gods. Yes, it is. Well, is it pineapple I, agreed, pizza? I agreed with the first one. I can't go with you to the second. One. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't. You, I can't go down this minute. road with you anymore. Wait a minute, as <laughs> I don't as, even know you anymore. Jesus. Yeah, well, I should. I got you know. Next time I hire somebody, I got to ask him a couple of questions. Do you wear a fucking man bun? Right. And do you man like bun. <laughs> pizza? Do you like pineapple on pizza? And do you like Have you watched pizza? Indiana Jones? Have you watched I got Indiana, Indiana Jones. Hey, hey, let's be real. Having a man bun, the likelihood of that person liking pineapple on pizza is probably pretty good. I'm not going to be argue honest with, with ourselves. I'm not going to argue with you. Though. Not this one. All right, there you go. Look, but I I'm love pineapple on pizza. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been to prison, so 
fuck off. Uh, and Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I love my movie. sweet savory. Yeah. I like my sweet motherfucking savory. Hey, I'm going to savory through. the nickname of the big black man who was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I got <laughs> You're sweet. I'm going to save you. I'm savory. <laughs> Get over here, sweet. Oh, man. Dude. I got some butter kiss sweet and sour microwave popcorn in my cupboard downstairs. That sounds Ooh, all yeah, right. I'm all savory. That sounds savory, all right. Savory, 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 savory. Reminds me of the first words I heard when I arrived at uh, Folsom Prison. Uh, hey, Goldilocks, uh, I want to oh. eat your sack lunch. Oh. True story. You cut your hair right after that, It's right? funny every time you say I, it. Shaved, <laughs> if you, if you shaved my cry, fucking if head. If you didn't burst into tears then, you did great. I'll be like, shaved my sh- head. <laughs> Gotta fit in somewhere. <laughs> oh. Dude, I had this like long, beautiful blonde hair. And my hair's straight, right? So it was like blonde. I was young. It was straight. I, you know, I, I blowing was, in the wind. I was constantly. tan. You know, and uh, yeah, and it was like halfway down to my back, you know, because it was, oh, you know, no, it was 1991. And uh, yeah, he said, hey, Goldilocks. I'm like, where do I get a haircut? Give me the clippers now. <laughs> Who do I got to give a pack now. of cigarettes to get me a haircut right now? Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your fucking hand. Yeah, like, right. Oh, dude. And he's like, oh, uh, can you get me clippers and one of those swastika tattoos? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go one of those quite swastika. that far. Uh, but prison was a place. If you want to know about real racism, what Ryan was saying, what Jeremy was saying, Ryan, both racist, so whatever. They both know yeah. what they're talking about. Um, in prison, if you are a white dude, whether you're part of the fucking Nazi bullshit or not, if you, if you, if if say a black guy doesn't finish his meal and says, "Hey, would you like a piece of this cake?" and you go, "Yes, I would love a." Uh, that delicious cake that you took a bite of but didn't finish, and you ate that cake, you're dead. They will kill you for that shit. Uh, that's yeah, that's, the, that's how the Aryan, we, yeah. the, like the Aryan Brotherhood that's in prison. Wow. Yeah, they will. You are done just for like uh, so. A uh, so somebody like black cake. ate a piece of cake, and I it's took a piece to of. No. It's yeah. It's it was so fucked up. It fucked up. Like what cake, what, Don't what ever go to prison. Is. Look, I'll die for that cake. Did they teach you that in orientation? I mean, shit, how do you no, find that shit out? Just, no, how do you, you figure you it watch out? Someone get By fucking almost shanked. fucking dying? Yeah, that's how you figure it out. Jesus. Um, I'm telling you now, Gary, if it was Victoria Sponge, I don't give a shit. I'm taking the fucking knife. <laughs> I, I'm rolling the dice on this. I love a Victorian I'll, sponge. I'll I tell really the story do. some other day, but I did. I, I, took, I bled <laughs> a lot because I refused to subscribe to certain fucking bullshit rules in there. Uh... Which was not smart, but I, you know, it's about principles. Uh, yeah. Uh, do, 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 what? Oh, as you, you said. So if you guys share something in, tw- in the private chat, you gotta let Garrett know because yeah, he know. handles the stuff. <laughs> I don't handle stuff anymore. Uh, Felwin for fifty dollars. Because with book and character discussion, yeah. if you like good characters, I suggest the work of Larry Korea. Uh, Korea, he, the Monster Hunter International books are awesome on Audible, and The Adventures of Tom Stranger. He also does a podcast with write, uh, on writing and writer dojo. Excellent. Uh, Gary, this is, this is the thing I was talking about. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is this? Dark white skin. <laughs> He's got dark white skin. Steve Stevens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? I don't think you're hitting it enough. Fuck. You should be hitting it with your forehead as well, Gary. Not yeah. to, to be honest, the fact that he was driving... Oh God. Ford Fusion. Got the stuck. fact that he was driving a white <laughs> Ford Fusion basically makes him white. So. Uh, I drove a white Ford Fusion. Yeah, yeah you, well, you're pretty how many, white. How many people have you killed with this? How, how many people did he kill driving it? <laughs> no one. I swear. It started off white and ended up red. Hey, hey, uh, never, never. <laughs> another thing I learned in prison: never admit to it. Just, just deniability, deniability. It's fine. Aaron pipes for fifty dollars. Oh shit! <laughs> the button stuck too. Is it one? Uh, it's one thing to have. 
trans women that want to live a quiet life as real women compared to crazies that want to be trans and live and live their lives as trans. <clears throat> there are real there, there's a real difference. Transgender women have an unfair advantage, period. Uh, and he meant period, like end of story. <laughs> Um, <laughs> they've got an advantage when it comes to the period thing. Uh, they have a big advantage when it comes to the period thing. Uh, Jealous. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, how many times have you heard women like, oh, you, yeah. oh, you want to bleed? Okay. You're welcome to it. Ass hat. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, extra girl. Would you take a uh, natural uh, menstruation cycle or would you take uh dilation therapy for the rest of your life? Oh, give me that period. Yeah. That's what I thought. So there you go. <laughs> If you don't know what dilation is, probably don't fucking look it up unless you want to throw up. Don't so. look it, it like up. Also, don't look up Blue Awful. So <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't look up Blue Awful. That was a that yeah. was a good time. The comics division and I were on the stream with um, Oh yeah. Weaponized Nerd Rage. Yes. And he brought up oh, Blue no. Awful. And then he said, yep. Don't Google it. And then I Googled it. <laughs> this was recently and how did you get no, got this was recently five, this was five that was a long time ago. This is like oh, okay okay ago. <laughs> I, was gonna say. I was i was naive say. and i i'm was, so curious like, oh, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I have you looked up tub girl look don't extra girl look it up don't, you'll be fine don't don't <laughs> extra girl is a high tolerance she, for yeah, weird yeah, shit yeah. trust me yeah okay i literally found blue waffles you keep going turn, turn off safe search yeah turn off safe search uh, it's necessary. I, I'm on incognito. <laughs> I don't want uh, it to be a Keep scrolling. You'll find it. We can keep. We'll, we'll find her reaction. Her reaction. Yeah. An STI. <laughs> You'll know when you see it. Oh yeah, you're. you're Wait for the picture. She's a nerd. Or she's a, a nurse. Yeah, tech not that you, or whatever. Uh, yeah, you've seen compound fractures. I like. haven't seen the actual picture. I don't know if I want to see this. You don't. Yes, you, you don't. do. Go for it. <laughs> yes, for you do. <laughs> do it for the internet. Uh, not a secret. I literally don't. Dude, actually, it is kind of hard to find. R rated. Uh, not a secret ninja for forty four ninety nine says, "Got to go, guys." Uh, knackered. What's knackered? Uh, tired. Tired. We use it in Australia a lot. Utterly knackered. knackered. The, uh, technically, it means tired in a sexual way. Like you have just completed like just the act sex. of coitus yeah. and are tired because of it. Mm. Well, I'm knackered. Oh, it's, it's more general use in Australia. We just use it as a cinnamon often. I mean, it's, it's used generally, but that's yeah. what it specifically okay. means. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Like general use? <laughs> Oh my God, Renee is fast. Uh, that's oh, what no. adults oh, used to think like of as a good thing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think she found it. That's what. It, uh, <laughs> so he goes. Thanks. For, th I mean, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Though. Let me finish reading this. Thanks for challenging my thinking every week. That's what adults used to think of as a good thing. You're be you're beautiful folk, and Friday night is Friday night tights. Uh, in a bit, it just says in a bit. So maybe see in a bit. All right, so I'm sorry. What did you think? X-ray girl looks gangrenous. I mean, it looks gangrenous. Like, yeah, a, yeah. A strong discoloration, yeah. but like the the crazy part yeah. is, this does it's not the grossest thing I've seen. It, that's what I mean. I knew she'd be fine. <laughs> I was not fine. I was like, whoa, whoa, no, no, no. I was not. Yeah, fine. party's another gym. I'm not googling any of this. X-ray girl used to X-ray girl used to wax people. She's seen some weird shit. All right. Yeah, yeah. Why right, she's seen a hairy what? asshole? Those There's those a difference like between normal though. Again, I'm like I have. Uh, I, I gave, I'm glad I gave myself plenty of time to pick it up, but I cannot wait to pick up my hot Hawaiian pizza with jalapeno. Yeah, I'm gonna order oh, pizza oh, right as we're done. So uh, go get it. What's Dude, it I, I don't want to sound kinky or shit, but I, I need pictures of you. I need pictures of you eating it. I, I will do it. You know what? <laughs> She's just stretching out of your mouth. I will. Just, just yeah. I will shoot Twitter. a video of me eating it slow. Nice. Oh god. And slow. Oh god. I'm gonna touch myself so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna disassociate. <laughs> with Friday night tights. <laughs> uh, Lord Corvinite for $50. So speaking of making a new bounty hunter, 
I've been creating my own Bounty Hunter origin story and try to use Unreal Engine. It's still a Ooh. very new idea, and I may need help with developing this ambitious idea. You all got any advice and suggestions to help? Ask Are people. you using Unreal 5? Are you using Unreal Engine 5? That's what I want to know. So it sounds like. I would say you did the right thing. I mean, like, ask in the chat. This fellowship's a pretty brilliant place if you're in a, you know, if you're uh if you need somebody to talk to, you need some advice, there's lawyers, there's artists, there's everything in, in uh in the fellowship here in that yep. chat. They will there is there's a wonderful resource of great people. Yeah, and seriously, like uh that's a path to success. Finding a project that you're passionate about and working on it and uh, if uh, also collaborating as well because it sounds like you'll need to do that. But Genuinely, do you like uh, you'll find heaps of satisfaction and can then lead to a career as well. I think too often people just, I don't know, uh, sitting on their uh, butts, not well, we're expecting other people to make stuff and also not doing in the work to produce something good as well and stuff. So, good luck to you. Yeah, uh, being creative, just simply being creative. It doesn't matter what happens to it. The act of being creative, what Shad just said, like that's what this channel was for me. For a long time, mm -hmm. it was nothing. I, I didn't expect it to be anything. I just needed something, right? Something, a hobby. And it sounds like it was spiritual. It's a, that, it sounds like that's what happens to a lot. Like even with Shadowversity, I didn't think that would ever take off. I just started because I wanted to talk about swords mm -hmm. and there was a lot of misinformation out there. And whatever amount of exposure it got, uh, I thought my writing career would take off well before it. I didn't even expect it to go anywhere. Uh, and you start a passion project that you're invested in. And if you work on improving yourself, it can, man, it can really just take off. And Yeah. Uh, Ryan, yeah. you made a good point earlier about Shad's channel before we went live. Yeah, I said that Shad's channel is such a cool example of you can literally do anything on YouTube. Like there is, there is so, there's so many people <laughs> yeah. that use it. There's an audience for everything if you're creative enough, if you get yourself out there, and if you're knowledgeable about it. So literally, a, a dude who's doing stuff talking about I just, like I just talk about swords. I, I yes. <laughs> You talk about swords, you talk about medieval weaponry, mm -hmm. you compare it to shit like current stuff like Star Wars, like does a double bladed lightsaber, would a double blade work like Thanos's yeah. double blade, like all that stuff like and you have blown up way bigger than any of our channels. It's just an example. There's so much room out there for mm -hmm. anyone to be creative on this platform. Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, and that's one of the like. YouTube is one of the last passions that still is functioning somewhat, not perfectly, but somewhat on a meritocratic system, okay, where if you genuinely make good content, there is a good chance that, you know, you can succeed. And, and that's really satisfying. And it worked out for me. I'm not saying it's perfect. I mean, there are issues on YouTube, but there is that element that if you make good content, if you just make something good, okay, there it, it has a very good chance of succeeding. Now, there are other areas that can be difficult, game development as well and stuff like that. But, I mean, the, the world is becoming more decentralized and more open. Before, you know, if you wanted to, say, break into um, the literature space, you know, genre fiction literature and stuff, you needed to get a publisher and stuff like that. And for me, it was just I couldn't be stuffed dealing with all the loopholes and everything. And now you can self-publish and... I, my book is legitimately done vastly better in orders of magnitude than most traditionally published novels that get released through the traditional model, all right? You can <clears throat> bypass so many barriers and roadblocks in the modern day, and depending on what you're wanting to do and focus on and succeed at, you, there is uh, so many more opportunities to success these days than before. I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not saying there aren't gatekeepers or people barring the path, but there is many ways for truly genuine good stuff, like good quality, to uh, flourish. And uh, so truly just best of luck, work hard, try and make something good, basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just uh, got your good book. You. I got your book. I got uh, the audio book, and I got the paperback <sighs> on Amazon. So there you go. Thanks, man. You're I welcome. Oh, man, I hope you enjoy. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can't you wait. will be surprised. That, that it is, uh, like, uh, that's one of the things <clears> I think <throat> I could say about my book. It's uh, It doesn't, uh, like, people think, uh, I don't know, it's, I, like, it, it, it's a big passion project. It was a lifelong dream. And also I'm working on, you know, going to keep make, writing more books. Uh, 
but it's not your normal fantasy. That's one of the big takeaways that people take from it. It's it's, uh, it's something different. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. It. Oh, there's a hardcover. Good, mm -hmm. done, bought, boom. Oh, <laughs> thanks, man. Boom. Yeah, buy that book. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to read it. Uh, thanks, uh, I again for being here, man. And thanks. Uh, we got a my pleasure. couple more super chats to go. Oh, but I was going to get back to, yeah, that, that, that creativity, that passion. It's good for the soul. It doesn't matter if anybody's watching it. Uh, it's great. If people uh, do, don't get me wrong. It's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, I love, I was just talking to as and I had a conversation last night, which was essentially I fucking love being a YouTuber. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, it was just a good conversation. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's even with all this shit falling apart, uh, it, it's going to get better as, as Eric July says, we going to win. We're going to win. Absolutely. win. there's more of us. Yeah. 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 And I think, you know, something Shad talked about was the wheel of time reviews and how so many people in his audience just loved it. And they felt it was cathartic to hear people talk about it. That's <clears throat> one of the reasons so many of us came together in the first place was because of things like star Wars or game of Thrones or whatever. And it is, it does yeah. feel good when you find other people who they might not share your exact opinions about it, but you can get together. You can talk about why you didn't like it. The great things you remember that makes you love this IP, like all these things. There's something to that and being together while doing it. So that's why it's important to continue to talk about this stuff. There's some people that think anytime you talk about something that's inherently giving it like uh, publicity in a good way, I don't think that's the case at all, <laughs> any way, shape, or form. Yeah, I don't think yeah, so th at all. There's a reason that uh, there's a reason Kevin Smith went out there and tried to tell everybody, yeah, they don't care. They don't care if you're uh, you know being negative about it. They don't care at all. They they don't care if you're talking about it. Just so you guys know, they don't care, guys. They don't care that you're talking about <laughs> they it. They really yeah. do not care. No, they don't absolutely care. do because every time yeah. we talk about it in a bad way, uh, it's going to open up another person to seeing something for what it really is, and maybe. That's the first time they've heard someone else speak that way. Maybe yeah. all they needed was to hear that and understand that, wow, that is what's going on. There's an agenda out here. So and you, you look at the people who we deal with in our sphere, and a lot of these people are doing fucking huge numbers. You know, you look at Critical Drinker. He'll he'll talk about a film. Boom. Gary, 200, 300,000 on videos. No problem. You know, Mauler putting yeah. out Black Widow. Millions. Yeah, now these these are huge fucking numbers. Those numbers are not to be sniffed at. Those numbers are, are people coming in and they're getting that opinion and they, you know, whether they agree or disagree, but people are coming in to listen to that. And they add up. They add up big time. Yeah. So if you think that they are not uh, paying attention or it doesn't matter to them, you just, you just have to look at the people who do put their head in the sand. Uh, you just have to look at the Kurtzmans. He's literally got an empire of dirt yeah an <clears throat> empire of dirt nobody is watching any star trek involved in any of the fucking star treks the prodigy the discovery the the strange new worlds it's all this it's an empire of dirt and he's got his head in his fucking sand going oh we can't wait we can't wait for the for the next journey vision blah 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 dead doa not no one's cared no one's bothered it doesn't even make it onto to fucking regular TV anymore. It's tucked away at the bottom of a fucking streaming service that's doing shite. Uh, you know, so when when the only like... people that say anything against it are people like us, pe normal mm -hmm. people, not shill websites, not them themselves. They all just oh, we're doing so well. All these shows that people are so excited to watch. Nobody watches these shows. So that's why Doctor, Who, Doctor Who's all got this palmed off. So important, it's palmed off now from the BBC. Yeah. BBC can't do it. Yeah, it's so, so important it, for all these channels. A, a new studio that that can potentially. And the BBC is fa <clears throat> is failing. Like it's done. Mm -hmm. yep. Essentially, it's done. That's that's and and yeah. uh, I just wanted to mention. I, I bought About that book. Fucking time. I bought that book, and Amazon suggested two books to me. One was Pictures by Tolkien, which I kind of want to get. I don't have it. And The Long Moonlight by Razor Fist is the next book. Wow. Hey, that's really oh, cool. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just shout that out. Two, two guests. Like, doing good. And that's a good book, by the way. Uh, Razor Fist, talented boy right there. Talented man. Uh, we got a couple more. Then we're going to get out of here because I got to eat. I got to eat. I'm dying, dude. Ever since, <laughs> ever since Odin showed that damn pizza. Gary, 
Yeah, it's three thirty in the morning. You don't get to say you're tired. I get to say I'm tired. You, I gave you it out as He's naked. I gave you it out at four hours, young man. No, I'm meant to be forced out of the room according to you by X-ray girl, and nobody forces me out of the room, so I'm not gonna go. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll show him. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Ah. Wait, wait, which way I gotta look? Oh, this way. That's right. Towards my bathroom when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Fucker. I'm looking at. I'm looking at, I'm looking at ba uh, Batman's nope. right foot. I'm looking at my toilet right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> so corporate says it's the same picture. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say it. Michael Dunioff uh, <laughs> says, "Love the show tonight. Starting to uh, watch a lot of your channels as therapy for Disney Star Wars. Can we get a campaign going for greater uh, nun nunchuck representation <laughs> in high fantasy? All hail Friday Night Tights. I think so. Why not? No, 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 no nunchucks. Nunchucks are crap <laughs> garbage weapons. How dare you even dance around that? Oh, you don't like the I'm nunchucks." So yeah, you did a video on that, right? Hey, they were I, I watched man, your video I, on I, it. I have done more than just a video. That like out of yeah, you did like three. I've ever made, the nunchuck thing has become so controversial because Why? there are so many weebs who love those things. And when you like <laughs> compare just objectively the failings against it, even to something as basic as a stick. <laughs> That's that ends up being better. That nunchucks are crap weapons. Yeah, it's and, like uh, you, you see Bruce Lee going through all like the things, and then you're like, okay. Uh, literally give me a, a stick, like a bow. Yes. Like literally give me a staff. That's all you need. And, and so it, it's come back up because uh, it like I I like to milk it just for the fun of it, but I was ready to just let it end. But some people won't let it go, and even recently, there's been people. Like putting out videos, defense against nunchucks is like, all right, let's do it again. Then fine. And, and I'll be like going into full on physics now to try and to like just to explain. Because one of the things that I've been saying from the get go, uh, like a stick of the same length of the nunchucks will hit as hard or harder. I like, and the nunchucks, I have a big limitation with their striking power. And so now I'm, I'm literally like, all right, fine. And I've gone into the physics and going into the whole thing about impact versus impulse and impulse time for transfer of force into target and all that stuff like we'll all right let's physics this thing just to show you that no nunchucks like they do not have the capacity to hit nearly as hard as a stick of the same like as, anyway, I, I love it tell I'm invested. i love it i just <laughs> yeah. I, I liked them because so what, uh electra had some in daredevil look okay. hey they look cool and if you're if you they're like them practical. that's fine but i'm just gonna tease you for it because they're crap it's okay because so what you're saying chad is you, you're racist against shiny that's what people, some people have even gone so far like how dare you you know shame Chinese. like a traditional Chinese. weapon because you're insulting the culture it's like Chinese. just because it's from another culture doesn't mean you have to like every single thing especially <laughs> yeah. when it's objectively bad yes, it does. i have I have a it's feeling done. that human sacrifice is pretty bad, and I can say it's it's horrible. Beautiful immoral. cultures, all I, cultures I, are equal. No, uh, yeah, it's all this cultural relativism bullcrap that, that comes up. Now, Ch Chad, you're sounding like a colonizer now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, you mean I, like, how like this? It was something so easy. bad doesn't matter if it's from another culture and doesn't disclude the things that you can praise about that culture. Yeah. And uh, mm. the nunchuck is what that I find really funny because ultimately. Whether it's good or bad, like you can like it, right? And I'll disagree with you. Everything, it doesn't matter in the large. Like it matters if you're really trying to push it as a self-defense tool, and there's other things like that that actually can put people in a dangerous position. And everything, but if it's just like a conversation online, okay, these things are honestly inconsequential. And if you're going to get bent out of shape over someone calling a nunchucks bad. I'm going to troll the hell out of you because <laughs> at the end of the day, it, like the nunchucks, it's an inanimate object, okay? There are vastly more important things in life to <laughs> worry about than nunchucks. And, uh, and so this is where the uh, – watch this, the uh, the Professor Stick video on Shadowversity. So yeah, yeah, the I've extent, been, yeah. the, yeah. the full <laughs> extent of how much I will troll people for this because excellent, it can get extreme. Nunchuck lives matter. Nunchuck lives matter. <laughs> also, what, you're a big fan of morning stars. Yeah, I was uh, the, the the Chinese uh, nunchucks. Uh, uh, yeah. So um, the, the flail isn't as bad. I have issues with the flail, but it's more redeemable. The war flail that's actually on a long stick. That's where it gives like 
again, people trying to point to other flexible weapons say these ones can work, therefore the nunchucks are good. It's like they're completely different weapons. I yeah, use yeah. the flail in 40k, definitely. Yeah. It's got it's got it's got good range, good damage, good number we're, of hits. We're, uh, we're there's, a, almost... there's a couple of situations where the flail like actually has some good redeeming possible qualities to help it out, like from on horseback to reduce hand shock and actually so you know less chance of being disarmed and things. But overall, there's some significant problems with the flails that I don't like them. But uh, and I said that, but I've never gone in as nearly as hard against flails against uh, nunchucks because they're different weapons. The flail isn't as bad. Nunchucks have some real big problems uh but still even having said that i don't like flails even though i'm willing to give some concessions like yeah i understand there are situations where the flail might be more plausible hey we're almost at nine thousand likes gonna, we're at eight thousand eight hundred no no hang on eight thousand eight hundred and fifty one likes smash the melee button uh and we've got your oh oh your Zura. How am I supposed to pronounce that, boy? Your Azura. Your yeah. Azura for twenty five dollars. This is two of them, so it's fifty dollars. It's hello, gang. I come from a family that has been in the film industry for a while, and we are all cameraman editors. Because of my experience, I tend to break down movies more than the average person, and have had a natural dislike for more recent films because of the poor craftsmanship. But I found myself alone in the public sphere thinking this. This is until I found all of your channels and helped me understand I'm not crazy for thinking this shit is shit. Thanks for everything you do. Hail. And you work in the industry and you understand that. And shit is shit. I think we all, everybody, you know, sometimes you might not understand. Sometimes I didn't understand why I didn't like a bad story. Uh, but you know, you, you analyze it just a little bit and usually it's just cause it's shit and some person wasn't very talented and wrote it. Uh, and when you have characters acting inconsistently, that usually hurts your story. Uh, the things you get attached to on a human level when they start acting like, you know, especially in a TV series when they go South or I, and the worst case of this is between 2016 and 2017 and look at all the TV shows that premiered before the, that year and premiered after it. And all of a sudden, what did they do? They went to shit. Everything went crazy. All of a sudden, uh, like Counterpart, a show I fucking loved, had a very flawed female character in the first in the first season. In the second season, she was Jesus. They just like got rid of all her flaws and she was fucking in charge. Grew a beard. Like with yeah, within two <clears throat> within two episodes, sermons. she was the boss. And this this chick was like an alcoholic a traitor and everything. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? You know? Uh, and it's also like good, like it's good to hear other people talking about a show or to talk about it with other people because it allows you to one, maybe get some context that you didn't previously have for something uh, or like solidify the fact that, yeah, I did feel bad about this for a reason because of this, 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 and this. So it's like when you're walking with a buddy out of a movie theater and how you feel a certain way, but then you talk about it for maybe five minutes with them, you might feel a little bit different. Not that yeah. not that they influenced you in any way, but that it's the way you have felt about something has changed. And I think that's a really cool thing that we get to do is talk about it with each other, and it lets the entire audience get that same type of interaction for how they're feeling about stuff too. Yeah, 100%. Uh, what to help you... Uh, how am I... Loopy, uh, uh, so what do you what do you make of this X ray girl? <laughs> Loopy, I think they want to get you like a, a a housewarming gift or something. Okay, so maybe like put in parentheses because like I I can't interpret <laughs> while I'm. Uh, what to help you get to your new home, Gary? So that's what it's yeah. Or want uh, to help you get to your new? I home? don't know. I don't know. Maybe like kind of put in your best interpretation next to it. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Loopy, uh, I don't know. Thank you for the 50. It's $50. I want to know. Wow. Um, maybe it's just for gas. Oh, maybe, it's, yeah, maybe it's I want to help you get uh, to your new home, Gary. That that works yeah, for that me. Thank you. Fun. I appreciate that. Uh, if I buy that, it, that is a half a tank of gas yeah. in California. It's a full tank of gas in Texas. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, G Gary's acting like he's Gary's Josh Whedon in the Super Chatter's uh, Gal Gadot right that's here. That's right. 
think I broke. I know English. Um, yeah. I know English. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm. We're speeding up the the process. If we can get a truck, it's ve- it's impossible to get a truck right now. It's, it's you want me to drive a truck to you? I'll drive maybe. A truck to you. Uh, hail Friday be night nights been bouncing. It might be quicker. Uh, been bouncing back and forth, uh, with you and Salty. Hey, I appreciate that. Hail the Salty Army, by the way. Uh, yeah. did you guys see the Moon Knight trailer? Yes, thoughts. I'm pumped for Morbius, not gay. Uh, Joseph Finley for $49.99. Thank you very much. I haven't um, seen the Moon Knight trailer yet. You haven't seen it? You want to see it real quick before we go? I no, that's play. okay. I don't want to get a claim or anything. You won't get a claim for Disney. Or Star Wars. Yeah, if you guys want to watch, I'll watch yeah, it. Yeah, we'll do this last right, Super Chat, then we'll watch it real quick. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Two more. Two more. Uh, two more. Uh, Roger Rabbit for $50. I love Roger Rabbit. Love that movie. That was the highest grossing movie, I think, the year of my birth, 1988. Oh, Classic. Classic. So fucking good. Dude, the scene where Bugs Bunny was with Mickey Mouse, I couldn't fucking believe what I was seeing. That was like, well, that's like, I was just, it was cool. It was like, holy shit. And Daffy Duck. And yeah. Donald Duck. Like, Donald Duck. It was like, whoa. Uh, found you. I was also fucking wasted when I saw that movie. I was high as fuck. Uh, so found you because Quarter Black left Crowder, which made me sad. But then I got happy when I found this beautiful based stream. Oh, hell, I appreciate it. Hell yeah. That. That's Thank right. You. That's right. Thank you. Hell yeah. Did I say I was fucked up when I saw Roger Rabbit? I I thought that was the best thing I'd ever seen. You were seen. in Toontown. I was in motherfucking really Toontown. Like, I wanted to have sex with Jessica Rabbit, a cartoon. I did. I was loaded. Um, uh, Kivo for $45. As much respect, Chad. I love to see you and uh, Met- Metatron. To I'd uh, like to see you two co- on a collaboration. Two ancient warfare experts with their powers combined, praying your country frees its people soon. Hail Friday Night Tights. Hail Shad. Yeah. Oh, well, thank yeah. you, but I, I've collaborated with Metatron a number of times before. Oh, there so, you go. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Check out my um, Japanese versus European castle videos. That's a full collaboration with Metatron and. I'll- Video, you know, it was great working with him and it turned out really good. I was happy, like, happy with the video. And uh, we even did a role playing um, uh, campaign on uh, on Night's Watch uh, with Metatron, Matt Easton, Scarlet Grimm, all the, all the guys from the community. So, nice. Yeah. I love the name of that show, Night's Watch. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I do. I'm, I, yeah, I can't start. I can't go down the Game of Thrones road right now. I just can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm not letting it go, oh, people. I'm not letting yeah, it go. No, you do not understand how many times I've read those books. Uh, you just don't. I've read them in character order, in character order, till a character dies, and then I move on to the next character and move out through that. Like, that's how many different ways I've tried to read the fucking book besides backwards while waiting for him to come out with the new book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, Garrett, did you pull up that uh, trailer? Got it. Oh, you mute a man. Look at that. What are you doing? So proud of you. I'm so skeptical with all Marvel's crap these days. I yeah, just tell me like, about I haven't it. seen the trailer okay. yet, and so this is a first for me. And I'm not. I don't have high expectations. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's there you go. that's smart. You guys hear it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hello and welcome to staying awake. I have a sleeping disorder. I can't tell the difference between my waking life. And dreams. Hello, and welcome. Terrible accent. Mark Waking Life. They have. I'm losing it. We'll catch you on. You're bloody useless. Stevie. Steven. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. Between my dream. Dream. Thank you. Lost the contact lens. Hope you find it. Thanks. Yeah. Oh my God, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? 
Why did you call me Mark? It must be very difficult. The voice is in your head. Shut up! There's chaos in you. Embrace the chaos. Oh, that's cool. I, I, so costume looks good. I love the yep. character. I that the costume, costume looks, looks bad. CG. It looked fake to me. It, it, it mis- oh, it is CG. It, it is, and it's a little puffy on the fucking sh- uh, shoulders. I'll admit that. But um, I love the character. But it, the, uh, tell me what you think, and I'll tell you what potential problems I, they'll probably have. I, I, I don't think that it I hope it's can good. possibly be as dark as it seems to be. It's, no on it's on Disney that's Plus. That's the problem. That little Disney Plus thing at the end. That's the problem right there. Yeah. So I, I I love the idea of some like like exploring again his like multiple personalities and his like the darkness inside of him and everything. I fucking love that. I just don't know if it's gonna come across very well on Disney Plus. I, I can make I can make a trailer and put the right music to it to make Clifford the Big Red Dog look like that. You yeah. know, like yeah. look like it's going to be a dark and brooding like, and intense oh, dang, thing. Clifford looks badass. Yeah, yeah but I don't know. <laughs> there was, there was a lot of silly Billy humor in there. Day and we, night. Yeah, well, that's yeah. the thing which kind of gets me is there's, there's too much humor in, that in the trailer already. And I'm just like, we just like we just take something a little bit serious. I know, you know, there's yeah. so many. Well, Marvel fucking goof got to have a fucking joke every three minutes. And I will say for something like that, where he's he's literally like having a ment- like mental breakdown shit and like doesn't even know what's going on. There are a lot of opportunities for stupid Marvel shit. For, yeah, that actually for, well, like makes sense. But yeah. yeah, if it's overdone, it's it's fucking Marvel. That's what they do. That's all they do. Or you could lean into it and they won't. They yeah, don't they actually make it fit. Well, of course they won't. It's fucking they, they, yeah. They're not going to do it. For yeah. one, his alter ego is supposed to be Mark Spector, and that's not going to be the main character. It said, he said They said Steven, so Steven Grant. So originally, uh, Shad, you may or may not know this, uh, but, but for the crowd, um, Moon Knight used to have three disguises, not personalities, disguises. So it was... Jake, the cab driver, Stephen Grant, the the billionaire, whatever, and Mark Spector was the uh, what's was his name, and he would you know he was a billionaire and he would hide and he basically he was a, a Marvel's Batman for a little while, but then they changed it to mul- multiple personality disorder, which was kind of interesting for a while. I thought it was good, um, but that Marvel doesn't like to have. I think they will focus so much on his personality disorder. And yes. not like the character mm-hmm. of fucking Moon Knight. That that's what they'll lean into. Uh, they'll lean into whatever makes a man weak. That's essentially it. Yeah. Got to deconstruct that toxic masculinity. <clears throat> yep. And to make him look weak right off the bat, they have a female chastising him in some way, making fun of him. See, yeah, I, red flags. I saw him. that. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, "What's that about? You know, why is that there? Yeah, why?" Well, you know why? It's because it's Disney. So they do that in every single property. Yep they they have to they have to show it's all the it's all symbolism. Why did Miss Marvel start out? Why are the first fucking words out of her trailer are "Let's get to know you." Brown girls don't get to save the world. No, you know you know who said that? It, it's it's Hollywood who says that. They're the ones who didn't cast brown girls for hundreds or t- decades. It was yeah, hard. I think it's funny. Yeah. It's your yeah, fault. Yeah, it wasn't the fans. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was obviously, uh, somehow it was the fans. It was the fans. Um, there's little brown, there's brown girls in comic books going way back. Uh, read a comic book called Giant Size X Men number one. There's a little brown girl in there named Storm. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> kind of a big superhero. Yeah. You might have heard. Kind of a big superhero. Uh, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Just like that, that anchor on CNN saying that, I know it was MSNBC saying, you know what? We need to focus on people of color's incidences. You know, we, we have that that Instagram girl that was that went missing, and we need to focus on more people of color. And I'm like, well, well, you maybe, do it. 
You are maybe the don't that speak does about that. black people's stories because do you know what Hollywood? You've got two fucking stories for black people: fucking victim against racism and yeah. slaves. That's all you don't fucking criminal. bring. You don't bring nothing. Well, criminal geek in broad stroke across <laughs> all ethnicities, but that's the only two fucking stories they ever bring to the table. It is. It is. And they're always factually wrong. So we got one more super chat that we got to get out of here. And thanks to everyone. Uh, I, I will be uh, doing a square up tomorrow night. Late. It'll be late. I was supposed to do it last night. I fucking fell asleep. Sorry. Um, so I will do it uh, about 1030 p.m. Pacific time. Nerdrotic Live. Make sure to subscribe over at Nerdrotic Live. There's also Nerdrotic Daily, which I run for Perry with Perry Chan. So uh, Alejandro. Lozano Aguas for $50. Thank you. New member. Hey, welcome to the memberships, by the way. Uh, member live stream Sunday morning. Not too early. Trust me. Uh, new member here, and it is long overdue. Also plotting my escape from California to greener pastures. Gary, you are a true inspiration, man. All hail Friday Night Tights. Oh, thanks. Thank you. you guys keep us all sane. Uh, and yeah, that's going to wrap it up. So let's go around the horn and we will start out with Comics Division. Plug your words. Hey, words, everybody. Sir. I'm Comics Division. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and, of course, my YouTube channel. And you can find me on Unsafe Space. And, of course, every Friday, right here on Friday Night Tights. Thanks, brother. Uh, yes, Unsafe Space doing some great work over there, pal. Just want oh, yeah. to say, well done. Quarter Black Garrett. Well, thank you. Hey, you can catch me on my channel. And this small channel, um, Nerd Rotic, I'm I'm working with this guy named Gary. Uh, you know, we'll see how it Total goes. Total asshole. Yeah, what a, <laughs> what a dick. Fucking dick. But it's been awesome streaming with the Shad for the first time. Yeah. Love your oh, shit, yeah. man, for a long time. And it's it's cool to finally meet you. I I, got, I think I might have what, uh, caught one of the first comments that you posted on the channel. I was like, hey, I know that guy. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, Ryan, 100,000K, Ryan. Are you going to get your play button? Did you apply for that too? Um, it hasn't gone through yet. Like sometimes that takes a little while. Yeah. Like it happened for Sports Wars. It takes a couple weeks sometimes for the let you eligible. But I'm definitely going to get it. I'm be rocking both of those babies at one point. Okay. So that'll be fun. Uh, but thanks for having me on, Gary. There's always so much shit to talk about. And oh, yeah. uh, uh, we will we will literally never run out of things to talk about, especially when... I've got a million different channels talking about gaming and politics and sports at this point. So, uh, again, I'm going to echo quarter blacks. Awesome. Talking to Shad. This was a great fucking stream. So yeah, just, just happy to be a part of yeah. it. Thanks Ryan. Great job bringing it like you always do. Always bringing your a game. I appreciate that. <laughs> and speaking of a games as I, uh, yeah. Hi, you can, uh, you can go to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> I right, fuck that. I'm getting a pizza. Fuck this. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah. I've, I'm on, my my schedule is so fucked up right now. I actually woke up at like seven eight p.m. my time. Do they have pizza places <laughs> open at four a.m. and yeah? yeah there's Domino's that's open till five a.m. So like, fuck! I don't even have Domino's what? around me open till then. That's amazing. <clears throat> what the hell? Maybe yeah. they're on U.S. time. <laughs> and when I think when that closes at 5 a.m i think the mcdonald's opens at 5 a.m do you have pizza at your mcdonald's no but do you, do you they have, have mcdonald's be at, at the mcdonald's do you have beer at your mcdonald's no got like got lattes at the mcdonald's they got beer at the burger king Stop. i wish they had i wish they had yeah beer. i couldn't, couldn't believe that i mean i wasn't drinking it's weird yeah there's, there's a burger king right by <laughs> um london bridge and <laughs> uh down. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have the original There's one. We a big stole difference it. between London, though, and the middle of fucking nowhere in Yorkshire. This is yeah, true. yeah, this is yeah. True. That's that's a little bit of a difference on on what's available. Hi, so, hi. We you can join us next week for more food talk right <laughs> here on Friday Night Night. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Uh, it's been awesome tonight. This has been a great stream. Ryan's absolutely correct. I think the last couple of weeks, I don't know, and I don't just think it's because we've done twelve k on each stream. I just there's just just been a feeling on the last couple of weeks have just felt really good on Friday night tights. Yeah. The yeah. fucking audience, you've been lit as folk. 
Uh, the guests have been incredible last week, and then Shad today has just been fucking awesome. Uh, it's been so good having Shad on today. X-ray girl, yeah. You know. um, hey, yeah. I like pineapples. Yeah. So do I. Well, I, was, I was actually going to say, you know, now she's got a few more words in her vocabulary. Uh, it's it's all right, you know. It's nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's been a great couple of weeks and uh, you guys just, you know, you are so fucking awesome in the chat. So we can't thank you enough. Um, um, yeah, just bring it, bring it on. Friday, Friday's just such an exciting day now. Well done, everybody. Uh, well done. Uh, I, I the, the last two shows have been, I mean, you don't want to pick over one of the other. It's like picking kids. Um, Although I definitely fit. That's them. fucking I'll, easy. I'll, I'll yeah. take the boy and you can have the fucking daughter. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> having Frost God last stream was something special. That one is hard to top, guys. No. That, yeah. one, yeah. that was, was good. Amazing. You, you was did good. a good job, Shad. Uh, you did a good I can't job. compete with that, Shad, Come on. you were <laughs> brilliant tonight. It was, it was yes. great finally getting you on, and you are definitely welcome back. Let's let's not wait too oh. long to have you back. And, uh, I love it. That would be awesome. Please plug your wares, whatever you like. Oh, yes. Oh, well, I'm a Shadow Brooks from Night's Watch and Shadowversity and uh, Shadow of the Conqueror. I talk about swords, and, and then on Night's Watch, I, I talk about stuff. I like to talk a lot. And, uh, and uh, I don't know if anyone's uh, familiar with my content. If you like, I do get passionate and I kind of get ranty and yelly and, and stuff. That's just what I'm like, okay? I'm sorry if it was loud. It's just what I'm, yeah. Sometimes you want to yell at things. No, yes, oh, yeah. I feel that. I, feel that. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. You did but great. guys, genuine pleasure to be here. You guys have a great community. It's been an absolute blast. I've loved it. Thank you for having me. Thank Cheers. you, brothers. Um, mm. Thank you, man. X-ray girl, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Good job today. And uh, X-ray does. X-ray girl does do a really good job uh, as as her role. Is organizing the super chat and keeping the chat yeah. in line. She misspelled Facebook today when she did a poll. You know, so good, so good. So, so did you? Neil did you did you face corner for an hour. Thanks, Rachel. Yeah. Did you put Facebook? I put Facebook with an E at the end. Oh, it's okay. a silent E at the end. So as a punishment, uh, just game. like normal, face the corner, kneel on rice for an hour, <laughs> and uh, actually, think your life. The, our punishment was bamboo kneel, shoots up your fingers. Down. Keep your arms up. Don't let it down. Wow. Yeah, Asian families are fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we were strong kids, though. Pretty hardcore. Yeah. Not the best drivers because they spent a lot of time getting punished, but, you know. <laughs> I have not been. Not a lot of reps on the wheel. Caused by me. I'm just saying. Low peripheral sure. vision. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny to end a stream on 6,000 people. <laughs> Yeah, it is. We have five thousand waiting. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just confirming my pizza order because I had it all <laughs> set up. Yeah, I'm, I've just been waiting for the stream to end to hit go. There we the go. Okay, so um, thanks everyone. Uh, we'll be back next Friday. Be sure to oh, uh, subscribe to Geeks and Gamers. Uh, Jeremy's not here. DJ Cobra, his seventy five channels. Oh. Uh, sign oh, up. Yeah. Uh, our, our Daily Wire thing. Daily yeah. Wire, me and Jeremy on Daily Wire tomorrow. So we'll be tweeting that out around 1.30 Central Time. So make sure to plug Links in the description. Links in the description for Nerd Rotic Coffee. You can get a cup, too. And you are supporting somebody who genuinely supports this fellowship, which is a great idea. Plus, X-Ray Girls wearing the Friday Night Tights t-shirt, which you can get at Mixed Tees. You can find it on my website, nerdrotic.com. Quick note. I have not updated that because I've run out of room because it was a cheap ass website that I bought eight years ago when I started my YouTube channel. <laughs> so we are fixing. It's going to take a while, but we're going to revamp. We're working the, on it. We're going to revamp the website and have a real big boy website. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, big and boy. oh, um, tomorrow is my video. Uh, Perry, it's been in Perry's hands for anytime. It's in Perry's hands for more than two days. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. He's already made. I'm I'm gonna call it right now the ba the greatest thumbnail for my channel ever. So it's the oh. best thumbnail. I laughed my ass off when I saw it. So uh, that <laughs> should be out tomorrow. Um, great job on the intro, Perry. So great that we're gonna watch it one more time. Say bye, everybody. Bye, bye everybody. everybody. Bye, guys.
go to bed. I've been. Friday night tights. You're about to get frostbitten. Get him. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. All you geeks and gamers better stop jerking off to me, okay? I smell like burnt hair and Julie. That is stopping you. I talk to you like you're retarded because I think you're all retarded. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. Frostbitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frostbitten. Jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. <laughs> I'll Weird. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. I am not qualified. <laughs> Go ahead. Make my day. Call me Beaver Barbie. Bitch, you're that goddamn ugly. I jerked off to the dislike ratio. I'm not hot to you. No. No. What in the heck did I just walk into? <laughs> wow. People keep confusing me for free few best and Justin Bieber. Someone in the chat called me Eminem mid transition. Frost bitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frost bitten. Why like tights? Frost bitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. I'm standing up for all the women at G4. Emily. Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Pockets, Scissors, Tape Dispenser, and Filing Cabinet. <laughs> X-Ray, girl, she is a beautiful young oriental. X-Ray, girl, she gave me cock. Ask them the price of cock. X-Ray, girl, I not ask them for you to stroke your chopstick to. <laughs> You don't like it? Go somewhere else. Peace. Nerderotic.com.
Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, 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 dame.